right? Um, and they had hatred towards. Uh, yeah, Abu Bakr. Yeah. So Abu Bakr. No, no, his, his daughter. Aisha. Aisha. Okay. Yeah. So basically, one of the main like clear evidences for this is an al-Musannaf um, by Abdul Razak Sanani. He narrates authentically, and all of the rajala basically from uh, from you know the rajala of Bukhari and Muslim. He narrates from uh, a, a basically uh, it's called the Hadith of Thor because it doesn't have anything from the Prophet. And um, Abdullah ibn Abbas is basically uh, he's, he's basically discussing certain issues that happened after the death of the Prophet. And um, he mentions that you know uh, one of the sons of Al Abbas, who I don't really remember right now, and you know because because I just used to mention that when the Prophet was in a weakened state, he would uh, like assist himself. On top of Ali ibn Abi, uh, on top of, of a man, and the the, the uh, and on top of Al Fadl ibn Abbas. Yes. And she would always say Al man, a man, you know, regularly. She wouldn't mention the, the name. And then Ibn Abbas says, "Afatadri asabab aladi lam tu sami bihi Aisha." Did you know why Aisha would not mention his name? Mm. And then Ibn Abbas says, "Li'annaha li'annaha lam tu tib lahu nasam bithayya," because she would not. We don't want to mention anything positive about him. We don't want any positive thing about, about Ali. Okay. So this is a clear example of a companion, you know, openly uh, mentioning that you know that Aisha has a, a serious problem with Ali. She doesn't like him. He dislikes him. And we know in Sahih Muslim, Ali ibn Abi Talib also authentically transmits uh, uh, says, so one, one report at a time. Aisha radiallahu anha. Firstly, you using this report, you claim that she hated the Ahlul Bayt. That's a big claim, you know. Okay, you cannot. Gonna... You cannot you, first of all, there, there are some. There, there are things you have to. Can I specify my claim? Yeah. She, she hated the Ali. Okay. So now you're reducing your claim. Okay. Yeah, will, will. Okay. Good. Reduce your claim. Come, come down to Ali bin Abi Talib radiallahu anhu. Okay, so it's not the Ahlul Bayt anymore. It's only Ali bin yeah, Abi Talib. Yeah. So it's not Hassan, Hussein, Fatima, because we have reports, so many reports where Aisha radiallahu anha herself is saying the Prophet sallallahu alaihi loved Fatima the most. Yeah. She is the one reporting this, yeah. right? Yeah. So how can she report this and not love Fatima? Let's say that's a very good claim uh, or a very good argument. But the problem with this, the Arabs. Well, we have, have reports, though. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't deny that, I, I, and I yeah. know of them. Yeah. For example, Hadith al Kisa. Yeah. You know when she, when, uh, when the Prophet and Musalama, said, yeah. No, no. Even even Aisha, she has a hadith on Hadith al Kisa when, when on the way yeah. towards the uh, Mubahala. Yeah. She basically uh, she says the Prophet uh, Ali came, then the Fatima came, yeah, in, yeah, and yeah. you know yeah. bil yeah. This idea that he that he covered them. So so even Aisha has has, has a hadith on Hadith al Kisa in Sahih Muslim. Yeah. And basically. The Arabs have a saying which is basically which means that the merits or the positive attributes that I might have, the, the, the best source of this is my enemy. So Abu Sufyan, when he, when he went to, uh, you know, to, to Syria, he, he met, um, what's his name? Uh, Heraclus. The, uh, the, okay, we are, we are making too many points. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm specifying as to, as yeah. to what the comparison is. So when Heraclus asked him about, about the Prophet, Abu Sufyan was a kafir at the time, by consensus of all Muslims. He, he hadn't converted or anything like that. He was a kafir. At that time, yeah, yeah. And Afterwards, he did convert. I mean, that's, that's your that's your opinion. I mean, no, no, no. Shia, no. We don't believe that. But, but, the, but the point being is, I mean, but the Shia, the Shia sources are far less trustworthy than than the Sunni sources. The we'll, Sunni, yeah, we'll get yeah. to that, inshallah. Yeah, yeah. But, but but the point being is that um, um, Abu Sufyan, when he was asked about the Prophet, all of the things he said were merits. The Prophet is the most trustworthy. The Prophet, uh, you know, never and lies. Who's, who's narrating this hadith? I don't know. I don't know who's Abu Sufyan. Yeah, okay, fair, fair enough. So, so how is it possible that Abu Sufyan is narrating the hadith and telling you about his disbelief and then he's saying later on uh, in that very report uh, it debunks your argument against Abu Sufyan. Even Abu Sufyan himself is saying, I used to think, I used to think. So if you take the report, you can't take parts of the report and reject the other part. You have to take it whole uh, in totality or don't use it. Yes. His uh, Islam or, or whether his trustworthiness or not is not the, the point of dispute. I'm just saying that during but the time. But you're using the report yeah, for, I'm, your, I'm, for, your, for your argument. Yeah, I'm Why using, are you using it, it then? Because, because within this uh, context, we're, we're talking about how, how can someone hate someone and then, and then narrate their, uh, you know, their fadail, their, you know. It's possible. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm it's saying. Possible, it's possible. Yeah. It's also hate Ali. Uh, and and, and, and it's, time, it's, it's possible that you don't hate someone and you don't want to. Absolutely. I, I, I have people in family I don't like. 
and I don't like to talk, talk about them in positive way. Yeah. I, and I, I, open, I don't open my mouth. So does that mean I hate them? I want them to go to Jahannam? I want them to die? I want them to suffer? No. No, but... Uh... No, this is very possible. It's human emotions. Why was Aisha... If she was bitter towards Ali, if she was, it's a big if. But how you so uh, uh, But from one hadith, from one report, from one lahda, in Arabic, the word lahda is moment. basically a moment. Yeah. You cannot use one moment, moment to make a story, make a movie, which is three hours long. Yeah. Okay, you can't do that. So the lahda has to be considered in context, uh, and 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 we have to see whether this moment can be used to represent a reality which you have made made up in your mind okay to claim that aisha hated ali you are gonna have to do a big long marathon which you can't you don't have the sources your sources are not acceptable the shia sources i, I, I haven't quoted one shia source I, I, and when you try to use the sunni sources they go against you because we have evidence, overwhelming evidence to show that Aisha did not feel uh, hatred towards Ali. Can you show me one authentic hadith where she says, where she says I love Ali? She doesn't have to say, uh, can you show me one authentic hadith where, uh, for example, Fatima said, I love Ali? They show were me married. One. Uh, they were married, they were, rom they were romantically involved. Oh, but that's, that's fine, fine. fine. They and, have kids. and Aisha was the mother of Ali because she was the wife of the Prophet. Why does she have to say it? Why does she have to say, my son, I love you? Why does she? Why does Fatima have to say, "My husband, I love you"? I mean, this, these are also, private matters, no? Well, I mean, it, just because how, how, can it, how can it be like a private matter if, if you have a well-known companion like no, Ibn Abbas, no. who openly absence says, of evidence is not evidence for absence. absence. Okay, so okay. this is the basic principle. Just because Aisha does not have a statement saying "I love it," we don't have it from, from Fatima. Fatima was more closer to Ali bin Abi Talib and there's no statement from. Uh, from Fatima saying, I love you, my husband. And I'm sure, do you do you agree that she loved her husband? Yeah, I mean, because that 100%. was that was the, you know, the, the, the obviously the, the notion because they were, they were romantically involved that, in marriage. That, so that, that the default means, position is means that they love each other. Believers have to love Ali bin Abi Talib, the default yeah. position. The default course. position. Course, and that's the position we start with. Any evidence that appears to be going against that will have to be interpreted in a different way than the Shias do. Because the Shias have a very dirty negative lens on the Sahaba. Any little no, this is the reality. This is the reality. We, they, they, we believe they, we, we are twelve thousand of the Sahaba are just. So we don't have twelve thousand? Yeah. What's that? Twelve thousand of the Sahaba are just. So, so we don't are just. Have, yeah. We don't even have twelve thousand names of the Sahaba. How I can know. you I mean because we have an authentic hadith from Al Sadr hmm. where he says uh, where he basically gives a number of like four thousand from Which, Sahaba. Where is it? Then Basar uh, Dajat Okay, so that's authenticated it. Uh, as of Maxini, authenticated okay. it. And What's your uh, criteria of authenticating? The Shias do not have a criteria. Yeah, we do. The, the, the criteria of authentication the, is. Do you have Rajal, the books of Rajal? Yeah. Which ones? Well, I mean, not, not like I have them on as PDF, so Rajal Najashi or Ferris Najashi. You, Najashi. I can count them in one hand. Yeah, there's, there are not that many. So you don't. Yeah, exactly. So you don't have a science of Rajal. Do you? I'm, you do. I'm not denying you do. But when we do a comparison with what we have, it is primitive. It is childish. It's, it's like a, a nursery student trying to pretend to be a PhD doctor. Okay, well, this is one thing. The, 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 the reports you have on your Rajal, Najashi, Kashi, okay, Kashi, yeah. and other books, and even uh, the, works okay. of, uh, the works of uh, Hoi, of Hoi recently, right? Yeah. These works, in comparison to what the Ahl Sunnah have on Rajal, Wallahi, it's like showing a speck to the sun. Um, I mean, yeah? And I'm not exaggerating. No, no, I don't deny yeah. the, like, there's the size difference in those books, but the thing is that, yeah, I mean, and that lack of information uh, uh, historically, the, Sun, the the Sunnis or the ones who accepted the, the, the rulership of Abu Bakr have always been the majority. So obviously, you will have more Rajas than us. So, so we, we've always no, been the minority. The, 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 Shi, the Shias managed to collect all these reports yeah. in Al Kafi yeah. and in, uh, three other books, uh, Al Istabtar, Malay Yahdur Al Faqih, Tahzeev. Yeah, all of these books, the reports are coming from two. Two imams predominantly, predominantly yeah, ninety yeah, percent. Okay. Um, when she has point fingers at the Sunnis and you don't have anything from Ali and Ahlul Bayt, they actually don't know what they're talking about because the Shias don't have anything from Ali. That's a false narrative also because we, ha we have an authentically transmitted hadith where, where, where the Imam uh, Sadiq alayhi salam says, "لو كنا نحدث بأرائنا لكنا من الهالكين ولكنها عثار ونريثها عن أبائنا كابر عن كابر." 
كما يرث الناس في ضاتهم ودهبهم and that's also an authentic hadith which means that everything that I'm telling you is from my father so when a sadiq says something it's the words of al-baqar when al-baqar says something it's the words of al-baqar we, we don't have a problem with that we don't have a problem so, so, so because everything we, we have is from the prophet we, 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 claim, we claim Muhammad al-baqar and Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq radhi Allahu alayhima okay. alayhima sallallahu yeah. And we say Salatu Salam as well. No problem. We have no issue with that because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a misunderstanding. I mean, in the minds of a lot of people, they don't say like. I don't, I don't mind salam. if someone says Jaffar Rahimahullah or Sadiq Rahimahullah. No problem with that. It's fine. I mean, it's I fine. Mean, exactly. We are respecting them. We are respecting them. It's not, it's not yeah. issue, we believe they are imams. They're not. They don't represent the Ithna Asharia way of thinking. Why? Because the people who are attributing information to them are mainly four or five sources. Okay. Uh, they are. They are a bunch of liars. Untrustworthy people. Jabir bin Zid al-Jufri was a liar? Yes. Jabir. Jabir. What does Sufyan Thawri say about him? Forget him, uh, Sufyan Thawri. Sufyan Thawri is a major Imam. Imam, Imam, says, Imam Jabir, if he said to me, then he was the most of the people. Allahu Akbar. I am very surprised you're saying this. Jabir bin Yazid al-Jufri about him, Imam Abu Hanifa, who was not even from the Ashab al-Hadith. Imam Abu Hanifa was a faqih, right? And he you said, know, he, he said, said Abu Hanifa? Yeah. He, he cursed him. You're gonna no. You're gonna have to prove it. From what um, you don't even have bans. Uh, go, go back to du'afa. Du 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 no, those reports are batil. Batil. Oh, I'm batil? I, I will tell you the authentic. Rip. I, I've I've looked into this. Uh, Ibn Hibban and even Muslim of Ibn Abi Shayba. He's a chapter on Abu Hanifa where he goes it goes against. Even I, even a lot. Al Baghdadi. Al Baghdadi has an entire chapter where the Salaf just get to. I am aware of it. I've read parts of it. Yeah. I am aware. Oh. A lot of the reports. In favor of Imam Hanifa and against him are batil. I'm telling you, it's not less. Okay. You know what? It's not less. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, this claim, this claim. Likewise, these things you're going to say to me about Imam. What we do know about Imam Abu Hanifa, he said about Jabir bin Yusuf Jafi, I have not seen a bigger liar than him. Of course, he would say that. Why wouldn't he? Is yeah. a raf? Look, he's yeah, a of course, he, we, we are raf. That's, that's, that's yeah. yeah, I mean, that's so all. he's he's, li he's lying. He's forging. And on top of that, we have Zarara. Zurara, uh, we have Salim, uh, Hisham bin Salim, Hisham bin Hakam. These people, you, you're talking about um, Imam Hanifa, these people have been cursed by the Imams themselves in your authentic reports. Not all I of mean, them. I mean, Zurara has Zurara. Al Khoi is saying the authentic. Yeah, I mean, where he's cursing Zurara. That, that is true. That, that, okay. that is authentic. And Hisham bin Hakam and Hisham bin Salim. I'll show you the reports. Hisham bin Hakam, Hisham bin Salim, I, I, I'm, I'm not aware of, but, but Zurara I am aware of. Okay, uh, let's take Zurara. 2000, yeah. um, uh, Gani, um, uh, you can say. Half the narrations of the uh, the two imams. Yeah, maybe like 30%. Yeah. Not half. Like Let's say 20%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, I'm going yeah. to come not down. Half, half is a lot. Yeah, okay. yeah half. <laughs> exactly. Lot. You see, that's a lot, Akhi. <laughs> okay. Not, okay. If, someone came, if someone came to me and said, uh, Abu Sa'id al Khudri, Radi Allahu Anh, an, uh, Abdullah bin Umar, Anas bin Malik, and Abdullah bin Masood were Radi cursed Allah. by the prophets. Yeah. Were cursed by the prophets. I would be shivering. I would be my, <laughs> I would be really concerned about my deen. Am I following my deen from the people who actually it, 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 it is claimed to have come from, or am I just following a bunch of liars? Okay, I don't know why the Shia, when we speak with them, don't think this is a big deal. Um, it's, it, you're, you're claiming that you are following the Ahlul Bayt, and we love the claim. The claim is beautiful. Okay, but are you following the Ahlul Bayt? Is the question. You're going to have to prove to me. You see, that, why are we going into this discussion of the sources? We're going into this discussion because before we even get to discussing any points of contention, we have to establish what we are following. What are we going to use against each other? Like, for example, when you use the report of Abu Sufyan to make a point, I stopped you there. I said, the report goes against you, brother. It go, the report you're using, for example, a Christian once called us online and he said that Muhammad وسلم, used a Christian scribe. And I'm thinking, that's impossible. He said, no, you know about the report. You're liars. You're this, 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 this. Bring the report. Bring the report. He brought the report. He says there was a Christian guy. He converted to Islam and he started writing the Wahi. And then he went back. He became a Murtad. And then when he was being put into the grave, the grave threw him out three times. I asked him, now we know where you're coming from. But do you accept the report or part of the report? He said, uh, uh, uh. I said, no, 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 no. Because the report proves that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a true Prophet of God. It doesn't prove your point, it proves my point. Because the, the, grave, the grave is throwing him out. So when the Shia brothers use our reports to make their points, 
then they have to be consistent. You can't have your cake and eat it. You know, then you have to be consistent. We don't use Shia reports. Why? Firstly, because we know they, they are not trustworthy. 95% of them, to us, uh, according to our higher standard, because our standard is higher than the Shia. No, it is. If your standard was higher than ours, you would not listen to Zurara and Hisham and Hakam. Uh, sorry, Hisham bin Salim and uh, 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 Hakam First of all, first yeah. of all um, there's, there's a lot to, you know, to yeah. basically address there. Yeah. So going back to the, to the issue of, um, of like, if the Prophet وسلم, was to, for example, uh, curse, you know, uh, Abi Sayyid al Khudri or, you know, Jarud Abdullah al Ansari, or you know any any companion, then this this would worry. Okay, of course it would, because you know the curse of the prophets. We we believe that you know his, his du'a is accepted and, and so on. So yes. this is a so this is a definitive you know excommunication away from the rahmah of Allah azza wa jal. But the issue is that when you compare the time of Ja'far alayhi with the time of um, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was in power, this is not a comparable situation. So even in your sources. You know Malik ibn Anas, the, the Imam of the Malikiyah, he would not narrate from Ja'far during the time of Bani Umayyah. So the issue of this idea of like, being away from the Ahlul Bayt because of Taqiyya, because of, of the fear of persecution, is even within Sunni like standards. Like Hassan Basri, he wouldn't mention Ali ibn Abi Talib. Yes, yeah, we are aware so, of this. By the way, who tells you about these things? It's in your book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, the, Sun, yeah. it's, so, it's, it's ironic that you are using this against us. We are the ones telling you this. And, yeah. we are, and we are the ones telling you that our Imam said so and so about our no. companions. No, so what you're telling us is not even from the Imams. We are claiming, because those, those liars who are narrating from the Imams, 90% of your reports are coming from uh, four or five sources. Abu Basir, Hisham bin Hakam, Hisham bin Salim, and Zurara Tabri Ayyad, and, 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 and there are a couple of others. Okay? These are the, this, is the, this is 90%. Ja Jabir is also like a giant narrator. Yes. Abana is also a yeah, giant yeah, yeah. narrator. Abana al Taghlib, by the way, is Saduq by all. Yeah, and he, uh, no, no. Brother, uh, yeah, he is. You, you're, re you're reading. Have you read Rijal al Kashi? No, I don't You haven't. I want you to go and read the reports on Durarat ibn Ayyad and Hisham bin Hakam and Hisham bin Salim. Okay? Um, from different, uh, right. there, are, there are other sources. For example, Al-Zahri, when he talks about Abana ibn, Abana ibn Taghlib al-Bakri, who is from our Salaf, he says, Saduqun yani, uh, Shia, which means that he was a trustworthy narrator and he is a Shia. Even, even maybe Tafdili. No, no, actually, never, your, never, your, will you, never will you find a Rafidi. No, 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 no. The Sheikh of Bukhari was a Rafi. You, you know the Sheikh of Bukhari. Now you're opening many cans of worms, yes. no, and we're going to address one by one. I'm okay. pretty sure. You're going to have to prove to me now that Bukhari had a Sheikh who was Rafi. Yeah, you're going to prove. Okay. And authentic. Yes. You're going to have to You're going to have to show me authentic reports that this Sheikh of uh, Tafdili I know. Not Tafdili. This was a, this guy was a Rafi. Okay. Yeah. You're going to show me that he used to insult the Sahaba. He, he, used he was. He was. Okay. Uh, Yaqub al Rawajini, that's his name. Okay. And uh, you're going to show me the uh, report from Bukhari where he is in the chain? Yeah. And you're going to show me. Uh, Abad, Abad bin Yaqub al Rawajini, that's his okay. name. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So is, is there, there's only one Rafi that you're saying is the. There are, I mean, this guy. We know Tafdilia. We know Tafdilia. No, no. There's the The reason why I'm quoting him is because I know he's he's from our salaf, he's his Dajjal. The others, I, I'm not sure. No, you can claim that. No, no it's, not, it's not a claim. It's a, how, how do you know that? That, that he has, he's narrating your report? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you go back to the source for um, uh, the... Do you know Shia narrators were forging reports in the name of authentic men? Authentic Rajal. Do you, do you, are you aware of this? This, this is a known phenomenon. I mean, well, the, is, the Shia, it, it the Shia reporters from Iraq and Kufa, uh, Kufa and Basra, they were projecting reports backwards towards authentic narrators for them to be accepted by the Ahl Sunnah. You know which, about this? Which narrators? I'm not, I'm not, like, uh, ja yeah, Jabir yeah, bin Yazid al Jawfi. Was he Allah? Was he, he did this? Allahu Akbar. I am surprised that you even in question. I mean, you, he, are, are you aware of his profile? Jabir bin Yazid al Jawfi. He was. Jabir al Jawfi. Yeah, he was. The famous Kufan liar. Everyone is known him. Yeah. As, is, everyone knows him as a Kufan. You, I mean, so, I mean, Sufyan al is a Kufan. You used a Dhabi. Yeah. You used a Dhabi. Yeah. yeah. You used a Dhabi to claim a point. Go to a Dhabi and now. I know. No, 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 no. I have read. You can't. You can't have, have your cake and eat it. I have read his tarjama in in in, 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 in Sirah no, al No. But I want you to read what 
Dhabi said about Jabir when you see the job. He's, he's going to ta'an of him. I, 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 I realize so that. So why, why, are, you using, why are you using a... What did Dhabi say about the other Shia Rawad? He said these are a bunch of liars. Not all so, of them. So, so because, don't, don't mention look, a Dhabi look, if he doesn't support your position. Don't mention a Dhabi because look, you're, going to, you're going to quote I'm, him selectively. When I... Of course, of course I am, because when I... No, don't do that. Why? Because because you can't have your cake and eat it, as they say. Well, that's not how it works, because as a Shia, I can't... Look, like you're going to make make you're going to make a small point, a side point to use, uh, using Dhabi, while a Dhabi is basically entirely demolishing your house, your no, house look, of cards. The, the yeah. reason as to why I quoted a Dhabi is because I, I said, Abayam de Saghrib, and then you said he's basically a Shia in Mufadda. Yeah. That's okay. in, in, in Sunni... Uh, Hadith the um, science, he's actually described as that. In in the in the Shia uh, so, context, he's so, not. So, so we're not we don't accept anything from the Shia. You have well, to understand, and, and I'm being very blunt about that. No, I, because, I, I, I get that. Yeah, because I mean, we don't it's, believe it's, these people. It's, are, it's vice versa, by the way. I mean, it's not like no, Bukhari is a you, joke. You don't have the grounds to reject our sources. I'll tell you why. why. You have other reasons. You don't have the reasons that they're untrustworthy. They're liars. Course, no, I do. No, no. You, I, I do. Of course, I do. no. You. You, I mean, then, then, I mean, I, then, I believe those, those Sahaba, the, 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 the Tabaka, Abu Huraira to me is a liar. <laughs> Abu okay. Huraira is the major narrator. The Aisha to me was not telling the truth. I mean, she herself, by the way, that's, that's also an interesting point, but let's, but let's get to Abad. We're going to talk about trustworthiness. And, and it's, it's a matter of opinion. When you form an opinion about something, I have grounds. I'm using your books, your imams, to tell you that your narrators, the Prophet did not tell us Aisha is a liar. She I, herself says. No, she does not say she's a liar. I, I'll give you an example. The hadith of well, Abu Nagashi. Yeah, yeah. Let's stick to one point. So, so Abad, so, yeah. who was the Sheikh of Al Bukhari. Uh, here we go. See, this is um, Sira Al Anbala by Dahabi. He says, Al Rawajini, a Sheikh Al Alam al Saduq, Muhadith al Shia. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. We're in the middle of a conversation. No, 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 no problem. No problem. Very challenging. So he says, I'm Rawa Jani, and you know, he mentions Bukhari, right? Sahih as Bukhari, right? So there's a Sheikh Al Alam al Saduq, Muhadid al Shia, Abu Sa'id, Abad ibn Yaqub al Asadi, Al Rawa Jani, Al Kufi, Al Mubtadiyah. Anyway, so. Al Mubtadiyah, Al Mubtadiyah, yes. No, no, no. Rawa Anhu, Shuraik al Qawi, and so he mentions it. Rawa Anhu al Bukhari, Hadithan. And then he also mentions where. فيه غلوم في التشيع أن yes. عبادنا كان يشتم السلف. Yes. He used to what to, um, you know, uh, he used to insult the salaf. Who's he referring to? Salaf is the Sahaba and Tabi'in. Not necessarily. Okay. Okay. Not, one here. Yeah. Yeah. Especially another thing. وقال ابن عدي. So is he is he saying he's acceptable? Yeah. Of course. Salaf. Okay. I'm calling the racist one. Okay. His name is Abad bin Abu Rawaj. So so he's Tabi'i. He's from the Tabi'i. He's from the Tabi'i. And 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 look, until. Look. Can I ask to Uthman? He used to, he used to insult Uthman. Okay. Right. Now you you are translating uh, translating this. Uh, uh, you know what Tabdili is, yeah? I know. What is it? There are two it's, types. Yes. There, there are some Shia who, who basically would say that uh, Ali is better than all the Sahaba, and there are some Shia who say that, that Ali uh, um, is better, than, better than, Uthman than Uthman and Abu Bakr and Abu Bakr. Yeah. So he was one of them. He was one of them. I, I, he I, was I, the he second was. category. So 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 you will not show me any insult from his mouth against the Sahaba when you say. Uh, you know, shut them, shut them in Arabic uh, yeah, la language. Yeah. It can mean, no, 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 not necessarily. It can mean criticizing, it can mean a number of things. Okay, what, what, what the Rafida do is la'an. Yeah. Okay, they do la'an upon the Sahaba. It's, it's, it's You're not going to show me our narrator from Bukhari who did la'an upon the Sahaba or la'an upon even Uthman. Okay, you will not show me that. If you show me that, then you have a point. But now, go to Jabir when you need the Jockey and Sira uh, Alam and Nobala. You're reading this to me, and I'm countering your point by highlighting that shatam doesn't necessarily mean la. It doesn't, okay. but I mean, it's kind of obvious when, when all these, you know, they get very uncomfortable when he's... And, and by the way, even Ibn Adi, he mentions an opinion. He says, Okay, okay. Look, all, all, all of these... Okay, if, if Imam al has this opinion, yeah. Yeah. he will have to... If he doesn't present evidence, we don't have to accept it. You know Imam al we how we read it. How we read Siru Alam and Nubala? How we read, what, what, what is the method of reading Imam al-Dahabi? There are certain principles ulama have devised that you read a dahabi like this. Okay, so when Dahabi says he makes a claim, doesn't necessarily mean the claim is true. It's not black and white. It's not Quran and Sunnah for us. Okay, so we, we can, if, if Imam al-Dahabi narrates something and there is no Sanat, we don't accept it. 
For example, that famous poem attributed to uh, Abdullah bin Mubarak, Ya Abid al-Haramain, Law abtarfana lalimta anna ka bil ibadati tala'abu, something like that, okay? Uh, we, we, don't, uh, we don't accept it because it's, uh, it's bila sanad. There is no change to it. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't disagree so, with ja it. So, Jabir bin Yunid al-Jawfi, if you go to yeah, uh, Zero Alam and Nubala and read what he said. Thank you. I mean, he, he did mention a, ch a chain from Ibn Hadi, by the way, but yeah. it's, 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 uh, we'll, we'll move on to Jabir now. Um, there we go. Hamza, did you get something? I can't find it from C and Zilla and Abu Nubad. I can find it in this Hadith Transmitters website. No, no, see, uh, I want to see what he said about... Uh, I can find... There's nothing, Jabir Jafi. I'm trying. And the, uh, right, and the Zahri. And, and, the, right. and the man? And the Zahri. And the Zahri, now. Yeah, right. Jabir, Jabir bin Yazid al Jafi. So, Wallahi, it really saddens me that when intelligent brothers like you ignore some very basic realities in your own uh, books and your own theology, and yeah, go on. I mean, I, on. I tried, but like, like I heard Jabal ibn Yazid al and the Dahri, and it doesn't really show. And inshallah, we'll find yeah. it in the time. But the point is that we have grounds to tell the Shia that when you come to us telling us that we follow the Ahlul Bayt and you don't. Very powerful claim, very interesting claim, very attractive claim. But those who are educated, those who have read the books and sources, they know this claim is as shallow as, 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 a, as an empty bottle. Why? Because when we actually scrutinize the teachings of the Ahlul Bayt, they are not actually the teachings of the Ahlul Bayt. They are not. Because the people who are narrating from the Ahlul Bayt, because uh, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, if he came in front of me, I would not question him. Okay. If Imam Muhammad al-Bakir came in front of me today, I would not question I would say, Imam, you lead and I follow. Okay? Uh, just but, yeah. uh, just uh, with, with regards to this idea of trustworthiness, we're going, I mean, you, you repeated the point uh, you know, a few times, and I, and I appreciate that. But, but the issue is that we don't really look back at, at within our own home. So one of the major narrators, obviously our three major narrators, Aisha, Abu Huraira, and Anas bin Malik. Those are like the three major Yeah, narrators. Talk about, let's talk so, about them. So you, Aisha, show me, you show me the lies. So, yeah. so, you so show I, me I, 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 anyone who called them a liar. No, I will, I will show you a hadith of Aisha, she herself. <laughs> she, she claims that, well, basically within the hadith, she alludes to her, herself lying. So basically the hadith is, is known, it's called um, Hadith um, al-Maghafir. You know, you know, but right when she says when you know when the prophet used to go to the house of Zainab, and he used we, to get this. We, we call it a white lie, you know. <laughs> she claims to be a lie. I'll tell you why. I'll so, tell you. That's a lie. No, 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 that's, no, no, no. That's, that's one example. Wait, wait. I've, 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 I've no, 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 no. This is not a lie. I'll tell you. This is not a lie. This is not. You know when the Sahaba used to say "Kadhaba Fulan," "Kadhaba Fulan," right? They never. They didn't actually mean that this is a liar. They meant he is mistaken. The word kazab or kazab, yeah, 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 in Arabic language, right? So when Aisha is saying what she's saying about Maghafir and all that, yeah, yeah I, I yeah, tell okay. Maghafir and she knows he did. Okay, now, but she, I, now, I know she's now. jealous. And, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when when the Prophet said, "You speak to me like the women of Yusuf," yes, the, the of uh, about Yusuf. thank you. Yeah. So is he condemning them or yeah. is he highlight? What, what, what did the women of Yusuf do? What, wasn't this like, um, what did they do? They conspired. Yeah, I mean, they conspired to trap them. Yusuf, right? Right. Sorry, we're in the middle, middle no, of the conversation. Is it, are you his son? Is he your son? Why? He just said I was taught his father. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. was interested. Yeah. Okay. Thank we'll you. be here another time. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're in the middle middle of a conversation right oh, now. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no problem, no problem. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. 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 He, 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 uh, he asks me question and he gets answers, don't worry about it. Okay, okay thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, you, can, it's, uh, you can stay, stay, stay in. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so the point I was making was that 
um, where were we, Lars, before he it's came? It's about this idea of the Maghafi and the Swahili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he herself is telling you this. And in this hadith, what do I read? You read something. You read a lie. Okay, what do I read? I read love. Two different readings, yeah? Or maybe because I'll tell you why. Irritating. Because, no, no, because there are two different lenses on the same hadith. Okay, for the viewers, let me explain what the hadith is. That where Aisha and Hafsa, radiallahu anhuma, they decided that they're going to do this uh, thing. Conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, conspiracy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, conspiracy. Why? What was the more? Yeah, good. This is a very good point now you made. Conspiracy. They were conspiring. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. I agree. <laughs> Shake my hands on that. What is the motivation for this conspiracy? I, I want now. Is, is, first of all, is, is every conspiracy bad? Uh, can cons no, can, no, no, can cons yeah exactly not thank you that. conspiracies can be for moral ends too right okay so now this conspiracy and I agree with you it was a conspiracy no problem with that I'll give you that what was the motivation for this conspiracy according to the same reports you're using to to claim that they were lying they were they were liars. No, it was, a, it was an issue like of jealousy, this idea that you would go okay. and... Uh, Why were they jealous? I mean, you claim, you guys claim they had no love for the Prophet. They were a bunch of munafikat, mm. right? Sure, yeah. Okay, yeah. but but now you're telling me they were jealous. Jealous of what? That the Prophet would basically spend time with Zainab and... What? They don't like, get lost? Audu billah, summa audu billah, go. No, I mean, because... Uh, if a woman doesn't love her husband, she will, she will well, be happy well, when he goes. But well, <laughs> Rasulullah was just any man. First of all, second, yeah, second I agree, yeah. but they don't love him. No, no, but but he will bring the the the, the ownership of this earth to them. So so obviously fine. For, for the for the fine, most, fine. For, for ownership but and, do they, and being, do, being so, you know. So they, so they are conspiring to uh, attract him. Yeah. But then they're not jealous. It's basically. I mean, uh, for, for us, we uh, we have, we have a hadith from Prophet. I know you don't accept our sources, but it's in our like books where he says, "Ma tada'u Aisha." Aisha will never stop hurting us, the people of the Ahlul Bayt. Lie. It's, it's, I, I, I know. It's, 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 I know. It's, it's an absolute lie. I don't accept it. Of course so, you don't. So let's not, let's not bring it. Yeah, but so, but, being is this but idea, don't, you, that's the problem. You're using... No, your, but I'm you, understanding like the hadith based on that perspective, that she's hurting the prophets, whereby Allah has revealed the entire chapter uh, condemning them. No. There's no condemnation in there. That's, that's a good but, point. You're making a good point. Let's talk about it. Good. Good point. Good point. I agree with you. Okay, that's what Allah said. I can, how can I say Allah didn't say that, right? Now let's talk about it. Let's read between the lines, as they say. Yeah? Let's get, up, uh, as I say, you know, the, the, I say the angel is in the details, not the devil. The angel is in the details. Let's go to the angel, right? Firstly, your your claim from the reports you that they were jealous. You said. Yeah. Do you still stand by that? I mean, this is a Sunni understanding. I, I don't know. I, I don't believe. Do you that. not accept? You don't no, believe no, they were jealous. No. So why were they doing? What was the motivation? Just to hurt the prophet. Just to annoy him. Just to annoy him. Yeah, Where's the prophet. evidence for that? As I quoted the hadith. In and, if, and if they wanted to annoy him, uh, why, annoy him. why would Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala reveal in the Quran, okay, um, that they are the mothers of the believers? Number one, number one, and and the prophet knows what that means. Prophet knows what that means. And the Prophet keeps them to be the mothers of the believers. Who is to blame now? Uh, they are munafiqat. A'udhu billah, a'udhu billah. I'm using these terms so to, to make the conversation yeah. fruitful. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to sometimes, as I say, to clean, you know, rubbish. You have to get your hands dirty. So I'm getting my hands dirty now, unfortunately. Right? They are munafiqat. They are liars. They are conspiring against the Prophet. They want to hurt him. Right? Um, and they want to do all those things. And then Allah reveals the condemnation condemnation in the Quran according to you of course. then the Prophet having known having known and then the same Quran tells us an nabiyu awla bil mu'mineen a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem an nabiyu awla bil mu'mineen min anfusihim wa azwaj azwaj plural wa azwaj yeah it's plural yeah yeah it's at least it's more than one do not take a verse and leave other verses. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Allah yeah. Azza wa Jalla, what, what, what did he say? Yeah. Yeah. 
مين كنا تبعيو مين كنا اجرا عظيما سو هو هو اي اي وايف to reach this high status, she must be what muhsina yes. as per as per Surat al Ahzab. Good, good. So we should not I, just but take one verse, you know, and Nabi no, no Muhammad. I'm 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 leading up to a point. Your understanding is what you you say it is, and we're assuming the Prophet's understanding was the same because you're you're not better than the Prophet. No. He had more knowledge. He was the man directly dealing with these individuals. Okay, they're conspiring, they're lying, they're cheating, cheating in the sense that they are trying to deceive the Prophet right? I, and, I don't, uh, by the way, just to uh, say. I don't believe that you know what Azabella Aisha committed adultery. I don't believe that. Okay. She, she, she did not. Some Shia do. They are idiots. Yeah. I, I don't. But, but they they are dogs. I'm not saying they're idiots. Whatever. They're dogs. They're pigs. Yeah. They're actually they're actually these people who are barking on the the Izzah, the honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, are pigs. They're not dogs. Okay. Dogs they would be insulted. So I'm sorry. I don't usually use these no, words. I, I mean, but with these people. Absolutely, no doubt. They're, they're pigs, they're Khanazir. Even like, yeah. even within yeah. Shia literature, yeah. there's no evidence, like literally no hadith evidence. So these are Khanazir, you agree with me, right? They're Khanazir, right. So the point now is, and and where do they, where where, where are these Khanazir born from? They are born from this kind of understanding. No, when you read, no, no. When you read, when you read, when you read a liar, a conspirator, someone who's after dunya, uh, it is you're not you're not far from calling someone adult. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you go at the, as far as she she was also an adult? Because we're just people. Yeah. Allah Azza just says that we must be just. So so when someone Good. someone doesn't, yeah, for example, Good. the wife of Nuh and Lot, yeah. they also this believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and we have clarity in the Quran that who the wife of Nuh and Lot were, right? We have clarity. That, that clarity does not exist with Ummahatul Mu'minin. I'll tell you why. Lot did not go back to his wife. She, she perished. I mean, they all perished. Obviously. Good. Yeah, yeah. They perished. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, his wife perished. But if, let's say, if she didn't perish, and Allah has declared them to be kafirat in the Quran, do you think no and no would go back to them in the arms? Yeah. They were far prior to that, so, and, and they were still married to them. The point being is, yeah, Akhi, yeah. The, the, the Allah Azza wa Jal, yeah. when, when he when he no, this, but then, the, 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 the two Quran. No, of, uh, I don't. I, I don't believe they were kafir before prior to that. No, no, no. How? No. They became kuffar because of the actions. No, no, I, I, no, no, no. The Quran does not say they were already kuffar. They were already. But, but, but they you're, you're assuming this. But if you go back to the tafsir of Tabari, any anything of any old classical tafsir, yeah. Tabari will mention to you that the wife of then uh, the prophets didn't know. The oh, prophets didn't know. They, 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 she, she, she literally. Uh, why? Why? If knowing well that this is a kafira in my house. And she's confiding against me. You would say, so I, we believe the prophets didn't know. They didn't have a mukayyib. No, no, they, they didn't know. No, I'm right. I mean, this was zahir. This was apparent. Why did Noah alayhi salam say, "Oh Allah, that's my son"? And what does Allah tell him? In the Holy Quran, in the Holy Quran, in the Holy Quran, why? Why? Does he not know? Does no, no, no. Allah is telling him something he doesn't know. And Allah told him, "Now don't say this again." Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So that's making a point. idea that in Hulaysim, the Ahlika, and no Amal So why is Allah telling him that? Because well, maybe no Alayhi Salam was not aware of his status with but, Allah. But, 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 but this understanding that one, for example, the Prophet says something and Allah rebutes or corrects, this is to show the people that, for example, if you have We don't accept that. No. That's, that's your Allah understanding. is telling them what they don't know. This is, this is, this is Akbar al Ghaib. Quran is Khabar al Ghaib. Quran came from Ghaib. Allah is saying in the Quran, you were not aware. No, look, Marco said, Marco said, Tedri, uh, this idea of Marco said, Tedri, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, the verses are not really. Why is Allah anyway. saying you didn't know? You from the Ghafilun? Well, because. Ghafil in the sense but, means unaware. Ghafil is unaware. You were not aware. Tell us. I, I know, but, but the. But the, there was like two types of, um, of like. Of like Unawareness. Uh, no, no, not, not unawareness. It's because the actual, the actual verse. When it's when, when it's when it's talking about this in this instance, it's basically that Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam he must like show some kind of ignorance or bliss, uh, not bliss, sorry, like like ignorance towards towards that reality that, that you know that he's basically calling his son, and then Allah azza wa jalla says to him that he, that he's not his son, but but in reality he knows, but he um what's it called? But he doesn't like um show this like like for example if I was to make a comparison. The Prophet sometimes he would intentionally um, make a mistake in prayer to basically show. No, uh, yeah. no, we don't believe that. No, no, we, you're, we now do, you're saying do. the Prophet. No, no, you're claiming something about the Prophet 
without uh, evidence, look, you're saying that he would deliberately can I, can I, disguise, can I, can I, mislead people. Can I, can I just explain? I, I have actually quite like trouble with speaking. Like, it's, it's okay. like a disability in a way. Okay. But, but, but it's just like. No, you're speaking fine. Yeah, yeah I know. But, yeah. but it's just like I, 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 I lag a lot and I stumble a lot when I talk. I don't know why. It's just. But, but so coming bad. back to but, the but issue of why, why? Is you're saying. But, but let, me just, let me just explain this point. So. When, 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 I, when I said he intentionally makes a mistake, it's not that he's making a mistake. Allah Azza wa Jal changes his taklif to make a mistake in this instance so that people know what they would do if they would pray and No, make a we mistake. don't believe that. This so is this, this is a spin, the Shia, yeah. if, if, the, if the Shia do believe yeah, this. We, we do. Yeah, I don't know if this is your own opinion, That's Shia not, opinion. We do believe Okay, okay. Sure. Yeah, they have to come up with these stories to substantiate their false ideas. Okay, Shias had to come up with a lot of stories in the second and the third and the fourth century to substantiate some of the batil ideas, like the Quran, the harif of the Quran, which is another topic. I don't believe uh, it. You don't believe in it, but I will pull out. I no serious scholar believes in it. No, no, don't, don't, don't go there. Al-Mufi, Let's come back. Okay. Let's come back to that. Let's come back to that. Let's come back to that issue. Let's come back. This is uh, another uh, tangent. So okay. Can I just mention this idea of Aisha and then we can do something else? Yeah. So, so there are two qiraat. Sagat, Kulubukuma, and Zagat. Zagat is the qiraat of Ibn Mas'ud. No, it's not. Uh, is it one of the ten? No, it's not. It's not. It's not it's Sorry, but, but it's from him. It's from him. Uh, so, uh, now the Shias are claiming there's another Quran. Do you no, have no, another no, Quran? No, it's, right. It's in Tabari. Go, go to any tafsir. No, no, no. We know there are many Qiraat attributed. Yeah. No, it's, to... it's not actually. Look, there okay. are, are Qiraat Hashim with Yeah. Which are is the it, ones that we is have... it from them? It's not. Then it's not the Quran. Full it stop. is. It is the Quran. Brother, no. you know what the definition of the Quran is? It doesn't necessarily. You know what the, the definition of what is the Quran? What is the Quran? That which Allah has revealed in, in, in through who? Through How? Angel Gabriel. No, the Quran that has been revealed to the Prophet by Allah, taught by the Prophet to the companions, and transmitted to us through authentic chains it of is, narration is, and the Musa, and that can be found in the Masahib of Uthman. Okay, that's the Quran. I mean, the the Masahib of Uthman doesn't doesn't really mean anything. Go to Iran and Iraq yeah, know, and go to your Hussainiyat and. They all pick up the Quran, that's the Rasam of Usman. Whether you like it or not, Look, you're reading the Quran compiled by. No, the Hassan, of... Hassan, 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 and Abu Abdul Rahman Sunami, and man. No, the Rasam. Ali. You, know what so, the, you know what the Rasam is? I don't care of the, 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 you know, the Ottoman Empire, how they. Brother, you know, Rasam, they, Rasam. Yeah, you don't know what. No, Rasam, I know. The, the actual no. like, writing no. of it. Rasam has got nothing to do with the Ottoman Empire and, uh, it, it is, isn't and it? the Mamluks. It is. No, Rasam is what we find in the most uh, uh, ancient manuscripts. That's the Rasam of Usman. This, let me show you. This is the Rasam of Usman. Okay? So that you understand. Um, this is the Rasam of Usman, brother. That's in Birmingham, isn't it? No, no, this is the Sana. Sana, yeah, that's this, Sana, Sana. This, is, this, is, this is what we call the Rasam of Usman. Uh, if you Google Sana, Manuscripts, Sana, yeah. you will, yes, Sana, manuscripts, you will see what I'm talking about to the brother. Rasam of Usman is this. This is what we call this. The Shia have nothing other than this. This is what you're reading. In your Husseiniyat, this is the Quran you're we reading. We don't rely upon Uthman at all. Bro, Bro, brother, Uthman. you have no choice. You don't You don't know about this. No, no, Maybe we, you don't know about this. You you have no compilation of the Quran other than the compilation of Uthman. No, we have we have chains of the Quran. If you, if, if you, go, if you go to Bihar and First of all, well, you know, the chains are irrelevant on their own if there is no Rasm to back the chains. We don't care about, I mean, it's, it's, it's all transmission. We don't care about Rasm. If this existed or didn't, without, without you know, part the Quran. No, Quran has been preserved. How, how has the Quran been preserved? How so? No, yes, not necessarily. Oh. No, Tawatur, yes, Tawatur. That is, that is the main. Ta yani, uh, tawatur plus the Musahib. The mu Brother, without the Musahib, you, know you can claim, that can be anyone Musahib. can claim Tawatur. No, no, it's not. not, no, it's not that's a, tawatur, when you, when you claim Tawatur, which means even even if you group of a Buddhist, of a Buddhist atheist, maybe, whatever, maybe, maybe, claim, maybe Quranic yeah. studies is not the strongest point of your. Uh, your yeah, 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 the, the, I'm the, telling you, I have looked. Because it's, we it's have irrelevant. Uh, no, it's not irrelevant. You don't know what you're talking about. Go to okay. Don't don't listen to me. Pick up Western non-Muslim scholars. Nikolai Sinai, Nikolai Sinai. Uh, there is this guy Deroche, uh, Francois Deroche, who has written uh, the Quran, uh, the Umayyad Qurans. Okay, go and read the book, and then you will understand a bit more about the Rasam and the Sanat. What, what, what is the difference between Tawatur? And Rasam. Okay. I'll, I'll check him out. So, so other than that, the issue of the Quran, well, the the Kira you were going to use, yeah. we disregarded because it's not from the ten Tawatur. No, no one has disregarded it. Ibn Kathir, for example, not not, not Dimashri, but, but another one. Let me explain something to you. Just because a Tafsir mentioned something like this was the all Tafsir, all of them. 
Just if I, it's I not, you give me one text, one text because you don't mention it. It's not if it's not from the ten karat. If it's not from the ten karat, then it's not the Quran, brother. No, if it's it not is. from the it is from the mutawatir. Look, it's not it's not it's not from the Tawatir Ashram. But okay, wait, the, the wait, issue let is. Let me let me establish this. Let me make it easy. Any reading attributed to the Quran that does not have Tawatir is that the Quran? If so I claim something to be the Quran today, if it's authentic, you transmit it. Then yes. No, 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 no. You, listen to me, Kevin. My question: the Quran has to be Tawatir. If no, if it's not. Okay, no, the Quran has if, to be Tawatur, brother. That's the definition of the Quran. The defi no, no, but I base my this, religion this, on the Quran and the Sunnah. This, if, you, if you bring this me something... This shocks me. Wallahi, this shocks that, me that you, as a Shia student, mashallah, you know Arabic, you are reading the, the, the reports in Arabic language, and you don't know this, this basic fact about yeah, the Quran. Yeah, yeah, this is something which people have come up with, this idea that the Quran has to be Mutawatir. There is no, there's no saying from the Prophet, Ya Qawm, Khudu wa minni hawa Quran ila Tawatir. This doesn't exist. No, there it's is. Not, well, there, the, how how do we know this? How do we how do we know that uh, the Quran has to be from the Tawatir? How do we know? It's just something people. Because, no, I mean, no, no, the, because, this is because, because, because of the Sahaba. Among, among, because of the Sahaba. Because of yeah, the Sahaba. Of course, because because they, they did not accept any attribution at face value. They were asking for Tawatir from the Sahaba. The, for example, when Uthman put down anything in the Mus'haf, it was not Uthman. It was a committee of the Sahaba who received parchments written down by Sahaba from different sources. Two verses were not there in written. Two verses. And the Sahaba knew these verses are from the Quran. Two verses. The last verses of Surah Tawbah. And they were found with one Sahabi, Abu, Abu Khuzayb al-Ansari. He brought them. And they asked for another witness. He said, there is, I'm, I'm the only witness. And they know it's from the Quran. But they cannot put it down because they put a very strict criteria to document the Quran. And then Abu Khuzayb al-Ansari, about him there was a report. When the Prophet ﷺ, uh, had a transaction with uh, a person and he went back on the transaction. So Abu Khuzaim al Ansari was passing through that place and you know the story, yeah? Okay. And the Prophet said, we had a deal. The guy went back on the deal and uh, he said, he said, we did not have a deal. The Prophet said, we have a deal. So Abu Khuzaim al Ansari said, I testify that the Prophet had a deal. The Prophet said, you weren't there. How do you know? He said, Ya Rasulullah, we testify to the ghaib that an angel comes to you and brings the Quran to you. This is far less than that. And Abu Khuzaim al-Ansari, the Prophet said about him that your testimony is equal to two, not one. That's why to prove that point, they accepted that last two verses of Surah Tawbah from him. Brother, these things you need to know. But, but, look, okay? That story. okay, And I recommend a book for you. It is called History of the Quranic Text from Revelation to Compilation. Read that book and it will clarify a lot of these things to you. Okay, sure. A lot of these things we are discussing, you will know what the Quran is. Okay, Firstly, you need to know as a Shia brother, as a student, what is the Quran? What this phenomenon called the Quran, what constitutes it? If you don't know, how can we even have a conversation? So now I'm explaining to you the Quran is so that that kira, that reading you were using, put it aside. It's not part of the conversation. It's not part of the discussion. Yeah. It's not from the ten, right? No. Okay, put it aside. Not, not to be discussed. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. Now coming to the issue. So this, this issue of of uh, tawas or contra ahad. Th this, this is another issue. Wait, wait. This is another discussion. It is, it is authentically transmitted. Sorry? It is authentically transmitted. This Ali of Zara, Zayid, and You're still not getting my point. Brother, this, First, this, this before you, before you continue with me, you need to go and check with your scholars, okay, and our scholars, what is the Quran. Then come to me, okay? Don't don't bring this up. Don't bring it. Because clearly you don't know. Fair clearly enough, clearly you're, you're lacking in that. Let me, let me bring okay. it like... Cause, okay. cause you, you, Quran you has to be Tawatur. Full yeah. stop. Period. There's no other discussion on this, okay? Every single word, every single verse of the Quran has to be transmitted to Tawatur, not just authentic. Okay, that's a standard for the Quran. We have a very high standard for the Quran. Every single verse, I can stand here today in the 21st century, claim with confidence that every single verse of the Quran, every single sentence came from the mouth of yeah. Rasulullah in that way. In that way, the way it's written down. Okay, so now, now, now coming back to the issue of Aisha radiallahu You was claiming she conspired, she lied, and she had dunya at heart, not the love of the Prophet. I had, I had two hadiths, I only quoted one, the one of Maghafir. The other hadith is also a Sahih Muslim. And uh, basically the Prophet, he went to visit the graves, uh, 
some some graves of of shuhada and so on, sahaba. And then um, Aisha she follows him. Okay, uh, you know what I'm referring to? Yeah. Okay. So she follows. Very him. good. So she, she, <laughs> Very good she, report. You're, she, you're gonna make my point for me. She, she follows. Go him. ahead. And then uh, the prophet realized that uh, there's you know someone's following him. Yeah. And then he, he he rushes back and she rushes before him. She sleeps and she has like really high breath. You know, she's breathing in and out, exhaling, inhaling in a quick yeah. manner. Mm-hmm. She, and, he, and, he, and he says to her, why, why are you, you know, breathing so loud? And she says, well, I shake, it's because of nothing. Lie, lie, you basically ran, that's, that's, it's not because of nothing. Then she says, He punched me, الهدس, you know, بجمع, he had, bam, right? He punched me and it hurts me. And she's narrating this years after it happening so she still remembers that the prophet physically hurts him what does allah just say okay, in the okay, Quran? Wait. Ya what, what is the word lahadan 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 is not to punch i i, che- I checked i checked from the qamus is, i checked from the dictionaries it he, means he, he to press is, brother brother he, darab, he, 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 darab, darab is darab is you can say darab is punch no, I mean, uh, one can argue darab is striking falahada is to press to burden check ibn mandur Go and check. Lahada. It is. Lahada. As far as I know, it is. No, no, no. You insist. I've checked. I've checked. Because Christian missionaries were using this against us. Okay. Not long ago. David Wood was using this against us. And I checked the meaning. Yeah, it's to press. Yeah. But Lahada is to press. Fair enough. But he still has her. Yeah. He still has her. He caused her. The Prophet caused her pain. The Prophet caused Aisha pain. He pointed. He, he hurt her. Yeah. So yeah. Does yeah. that does that hurt? Well, not me, but but it hurt no, Aisha. It doesn't hurt. No. Are you sure? No, it doesn't. Hurt. Brother, come on. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yes. Yes. Did she say I was hurt? Yes, she did. Yeah, yeah. It says. It says that it hurt me. Okay. But I'm saying. Did this hurt you? Does that hurt you? Yeah. Does that hurt you? Are you sure? Because it doesn't hurt him. Does that hurt you? Uh, Allah, no, it doesn't hurt you. But if it did no. hurt you, does it cause you any pain? No, no. But, does it but, cause you any pain? No, no, but, 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 but even, yeah, but even if, if even if I press on my um, on, uh, you know, on, on, on my body. So, so the point. Anyway, the the, the point, the point you're making is that Aisha radiallahu anha, she was doing something. This is amazing now. And what does Allah say about, about this about, to the Prophet? Ya yuh, ya yuh, ya yuh, Nabi, jahil al kufar wal munafiqin wa ghalil alayhi. So, yeah, what little, yeah. So is it so is this not an example of of ghilda, of harshness? No. How is it not? He, he oh, hurts her. Subhanallah, Allah, 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 unbelievable. So you now you're telling me that uh, this is ghilda. This okay, is example. Okay, okay. Of, when of, Ali bin Abi Talib, when Abi, uh, when Ali bin Abi Talib struck Hassan on the chest. Why did he do this? Uh, when uh, they uh, failed to protect Uthman at the door. Well, it's not fabricated. It's false. Okay, okay, it's false. false. No, no, I'm not going to use it. If you're yeah. going to contest it, no problem. Of course, I'm but we can have other examples. Uh, from the Quran, yeah. with, with prophets, uh, Harun, wait, 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 now you're gonna stand by. So now Harun is, Na'udhu Billah, Na'udhu Billah, is, is uh, from the Munafiqin and the Kuffar? No, no, no. So why is Musa so harsh with him? Well, because Musa did just... more than the Prophet did to Aisha. Yeah, I know. He took him yeah. by the hair, I know. Yeah, Allah, but, come. But, but the thing uh, is... so, so, so think before you make an argument, no, no, okay? But... So now, again, let me come back to the main point I was making. Aisha, now you're saying she had dunya, she had this, and she had this. Da, 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 da. Let's say the Shia story on Aisha is correct. It's an accurate one. Let's assume. You know who the blame comes on? The Prophet. And Allah. And Allah. Allah was Aisha the wife of the Prophet until he died. Yes. She was. Yes. She was from the Azwaj. You agree? So she was the mother of the believers. Oh. You're going against the Quran. The reason as to why I'm not you, going against the Quran is in your neck. No, no, the Quran no, no. is the look, forelock look, on your neck. Look, this, this is the issue. Atila bin Tuqais. Who? Atila bin Tuqais. Who is she? She was the wife of the Prophet. She no, no, she, no, no, she was divorced. No, no, she was divorced. No, no, no. Was she was not I dare anyone one bring me a single authentic hadith that yeah. the Prophet divorced. There's no, there's no. Okay, it's, it's she, a she, 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 she said, she said, may Allah. Yeah, and this was also done by Aisha. This was also done. <laughs> Let me help you. Let me help you. This was also the doing of Aisha radiallahu anha. Aisha no, radiallahu anha told her to say this. No, no, this was, this she, was, no, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. This was this was at the at the very like um, I know 
I know what you're referring to. It was basically okay. Uh, was, okay, let me help you. No, no, let, I, let, I know, I know what you're referring to. It's confusing here because there was some woman that the prophet married, and she said to him, "When the prophet comes to you, I'll do. I'll do. It's not her. It's not her. It's not. Her, it's, not her, it's another woman. Someone else. Yeah, someone else. Well, that one prophet divorced. He was, she was sent home. He, he was, yeah, I, I know. This one he divorced, but but there was so, so, Hatila, I, Hatila, my, Hatila. my question is, the Quran says. النبي أولى بالمؤمنين. لا that caveat the Shias have to add this. the Shia no because it's not in the Quran. أي بقية what do you mean أي بقية؟ no no أي 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 بقية على ذمته which means that she remains a a wife. I know what you mean. yeah I know what you mean in Arabic. because Khadija she she by the way when 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 I'm asking you when the Prophet died where did where did he die? Died in the house of Hassan, uh, died in the, house, uh, in the lap of Ali ibn Abi Talib. In the house of Aisha? No, what was no, Ali no. doing there? Where's the, Where the Prophet? But archaeologically, yeah. brother, you yeah. are wrong. Archaeologically, yeah. forget about uh, our Sunnah and Hadith and the Quran. Audhu Billah. Okay, archaeologically, archaeology will tell you, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this this Hujr in the, the, the Prophet was buried in is actually, it's actually called. Hujratun Nabi. This was as, 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 as a yes, good. Hujratun Nabi. Yeah, this it's was also called Hujrat Aisha. No, no. This it's in like, Bukhari, brother. I, I know, I know. But wa, 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 wa ashara ila Hujrat Aisha. Wa ashara ila Hujrat Aisha. I know. I know. Okay. But, but, wa wa qala al fitna tu ha huna. Yeah. Al fitna tu ha huna. I'm helping you. Look, look. Where are you gonna find a brother like me? Shake my hand. Okay. The Prophet pointed towards the house of Aisha radiallahu anha, and he said, Al fitna tu ha huna. Al fitna tu ha huna. That. Mischief is there. Yeah. And the Shias love this. Oh, Allahu Akbar. Amazing, amazing. This look, the Prophet. Anyway. But when you go to Sahih Muslim, when you go to uh, other books, it clarifies what it means. Because the house of Aisha was towards the east. Was it? Was yeah. it not a lie? There was uh, the uh, the uh, you know the the hadith that I quoted in Sahih Muslim when she was you know breathing out loud and yeah you no know, it's it's it's, a, it's a, a, no our reading of the hadith is the Pro, uh, Aisha radiallahu anha out of her love she went after the Prophet she loved him so much she could not share him with anyone she could not possibly share him with him so she thought maybe the Prophet is going through another wife. There's nothing wrong with that. What? Why, as why a woman, prophet, as a woman, she has emotions. Why didn't the prophet appreciate this, this extreme love that he, he basically? No man, no man. By the way, I, I don't believe the hadith is authentic. But I, I, I don't and, believe the Muslim. They Muslim? No, it's I mean, authentic. It's, it's a hadith, to you, of course. But, I, but I, why would here. you? Okay, tell me why is it, why is it not authentic? Well, because we, I don't believe that the prophet was a was a one who, who, who hit woman. He didn't hit her. Well, he, that, that's the okay. problem. Okay, you're fair reading. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're reading. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Fair enough. He did I not hit her. I don't believe that. No, that's out. No. That's out. Okay. Do you not believe yeah, it? Yeah. I, I, okay. He, he, now he, you accept it. No, I don't. No, because okay. hitting okay. is out. Let me let me um um change my like phraseology. Yeah. So I don't believe that the prophet was someone who would physically inflict pain on women. Is that better? Okay. okay. That's okay. good. That's I, good. I, I, okay. And I I believe the prophet did not mean to do that. The hadith doesn't say that. No. That he actually meant he's, he pressed the what Falahada is too yeah. Okay. Not, yeah. No. Did you, yeah, so it's not a punch. The punch is out of the question. If she says that it hurts me, yeah. then you infer that a lahza would probably not have hurt me. Yeah. If it was a punch, it would have been enough for her to say he punched me. Yeah. Look at the word. So, so no, look, our reading, brother, it's not a punch. It's not a punch. We're gonna waste time. Okay. It's, it's, it's the Prophet Pesta. So the Prophet Sallallahu so he even in Badr, in the Battle of Badr, for example, when he was straightening the line, unintentionally he pressed, he poked the stomach of a Sahabi, and it hurt him. It, it, the Prophet didn't want to hurt him, well, and then he said, "Ya Rasulullah, yeah. you hurt me. Yeah. Lift the lift the cloth." Yeah, yeah. And then see? he kissed the stomach. See, see? yeah, yeah. So, so Aisha, so, Aisha, no, Aisha. No. Wait, wait, Aisha radiallahu anha. For your information, the Prophet died her in her arms. No, that's her claim. Well, let me let me that's finish my claim. He died in her arms, and the last thing to enter her mouth, his mouth was her spit, because her brother Abdurrahman walked in with the siwak, and she. The prophet, looked, the the prophet looked at the yeah. siwak. How do I know all of this story? This story we have made up the Sunnis. How do I know it's true? I know it's true. How, the archaeology. We have so much evidence. There is not a historian, a serious historian, and it's not even the Shias who have some self-respect. They will agree 
that this was the house of Aisha. Why Abu Bakr is buried there? And who did they come for the permission? Who did they come for? Aisha, because you know, uh, yeah, why? The house, the why? The house, it was Hujra, Hujra, Hujra. This, hujra, is this hujra is called Hujra al Nabi. It was, it was basically. You know, so where was Aisha? Where was Aisha? She was using our own. In, in this same place? No, it's not. Where, where, where is the house? Where is the house? What is Hujra al Nabi? It is basically the in Arabic we we, we call it al Barraniya, which is like no. A, what he's saying is can actually I, can going I, can again. I just, because, because, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, every was one of his. That's, that's correct. That's correct. The prophet, the prophet, he, he, had, he had his own hujra, which is a which is a place. Yes, he did. Which is which is yes, he did. Yes, he, it was it was basically like, like a. Barani. Where's the evidence? It's in uh, I believe in Sahih Bukhari. The show me. That he had a hujra specifically yeah. alone for himself. Yeah. If he did, why did he go for 29 days to the masjid? You know about so, that? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Quran yeah, mentions yeah, it. So if he had his own hujra, this is, everything you're saying is going against you. Okay. Where did the Prophet live for 29 days? In the mosque. In the, why? He has a hujra. Well, he, he, he has a hujra to go to. He secured. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. He, 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 had, he had nine wives, each and every single one of them hujra. Bro, the brother is claiming that the Prophet had a hujra with yeah, yeah, Why yeah. is he going to the masjid for 21? 29, 29 because he had to secure himself from the house. In the house no, he himself. went to the masjid. So he left the house. No, house, well, he can stay in his hujra and say, don't come no, to no. me. No, his hujra, his hujra is, 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 is more like a barraniya. You know what, you know what that is? A barraniya is basically like, like you know, like... like you are making. You know why you have to do this? No, I don't have to. It's, <laughs> no, no, it's true. I'll tell you why you have to do this. Because the fact that Aisha was the last person the Prophet was, was touched by. Wait, wait, wait. And the fact that the Prophet died in her arms, and if this is true, brother, okay, wait, wait, later. Let's establish this. If this is true, what I'm saying, that renders the Shia view of Aisha Absolutely, 100%. You agree with me? 100%. Allahu Akbar. 100%. And if, 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 I prove, if I prove to, the, to you from the sources, yes. Shia and Sunnah, yeah. both sources, yeah. that the Prophet died with Aisha in her arms, yeah. No, no, okay, look, 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 okay, wait, wait. Look. In her hujra, look, look. and he was buried in that hujra because of that reason. Look. And so was Abu Bakr and Umar. Yes. Okay, yeah. look, look. I'm, I'm yeah. going to say this. If you bring me an, an, authentic, an, an authentically transmitted hadith that mentions that Aisha died on the lap of... Uh, sorry, that the Prophet died on the lap of Aisha, I will leave the shayat right now. No, no, no. Wallahi. Okay. Oh, let, me, let me work. In, in, I, I haven't... In, in I'm going to go to Shia sources. I'm not going to go to Sunni. Because Sunni sources, we have it. Yeah, we have cool. Bukhari. No, no, I, Aisha I, I said, Mata, yeah. Mata bayna ha kinati wa da kinati. And no one challenged her. No one challenged her. Okay? No, no, because she is the... the uh, they don't have the boss. You can challenge it. No, why would... What, what, what boss? <laughs> people, what people, people, people are not listening to her. So many times Sahaba did not listen to her. When she was here, had an when, opinion... When she wanted to... Sorry. Yeah, that's no such thing as I would. You are accusing everyone in the community of lying because she's the daughter of the boss. No, because this is very. This is outrageous. How is that right? Sorry, this is outrageous. You're accusing the entire community. No, 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 Medina not the entire community. Of How is the community? Daughter of the boss. Not this, the this is why the Shia Shia no, Shia, no, no, Shia, you have, you have Shia theology is the most no, radical. No, no, no. It's the most this radical no, theology no, in history. No, you know that. Sorry, it's the most radical no, no, theology no, no, because no, they do no, flips, you know what, uh, unbelievable you know, flips. You know what's outrageous? What is outrageous no, is no, her making big big and army the dog killing That's another question we can address. The claim. Well, you are angry because I said that. She, that, that, that no one would challenge her because, because her father is the caliph. Is the leader, no the one would challenge her. No, no, her who, who will challenge her? No one, if she says something, so, no one will challenge her. Ali ibn Abi Talib, Ali ibn Abi Talib, had to, had to initiate an army to, to stop her. An army, an entire army, Jaysh. An army to stop Ali Aisha. I will Jamal, show you. Have you ever heard of Jamal? Are you like a I, I will show you. Jamal, an entire army. Well, of course, because because he, he just mentioned to me how can Aisha, if these are uh, for, uh, old Qurans, of course, you are. Who the leader? He, who sat? Who sat on the Jamal? So I can't see Jamal. Who is not? This. Don't go to this. I'm you are telling me. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Yes. You are claiming that people will not confront the falsehood 
No, no, not necessarily. They, 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 who, who, who is who's that idea? And then there's Isna Asri. And then from those. And then there's the Alawiyah that's the Wait, wait. This, it's so dirty. This is good. But we, we can. Do one deviance, all of this we can address his points. No, 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 we can address his points. I can do we that can. as well. The Shia, the Maturidiya, the Salafiya, the Dubandiya, the Baralviya. You are bearing this. So, and the Shia, she has a one of them. She has a one of them. Yeah, but the Shia, the Shia is a Mu'tazila, you know, by the way. No, in the theology, they are Mu'tazila. The Shia is a Mu'tazila. Okay. The rest is over. So this is the result. Wait, wait. But this, this is the motion, brother. This is the motion. This is the motion. No, no, no. But this is the motion. Don't so keep emotions. We can deal with these arguments. We can deal with these arguments. We can address every single thing you throw. Don't be emotional. No, no. Okay, wait. No, no, don't worry. He's emotional. No, no, it's fine. I don't, yeah, I don't mind. Don't mind. So well, you, you have raised, you have raised some good points, and we are addressing them. The, the, the hujra where the prophet is buried. If yeah, I show so, so, you, so if show I show the, you the hujra, that it was the room of Aisha radiallahu anha, it's over for you. Of You're course, finished. Course. Two, two yeah. things. I always mention two things. Two things. I always that the shayo falls on its face by two historic facts. Two. If we can show them. Okay, that the Prophet died in the house of Aisha in her arms. That demolishes the Shayu completely. Why? Because the story falls on his face. That's why they have to deny it. Why do why would you deny it? They have to deny it because that they know the consequences. The second fact is Hassan gave Baya to Muawiyah. Yeah, not uh, Sulh. So the, Shi the Shias they play this game. So no, there was Sulh. This uh, was a treaty. No, Yusuf, it was Baya. Yusuf also gave Baya to uh, what's his name? No, no, the Kafir. No, no. Yes. How do we do that? He's always no, here. No, 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 no. Well, first of all, first of all, first of all, it's you're gonna have to prove to me that the king of Yusuf was Kafir. He was Kafir, of course he was. No, show, sure, prove it, prove it, prove it, prove it. You have no proof. You have no proof. It's an assumption. There's no evidence for it. Number one. Number two. Even if he was a Kafir, even if he's a Kafir. Where is the evidence that Yusuf actually gave him bayah, which is a religious allegiance? Wait, wait, number one. Because now you're saying that Yusuf gave bayah religious allegiance. Bay bayah does not mean uh, a, a pledge of allegiance. Bayah in Islam means specifically religious pledge of allegiance. You are not only accepting the person as a political leader, you're accepting him as your religious spiritual leader. This is bayah in Islam. So. You fail, you fail there. Your, your, your argument falls there. The, set, the next point is now, once we prove that Hassan gave Bay'a a religious pledge of allegiance to Muawiyah, Shiaism, the Shia falls on his face. Whether you like it or not, that's the reality. Do you deny that he gave Bay'a? Well, not in the way that you're framing it. We believe it's an Azul, which means that... It isn't your sources. It isn't your sources. Well, being in my sources is, is one thing. The Look, word Bay'a. Just like, just like you're talking about Christian. He says, it's in your hadith, it's in your hadith, it's like circumcision. Okay, it can be in my sources, but you have to show me it's authentic. Chain, it's not, hadith and you okay. it's authentic, okay. Okay. I'll accept it. Okay. But if it's not, then, then obviously okay. it's, it's a false if, 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 Okay, if I show you authentic. that Hassan authentic. gave bayah, not only Hassan, Hussein and Qais bin Sa'ad bin Ubadah, who was reluctant, who didn't hey, want uh, to give bayah, and Hussein, Hussein told him, how dare you not give bayah? To someone who, uh, to someone who Hassan gives bayah to. Show me authentic, he show me. I, I, okay, I will show you from your, uh, so it's, uh, if, if your historians, um, historians, yeah, yeah, any, anyone can make an historian. Bakr Majlisi? No. No, no. no, you don't not, accept? Not in of itself. It has to be chained and authentic. Rajal al Kashi? It has to be chained. It's not. Okay. okay. So Rajal al Kashi, the, the sources. Okay. The, the, the if if I show you from chains yes. and the Shias don't yes. dispute it, yes. you, will, you will leave the Shia on this point. Yes? If, if, if Imam Hazan alayhi salam says that you, O Muawiyah, are, are more. No, no, no. Bayah. Forget about the caveats. Like, like, no input conditions. Bayah. 
He, so, he, so, so, I say to him, I give bayah to you, you're Amir al Mu'mineen, and I'm your follower. Okay. And that means Imam, Amir al Mu'mineen, spiritually yes. and temporally. Okay. okay. Yes? If, 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 if that's there, I'll be prepared. You, you know bayah means that in Islam, right? Yeah. Bayah. Yeah. The word bayah, not sulh. Yeah. Sulh is a different matter. Sulh, you can have it kuffar, you can have it. Because Muawiyah's cost is a. Is a any, Kufr uh, Kufr Zahiri, and it's apparent. Yeah, because and Hassan gave him bayah, yeah, and not if, only if that, gave the ummah to him, gave the entire ummah to him. Because he used to cross Imam Ali alayhi salatu salam. He used to cross Amir al-Mumin. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Show me, show me. Wait, 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 wait. Show me. Not, not in your book. Uh, not in your book. In, in my book, authentically. Listen, if you in tell me book. Harry Potter. Look, J.K. Rowling, J.K. Uh, Rowling says I'll, I'll also show that Muawiyah used to curse Ali. I'm not going to believe that. No, no. Okay. But, but, yeah. but there's one interesting thing. In Musanna, and um, there's a... I know the reports. No, no. In Musanna, Amir al-Mu'mineen used to, in his Qunut, he would say, Allahumma alayka bi Muawiyah. Allahumma alayka bi... Uh, um, that means Muawiyah. nothing. What that's mean? not, that's not, uh, that's not La'ana. How is it not La'ana? Oh, no, it's not La'ana. No, no, what is it? No, it's not La'ana. Why? Because they were at war with each other. Why, why not? Why? Muawiyah and Ali were not at war with each other? You can't, you can't say... That okay, we, we, we disagree on history. No, 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 no. You misinterpret things. So the fitna that happened with my companions that led them to war, that was not like... Um, it's not like the way you imagine it, that they are fighting for dunya. If you want to imagine it like that, then that's your fault. Because you can't, again, I'm stressing, these companions are the ones that fought next on the side of the Prophet. These are the ones that risked their lives for the Prophet. And they went for him with him in every battle. And they gave their money. And they gave their lives and everything. Those companions you're, you're talking about, those who yeah. fought with the Prophet, who gave their money and their wealth, there's no dispute about them. No Muslim. But why, can... how come these companions were on both sides of the conflict? No, that's not the case. Show me one companion who would who gave his wealth, who fought all the battles, and who fought against Ali. No one. Every against Ali. Yeah. No one did it. Yalla. Min kutub al-Shia. Yeah, min kutub al-Shia. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Adna, adna, it's not Sahih. Yeah. Khalas. No problem. Khalas. Wait, wait, wait. Al Hasan رضي الله عنه بايع معاوية رضي الله عنه من كتب الشيعة. Okay, كتاب رجال الكشي. سفا كذا وكذا. Okay. سمعت أبو عبد الله يقول إن معاوية كتب إلى إلى الحسن بن علي أن هو أن 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 توا وي 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 الحسين وصحابه وي 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 the point well let me finish the point I want to فقال يا حسن قم فبايع فقام بايع ثم قال للحسين قم فبايع فقام فبايع ثم قال قم يا قيس قيس بن سعد بن عبادة، أوكي، فباي، فلتفت إلى الحسين، يندر ما يأمره، أوكي، فقال يا قيس إنه إمامي، يعني الحسن، يعني حسن إز ما إمام، and what Hassan has done do، أوكي، هو هو أثنتي كذا حديث، أوكي، let's check، check، you wanna check؟ جبريل بن هو الإسناد، جبريل بن أحمد وأبو إسحاق uh, and the way. I mean, you. Go Ibrahim ibn Nus. You have to read. Allah the Son of Man, Abdul Hamid al Latar al Kufi and Yunus bin Yaqub bin Abdul Fadil. Yeah. So we we have books where scholars have have collected the the Sahih Hadith. So okay. Example, if this Abu Hadith, Muslim, if these, okay. Wait. First, first of all, how many Shia sources do we have? Rijal al Kashi. Okay. Then Muqad al Talibin li Abu Farj al Isfahani. Kashf al Ghumma li li Arbili. Okay. 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 Well, it's not, it's not, I mean, no, 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 the, the only one I'm is Bihar al Anwar al Majlisi. Okay, he also has a hadith. Okay, well, let, let me see the chain. Uh, but but look, look that's, that's the funny thing. Bihar al Anwar is literally t taking Abu Faraj al Asfahani and copy pasting it. Okay, so it's the one source. Okay, look, the point is, there are many Shia sources that report the wording Baya. Okay, my point is, if I show you according to your, let's say, I'll, we'll go to Akhoi. Okay. Okay. I'll, we'll check out. Uh, we'll check out what Al Khoi has to say on this report. If Al Khoi says this report is authentic, you're gonna read, leave the show. Yes? Are you sure? Yes. You're saying this on camera. Yeah. And you come here every week. Yeah. Okay. Let me bring back what Al Khoi said on this. Yeah. Okay. If Al Khoi accepts, I mean, he, he, I mean not, we're not, not, we're not gonna not deal with it. Wait. We're not gonna deal with this spin. 
Okay. Yes, to authenticate the chain. Yeah, yeah. I don't take his opinion. Yeah. Just like oh, opinion. Okay. The chain. We're, we're not gonna we're not gonna address his spin. How he explains it away because Al Khoi was a genius on spinning things. For example, with Zurarat ibn Ayyan, when Imams condemn him in Rajah Rashi, he, he authenticates the report. He goes, and he also authenticates uh, other, other ones. Which and, then, him. and then he, what does he say? The Imam Jum was doing taqiyya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imam was doing taqiyya. Like We're like not going to accept that bakwas. Just, just like yeah. Malik was doing taqiyya by not narrating from, from a side. So it's known. No, that's not taqiyya. Oh, that's not taqiyya. That's, okay. that's tadlis. We call it tadlis, brother. Taqiyya is outright lying, contradicting each other. One place you're saying uh, the sky is blue, another place you're saying no, it's green. Okay, that's taqiyya. Not okay. necessarily. Yeah. No, no. Taqiyya can also be, for example, that no, I don't... Hiding is not taqiyya. That's tadlis. We call it hiding your source just because you don't want to reveal your source. That's tadlis. We have a term for that. Okay. okay. So now, once I will go and I want all of you brothers and sisters paste the links from Al Khoi where he authenticated this report from Rijal Al Kashi, where Imam Hassan, Hussein, both gave bay'ah to Muawiyah radiallahu an. And if you can help us, inshallah, find the research posted in the comment section it, so that my brother it can it see it as well, inshallah. It has to be authentic. Okay. That's, that's and of mean. course, Khoi. Al Khoi is authentic. Al Khoi is the, the Al Bari of the Shia. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah? Well, yeah, Al -Khoi, yeah they, why did I mention Al Khoi? So, so show it to me now. Huh? Show it to me now. I don't know. I'm going to have to find this report. Okay, why, one, why second. one second, one second. We, we'll, we'll post it. Al Khoi. Oh, subhanAllah, where did it go? Yeah, Al Khoi. Let me cut and paste it. Let me just see the first now. Okay, just, just, just take this hadith. Um, the problem is, this I mentioned the hadith. Hadith had 176. Well, the Tabaas are different as well. No, Rijal al Kashi. Yeah, but the. Al Khoi has the Takhrij of Rijal al Kashi, right? He does. Go, no, no, no. No, you can find it. I mean, you can find Al Khoi on Rijal al Kashi. In Mojam al Khoi. Yeah, in Al Mojam. Yes, 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 in Al Mojam. He's done, because other reports of Zurara, he's done Takhrij for them. So let's let's find out. If this is Sahih, brother. Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Not with Ali, not with Ali Waliullah, because we already believe that. We don't need to say it. We don't need to say it. Ali, Ali Waliullah. Okay, we all, Ali Waliullah, Abu Bakr Waliullah, Uthman Waliullah, Umar Waliullah, and all other Sahaba who died believers. Do you think Waliullah would go to the house of Fatima and threaten her with fire? Okay, that's a good, have you read the report? Yeah. Completely. Yeah. That report goes against you. Is it, you're reading the one from Musannaf, yeah? yeah? yeah. Musannaf. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you read it in Arabic? Yes. Pull it out. It's going to go against you. It's going to show you something you may not have. Just like you've been quoting reports, and in those very reports there is argument against you. Just like this one, we will show you that in this very report there's an argument against you. You can. It's finished, nearly finished. Okay, Musannaf, the one in Musannaf, read. Musannaf of Ibn Abi Shayba. The report. Hadathana Muhammad ibn Bishr. Read the chain, read, leave the chain. Go straight to the matan. Anna wa hina buya ali abi bakrin ba'da rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kana ali wa zubair yadukulani ala fatima ta bendi rasulillah. Fayushawiranaha, fayushawiranaha wa fayartajiuna fi amrihim. فلما بلغ ذلك عمر بن الخطاب خرج حتى دخل على فاطمة فقال فقال يا بنت فقال فقال now read very slowly فقال what what is عمر saying يا بنت رسول الله يا بنت رسول الله والله ما من أحد أحب إلينا من أبيك الله أكبر والله ما والله ما من أحد أحب إلينا من أبيك okay وأنتي I'm I'm gonna read it وما من أحد أحب إلينا بعد أبيك منك منك okay now stop there do you believe this part yeah, you believe that Omar loved the Prophet, and after the Prophet he loved. No, I believe that Omar said this, but I don't no, believe. No, 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 no. Okay, you believe Omar said this, but you don't believe he actually meant it. Ya Allah. No, because, because okay, in this very report, okay, you, Omar is you, saying, okay, I did not you, love anyone more than your father, and after you, your father, I do not love love more you, any no, anyone but, more than but, you. But I will tell you the why. Daughter of Rasulullah, yeah, Fatima. But, but I will tell you why I don't believe. Why I don't believe that? Because in because right after that, he negates all of this. Okay, you, How, you okay. Wait, before you read forward, you you believe the report. Yeah, it, I, I, that I, it, it occurred. Yeah. Ya Allah, go. Keep reading. Okay. And you're gonna, you're gonna now, 
in shall see how this report goes against you. Waaimullah, ma dhaka. Now he says, Waaimullah, ma dhaka, which means that my love for you, O Fatima, and 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 my love for your father, this will not prohibit me. Waaimullah, ma dhaka bi mani, in istama ha wa la in nafar. Yes. In daki. Ah. And I'm at home. Wait, wait. And you harak alayhim al bayt. That if all if these people gather, if Ali gathers, if Zubair gathers. This will not prohibit me from burning your house down. Okay. This okay. Is, okay. Keep, keep reading. Keep yeah. reading. Okay. Then the next part. No, what is this? What is no, this? no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Good. This is this is this is actually clarifying what the situation is. Now okay. keep reading because Allah. that part is also part of this hadith. Qala Aslam. Then Aslam says, "Falamma kharaja Umar, kharaja. Falamma kharaja Umar. Umar is gone. Yeah. Having said this, so context is Umar sees." Zubair and Ali radiallahu anhuma entering the house of Fatima and talking to each other after the election of Abu Bakr, right? So Umar hears about this and he thinks that there is some bickering going on. Some some people are meeting each other and they're trying to, maybe they're thinking of challenging the, the election, right? So he goes to Fatima. Umar goes to Fatima. He says, first, before he says anything, How he says, come in? Huh? How did he come into the house? By the permission. The, the oh, details no, 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 doesn't say that. Doesn't no, say he that. doesn't walk in just like that well, in the house of Fatima. He could have, could have kicked down the house. Uh, kicked, uh, no, uh, no, 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 not when Ali is inside. He wasn't inside. Not, we we don't believe inside. Ali was a mouse. He, he wasn't we don't believe Ali was a mouse. Okay, not when Ali is inside. No, if if my, one of my cousins or my even if my brother walks inside my room without my permission, he, he knows inside. what's coming. He was, okay, so, no, yeah. So wait, he wait, wasn't wait. Inside. He wait, wait, brother, wait, wait. No, so now, now the context, wait. No, no, you make you you you're reading things that are not there. Is read, it, read things that are already there. Don't read it, things that are not there. So read what's there. So so after uh, after hadith B and and they went there. No, no. This hadith. You use this hadith. Where it's gonna. This question against the basic law. Brother, this is yeah. No, no, forget that. Even even if it's not there, you cannot assume. The worst for these people. You, how how are you making things up? Okay. In your I, mind, you make it. Ah, Omar just walked in. That's not, no, but, but, when when even the daughter of the prophet, is, and then what is he saying? I did not love anyone more than your father, and after your father, I did not yeah, love anyone yeah, more than you. Yeah, and true. he walks in. No, 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 no. But, but this doesn't fit said, the story, brother. When he says that, when, when he said, Bani Hashim will be against. Bani Hashim who was? Okay. Bani Hashim, Al Abbas. Wait. Wait. Abdullah Bani Abbas. We are going on a tangent. Let's continue reading. Let's continue reading. How old, Umar, how, then Umar how, old was, how old was he? How, how old was he when the Prophet died? Then Umar left. But, 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 let's just go to the Hadith Sur. Leave, leave tangent. Wait, brother, brother, tangent, tangent. That's tangent. Umar left. Yes. وَخَرَجَ Umar. Wait, wait, wait. Who is speaking now? Fatima. What is she saying? You know that Omar has come. Omar he came. came or he came to our home. He yeah. came to he came to see me. Yes, and وقد حلف بالله أن يسوّر بأي الله. He swore by Allah. لا ينعدتم. Yes. Utum. Uh, yeah. If you if you go back to what you, so she's not she's not part of it. Well, she's just in the house. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. The mom said. No, no, no. Yeah, she, it's her house. No. It's her home. She is telling them what Omar yeah. said. Yeah. So. Yeah, but, but it's, her, it's her home. So, 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 so when Omar burns the home down, she's she's going. Where's she going to be? No problem. Where's she going to be? Continue reading. So, so, so what? I agree with you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Let's continue reading. Okay. But let's see whether she agrees with Umar or not. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. She agrees okay. with Umar. No, no. I'm, well, let's see. I know we're going to refer to Let's, let's see. It? Let's see. Go. وَأَيْمُ اللَّهِ لِيَمْضِيَنَّ لِمَا حَلَفَ عَلَيْهِ فَانْصَلِهُ رَاشِدَيْنِ No, no, no. What is this saying? Let me read. Yeah. Sorry. My Arabic is not very good, so I'll try my best to read here. Yeah? Yeah. So, but, but this was what I don't really know what it says. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, you people. Yeah. 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 Okay, you people. Yeah. yeah. She's talking to them. Yeah. Allah. What's this? Liyamzina. Liyamzina lima? Halafa Okay. Okay. Pansari for Rashidim. Okay. Then I, I, I think I think it's some Tashif. This one doesn't make any sense here. Wala tar jaw ila la pansari for anha, falam yar yu ilaya atta bayo liya bi bakar. Okay, now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. You are saying, wait, 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 you can. I'm not going to run away. You can Wait, wait. 
This brother said he believes the, all, uh, the, the whole report. You believe all of it? Yes. Okay. Good. Now, we're going to challenge the Shia. Did you I'm not going to run away with your phone, man. Hey, I'm no, no, no. This, this, this iPhone is probably three times, three times oh, more. So, so, um, so, wait. I'm, I'm just like now, you're going to stand by this, yeah? Because you said earlier, you accept the whole report. Good. You only focused on the part where Omar came and said what he said. Yeah? He's, he came and he said, these people are coming into your house. And your love... Your love is not going to prevent me from doing this, that I will burn down the house on them. Okay, she has this, Fatima radiallahu anha, she takes this message to those who are being referred to, people who are being talked about, who, in this case, Zubair and Ali. She tells them both, Omar came and he said this to me. And then having heard this, what do they do? They both leave. Yes? Is that what the hadith is saying? Yeah. They Omar. both leave. Okay, they both leave. They do not say, why is Omar doing this? I mean, we don't, we can't make those assumptions. Something that's not there, we can't assume. Okay, so they did not challenge. They did not say anything, they left. What did they do? They go and buy you the Abu Bakr. Yeah. They go and they give bayah to Abu Bakr. Do you accept that? Yes. So Ali and, uh, and, and, Zubair, and Zubair gave bayah to Abu Bakr. Khalas. Well, 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 if you are sincere, no, no, look, look, if you but, are sincere, but you, but you, you, you said you, you accept the part where Omar came and threatened what he look, threatened. I, but if you accept this part that Ali gave Baya, again, what uh, first, of all, first of all, you said Hassan, you have to bring something authentic, yes. right? Yeah. That he gave Baya to Muawiyah. And then I will re leave the Shayo. Yeah. I haven't done that yet. But here you produced a report which you are using against me to claim that Omar was kaza wa kaza. But I'm saying, do you accept the hadith? You said, yes, I accept the hadith because of this, that I believe Omar said this. Okay. But then if you accept the hadith, now you have an authentic hadith, which you accept, which tells you that Ali gave bay'ah to Abu Bakr. If Ali gave bay'ah to Abu Bakr, game over. It is even better than Hassan giving, giving bay'ah to Muawiyah. It is, I mean, to Shia is worse. To Shia, who was who to the Shia Itna Sharia, who was the bigger who was the bigger cr criminal? Muawiyah or Abu Bakr? Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. I am telling you Abu Bakr. Okay. So if Ali is giving bayah to Abu Bakr and you accept that, Halas, well, welcome, no, no, welcome no, no. to the house of Sunnah. Uh, and take these wings off because they are. Oh, this, is, this is from the Sunnah. 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 No. The Sunnah is Muhammad Rasulullah. The Prophet had a ring. Yeah, but I mean, I don't. It, 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 I'm not, not, I'm not, not these white stones and blue stones and green stones. The Shia, they attribute all kinds of powers to these no, stones. I don't believe in any power. No, just, they do. Just, they do. Trust me. You know, you know, well, you know I, and I, I know they do. I don't. But, but do, do you know what I'm talking about? I know. There I know are Shias someone, who have this. I know they someone, say if you turn it around and make dua like this. I know. Yeah, I know, some awam, be accepted. I, I know some awam, like general people who... Make sure who, the ring, the stone doesn't escape your hand. Okay, you know? so, so we talk about sincerity, yeah. but we also have to be sincere. Yeah, we yes. can't just tell... Yeah, I agree, I agree. So, I so, agree. so, so when this hadith, yeah. or this, uh, you know, uh, this riwaya, uh, this more, more appropriate time... You accept it, yeah? Yeah, I, I told you, I, I do. But, but that's it, then you accepted no, no, no. that Ali gave bayah to Abu Bakr. Look, I didn't say that I accepted the, 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 this, the statement of Aslam, where, where, he, where, where, he, where he says that... That went after they left that Ali and the Zubair did bayan. I, I do believe that's how you don't accept that part. No, you, you're doing the that. same thing the Christian was doing to us wait, wait, when wait. he quoted the hadith that the Prophet had a Christian scribe, not uh, giving the not giving the details. The way, so I asked him, Do you accept the whole of these or part of He said, No, I accept the, this part. I said, Why not the full? You know, no. because the other part says that that same Christian who became a murtad after writing this wahi, when he was put into the grave, the grave threw him out three times. So I, I, I said to this Christian, this hadith I'm not, proves I'm not that doing, Rasulullah I'm was not, a true prophet of I'm Allah because this was a miracle. The grave, so he said, no, no, I, not, I, I don't. I'm not doing the same thing. Yeah. Aslam, what he's doing here, he's a, he's a very close ally to Omar. He was actually, the, the uh, Aslam was really so the reason. No, so, so be honest, you're choosing now from the hadith. No, no, I'm not choosing. I'm, I'm telling you that when Aslam, for example, says, فَدَخَلَ عَلَى عَلَى فَاطِنَا That's Omar, when he, he came and he entered upon, he, okay. he, entered, up, he entered upon Fatima. So, so I question, how did he enter? We don't know, because Aslam did what? Ta'miya. Completely, you know, just, you know, watering down, changing words here How do you know? Because, no, no, because you how have, did he go in? Because you have built a narrative 
it took you about three to four hundred years to build a narrative, no, and that yeah. narrative cannot be seen in that hadith. So you have to, you have to really dance. Yeah. How, how, how did he come into the home? Okay, okay. Did he knock on the door? okay. because because okay, we, we, we can show you, we can show you from the Quran. How do you know what I'm no, we can we can show from the Quran again. There are examples. There are examples. Okay, for example, there are there are there may be other examples where people are entering house. There are default positions, brother. They don't need to be said. They don't need to be said. Omar just cannot walk into the house of Fatima. Yeah. This is absurd. This is to imagine that you're not only insulting Omar, you're insulting Fatima. What is Fatima doing? Now, according to the same report, Fatima is having conversation. She's talking to him. Firstly, firstly, we believe this, this discussion took place uh, between them. There's a veil. There's a veil. Omar could not be talking to Fatima directly. We don't believe that. Okay. So, so, so when Omar entered, there, there must be a due protocol. He probably seek, uh, seek permission. He went inside when he was granted permission. There was a veil and he spoke to Fatima, oh, the daughter of Rasulullah. Yeah. So if he just walks in, you are, do you, if, can I walk into your bedroom? Are you married? You're not married. Inshallah, one day you'll be married. If I, you're married, uh, or even, even, even you're not married. If I walk into your house, you, you, what's your name? Mustafa. Mustafa. Um, one day you get married, inshallah, and you're not home. And I open the door and walk in. Even though you know me, Adnan Rashid from Park, whoever. What are you going to do to me? Be honest. I would contact you and say, why, why did you do that? Uh, at least you will, you will register your protest. You will say, you will say, brother, this is not good. You, what you? Ali bin Abi Talib is working for Omar. Later on, we have, we have non-Muslim sources telling us, not, neither Shia nor Sunni, Christian sources, they write that when Omar came to take the keys of Jerusalem, Ali was appointed in his place in Medina, as is Naib. I don't, Why is I don't Ali know. working with people who are walking into his house? What what have you made Ali? Your Look, people uh, have turned Ali into some kind of Audubillah, I don't like to use the word, some kind of coward who has no shame, no honor. Anyone, Ali, Umar can beat Fatima, he broke the door on her. What happened she, when, died, she, di what? she died because of the miscarriage yeah. and Ali is standing around and what, what excuse? Oh, he was, he was, uh, he was well, taking yeah, all yeah. of this for Islam. He didn't want to cause fitna. He was. He, uh, I don't care about fitna. If someone puts his hand on my wife, yeah. I don't care about fitna or no if you fitna. Wanna, if, it's if my. Talk about Shia hadith. Yeah. We can do that, but we, you just like grossly misrepresented it because we don't have a, an, Listen, an, an account. What does your narrative constitute? Your narrative is claiming directly or indirectly that Ali bin Abi Talib was seeing all of this happening. Yeah. And he was silent. Yes no, or no? No, 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 no. He was not silent. No, absolutely. Not. Was he? Was he violent? Yes, violent. Was, he fought. Was. Absolutely. He fought Omar. Uh, oh, he was Omar. He was Khalid as well. And then why did he give his daughter to Omar? No, no, authentic. It's in Al Kafi authentic. It is. It is but, but, but it's, it's in Al Kafi. It's authentic. Show me. Okay, if it's authentic, then what? Again, you will leave the shield for, for <laughs> no, the fifth time. No, for the fifth time, no, you will I leave. Said, if it's authentic. Said, look, I know what you're, you're going to refer to. This idea of um, of Imam uh, Sadiq. Okay, who is Umm Kulthum? Is she, yeah, is, is she the daughter of Ali? Yes. Was she married to Omar? No. You don't believe that? No. So there was no son called Zaid? No. Even Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, when he said that she was in the house of Omar, and after the death of Omar, she was brought back to the house of Ali. That is that's Toria. That's, that's Toria. Because she Sheikh al clarified this issue, where he well, completely arrived and denied it. I, 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 I know so, why he clarified. Because it is one of those points, one, it is one of those points where the Shayyoh falls. With the Shayyo false, because if Ali had a daughter, Umm Kulthum, and if she was married to Omar, and Ali was silent on that marriage, not only silent, he gave the daughter to a criminal, let's say, Audu Billah. I mean, I had this conversation uh, before. Uh, there, there was some Shia guys that were saying, oh, you Shia know. Shia Mavid mentions this issue, and, he, 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 and what, is, what does he say? He says, Mawdur, this is fabricated. Okay. You know, when, when they started saying this, when was Sheikh Mufid alive? Fourth, fourth century. century. Fourth yeah. century. Good. Before the fourth century, show me any Shia scholar, authority denying it. Show me. I don't know by heart. But why, did the, why did it take Shia four centuries? Just like the Christians, it took them 300 years to come up with the Trinity. The Shia, it took them four centuries to start denying it. And, a... and it was in the fourth century again, when some Shia scholars started to deny those reports on the Tahrif of the Quran. You know, because there are 2,000 Imam reports. Al Imam al Baghdad denies Tahrir. No, no. Yeah, Kafi. No, no, we, have, we have an authentic hadith where it says, um, okay. which means that the huruf of the Quran, okay. the actual word of the Quran. You know, Kamal Hadri, yeah? 
Come on. I don't. I don't. I don't take him as an authority. No, no, no problem. But he I made know. a very. He made a very interesting he can, point. He can make all claims he wants. No, he's no, a, no. He's I'll, a, I'll no tell one. you what he said. He's no one. I'll tell you what he said. He's a Shia scholar. No, he's not. No. Uh, I mean, people think he's a scholar. Some people think who, he's a scholar. Who thinks he's a scholar? Uh, some his followers. Bashir, Bashir Najafi. Do you know who Bashir Najafi is? He's a, he's a Pakistani origin. Actually, but he's one of our scholars. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I mean, is. I, I, I'll probably. But let, let me explain something. But he clearly arrived. Kamal Haidari. Kamal Haidari. He said that the Shias, when they deny those reports. 2,000 reports on the corruption of the Quran. Those the Shia books have those reports. No. Wait, wait, wait. You want to see those reports? I know, I know, I know. We, we 2,000. I know. Two, but, tawatur. But, there yeah. is Tawatur. But, wait. Okay, wait now. What does he say when the Shias deny these reports? When they do away with them? We don't deny brush them. Brush them. Oh, no, no, these reports. What they are doing is they are brushing away all the reports on Imam. On, wait, you don't deny them? No, I don't the hadith of Tahrif. Yes. The tahrif, when we talk about Tahrif, what are we talking about here? We're talking about Tahrif of the actual Quran, of the Nas? No, the Nas. No. The Nas, Nas, no, Nas, no, Nas, no, Nas, no. Nas. When, when we talk about no, there tahrif, are, are you denying the report on the corruption of the Nas? I don't deny that, that those exist, but... but, they but not, okay, and but, those reports are, can I, can I, can are I, the I, same reports reported by the same people who are reporting on Imama. Uh, absolutely. But, but, Good. But, but, but the thing is, now we, we talk about... For example, one, one of the known hadiths yeah. that we have is that the, <clears throat> that the Quran was revealed in 17,000 verses. Yeah, Nizar, keep, I'm not talking about so that one. That, so I yeah. believe in it. Okay. So I'm not talking about. I, I, why? I'm, you're, you're, you're attacking. I'm helping you. I'm, I'm helping no, you're not helping you. me I'm because I am not talking about that one. I'm talking about where there are specific verses given in yeah. reports yeah. that these were taken out and these were added in. Yeah. So, yeah so, I'm talking about yeah. those. So, those lies. Okay. Those lies. When Shia says these are lies, these are fabrications. They're not. Yeah. Then they're most not fabrications. Of, yeah. Most of them are not. The, okay. the, the, there was a few numbers. So you do believe in the Tahrir of the Quran? Not in the way that you're that you're referring. No, so no, we corrupt, outright corruption by no, the Sahaba. We don't, we don't no. Because that's what the reports are saying. The the reports No, the the reports are saying this. The the because it's from Ali ibn Abi Talib. Hafsan, Hafsan, and Nabi Abdurrahman Sulaymi. They are from the Ahl Sunnah, by the way. They're not Shia. No, they're not. No, Hafs is a Kazab, according to your books. No, he's not. Show me. Yeah, yeah, have the mind says Kazab. Show me. Show me. You're going to show me. I'll show you. Show me. No problem. I'm. Hafs is a Kazab. Okay, show me. Show me, and you're going to have to show me that that all attributed to Yahya bin Ma'in is authentic. Inshallah, today we will have. Today, inshallah, either I will take the, the Shia Shahada or he will take the Sunni Shahada. Either I will become Shia or he will become Sunni. Alas, I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that. This is a judgment of us. No, no. Even yeah, I know the claim. If we say hadith, I know exactly but, what the claim but, is. But if I know, but but they're saying kazab. Like, like, yeah, show me kazab. Yeah, 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 he's show me, and you're gonna show me no, that. No, no, that no, not that. Not that. Kazab. He used that word. You're gonna show me. Yeah. Kazab is my not be that he used to forge hadith. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Kazab. He says he's a guy, liar. He's a liar. Okay. You're gonna show me. You know that these aqwal, yeah, in in the books of Ilm al Rajal, yeah. Yahya yeah. bin Muin. Okay, so Yahya bin Sayyid al-Qattan or Sufyan al-Thawri and all of these aqwal in the book of Rajal. Yeah. No, no, no. You have to show the chain. Yeah, I mean... Look, Are you aware? Look... Yeah. Are you, when you claim Yahya bin Mu'in said yeah. so and so and such and such, you're going to have to show me. It's... Right? It's like I, anyone saying anything. You're going to have to show me the chain because there is no chain, brother. There's no chain. If someone says Yahya bin Mu'in said this, who cares? I can throw it as, on the wall. As, if there's no as far as I recall, as far as I recall, it was in. I can't find it right now. Huh? Sahih. Sahih. But, 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 Brother, no, it that doesn't. Um, let me. Let me. It doesn't exist. Okay. No, it does. That, I, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, no. The, I've read it. The chain. That it is not authentic. It's not from Yahya bin Mu'ayn. It is an attribution. Are Just all, like. Are all aqwal of Yahya bin Mu'ayn musnada? Are they all changed? No, not all. So, 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 uh, no, so, so that's the minority. So that, the ones that are not Musnada are not acceptable. Look, your, your, your entire fiqh is not Musnad. No, it is. It is. Our fiqh is based upon hadith. No, our fiqh the is based of, The qala of, of Abu Hanifa, qala Abu Hanifa, kada, qala the, 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 ones, the ones that are not Musnad, they are they are worth nothing to us. I'm that's, telling you. That's like that's like ninety percent. That's ninety percent. No, of brother, you don't know. You don't know our sources. Do you? Do you know our sources? We, why do we have Elmer Rajal, the books of Elmer Rajal? For example, what's his name? This guy, um, this guy okay, from, wait, from, from name, Spain. Name the books of Elmer Rajal. Do you know the, Elmer, the books we have on Elmer Rajal? Um, al Isaba. Say so, Al Isaba. Yeah, and Mishra. we have the ones I'm before Mishra. as well. Uh, you know, I mean, Sirah Al Amr is used as well, right? We have so many. Yeah. We have so many. Okay, the point is, Asaba, when Mishra. you go and read the books of Rajal, they give the chain for the call as well. When they say, Qala, 
Fulan, Ibn Fulan, they give the chain. This is the chain. Okay, so if you if you bring something out and say, uh, this is the Shia, the problem with the Shia brothers is, yeah, they are partially, uh, when they look at our sources, they are partially blind. You know, when your right side is working and the left side is not working, or left side is working, the right side. So they are blind, they have blind. When they're looking at sources, they have the baggage in the mind, then they have this uh, completely dirty lens when they're looking at the Sahaba and our sources and they're really, like for example, when you read that hadith from Musaf, Musannaf ibn Shayba about Umar threatening Fatima, if you read that hadith completely, okay, you would see that that hadith dismantles the shayyo. It doesn't resurrect the shayyo, it dismantles it. Why? Because in the same report, the Ravi is saying that both of them, they went and gave bayah to Abu Bakr. Game over, period. The, the whole reason why Umar was angry was the fact that they haven't yet given bayat to Abu Bakr and they're having these meetings, private so, meetings. So what do we do? Okay. We, we we basically go to the house of, of, of the Prophet and we threaten them. You know, even as I'm Muslim, it's not, a... it's not your place to criticize them because you, 21st century, okay, those people were big people. They were they had they were superior to the Umar was, of the was, was literally a very like, uh, no no Muslim. Omar no, Ali even Ali no, Ali, Ali, Ali wasn't as tall as Omar. Nah, was, we're not talking about physical, he, brother. He, we're not talking he, about. He said that, but, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not guy. talking yeah. about physical. I'm not talking yeah, about yeah, physiology. Yeah. I'm not addressing. I'm talking about the status with Allah. They were big people. Okay, it's like your mother and your father. I'm gonna pose a question to you. Your parents, do they argue? Don't tell me they don't argue. Do they argue? Yeah, they argue. Everyone argues. Okay, it's possible that sometimes pots can be flying around. It's possible. Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm not saying it does happen in. It, it happens in household. No, no, no. Wait, okay, <laughs> now the kids are watching. Do the kids have the right to stand up and say to the mother, you are a P-I-T-C-H? No. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, this is the end. Or say to the father, you are X, Y, and Z. Do the kids have the If the kids do that, what, what are you going to call those kids? Those kids... They're very disrespectful. The disrespectful, rude. I'm sorry, I'm going to say pieces of shit. Oh, I'm sorry to say that. I'm going to use, I'm going to be blunt, right? These kids, these kids are spoiled and you have raised very bad kids, right? And those kids cannot belong to a decent parents. Okay, because if the parents are decent, kids wouldn't be doing that, right? So likewise, if people today are raising, pointing fingers at people live, who lived in the 7th century with all the statuses, there is no evidence that Ali ever cursed Omar. There's actually an, an, a, a very interesting hadith where, where Omar says to Ali, "Kuntuma sarayani kaliban, athiman, ghajran, qaina." Allahu yalem wa nila. You know, Sahih Muslim. Where, where you know um, the issue of Badr, Abbas and Ali, they come to Omar, and then uh, Omar says to them uh, that, you, that you two see me as a liar, as a, as a treacherous person, as a deceiver, as a you know, the hadith is not, not hadith. So that there is actually some indication that, you know, very early on there were problems. Okay, okay. In, in but hadith, what, very... what, what, this is Ali's opinion. No, it's, it's, not, it's not Ali's. It's yeah. actually Omar saying that I recognize that you two see me this way. Oh, Omar is saying to Ali. Yeah, he's and, saying to and, Ali and Abbas that I recognize that you two see me this way. You okay, see... okay. Um, Omar, though, it was basically saying that... Yeah, I know, but, but he says... Okay, let's let let's also say that. No, no, okay, no, okay, no, no, no. Again, my point. Come back. Even, yeah, even he, if we accept your understanding, even if we accept, do you have the right, or the Shia in the fourth century, or in the second century, or the third century? Some of them, these people who are using this language, are from the, the city of Kufa and Basra. Yeah. Do these lying shayateen and munafikin? Do they have the right to point to Ali and Omar and Abu Bakr and Uthman, people who fought in the Battle of Badr, people who fought in Ahad, people who fought in uh, Ahzab, the Ghazad al Ahzab? Could you give me one name uh, that, that, that Omar killed? Uh, just one, one casualty, one. one. Uh, he killed his uncle in Badr. Authentically transmitted. Yeah, yes, yes, we. Oh, he, 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 Omar killed his uncle in the Battle of Badr. It's fabricated. But did he fight? Do you well, deny he fought in the Battle well, of Badr? He, he was there, but. but, but did he, he fight in Ahad? Well, he, he was there. Okay. He was there. What he was just standing okay. around. No, no, no wait. Because he was. He was. There are two things. Ali, there were two. Wait, Ali, wait, wait, two Ali, options. Ali was there. But no, he, there were but, two. Wait, wait. There are two look options. At, look at his, There's a battle going on. I want you to picture now. You're, this is how your mind mind works. There's a battle going on. Stones, arrows, spears, swords are falling right, left, and right. 
and Omar is standing there like that. I didn't say he was standing, but... So what was he doing? So then he's fighting? He was fighting? No, 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 I, I, he wasn't I, I, fighting I, I, either. So I, I, what, what was he doing? Like this? No, no. What he was, was doing? He was at the, like, like you know, you know, you know, there's like Sufuf, there's like, you know, Rose in the... So you like, actually, like, you actually think that Omar was actually a coward who did not... Yeah. And, I don't and, believe he was... And the, by, and, and the Romans, no. and the Romans and the Persians were defeated by Omar's army. Omar fought himself. No, no. I mean, look, Omar... When, when it came to the Persians and the and the Romans, he wasn't the one who was like, you know, he was in Medina. By the way, this was advice given to him by Ali okay. to stay in Medina. Do you, know, do you know what the Quran says about them? Uh, yeah, I mean, Muhammad uh, Rasulullah um, No, no, no. There's another verse that completely destroys destroy, destroy the Shayyu. No, but... Compl the verse of the Quran. Can I mention one hadith in Musadraq by Al-Hakim? It's authenticated by, by Al-Hakim and Adam. No, no, it's not authentic. I'm but, but, you know, the, 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 the authentication of uh, Dhabi and Hakim is questionable. So leave it, leave it there. It's not. Okay, that's why. That's why. That's, that's very surprising. You see, isn't that amazing? You want that, me, you want no. me to take from al Khoi, yeah. who is like, who's like, you know, I mean, obviously, I imagine he's much greater. No, no, but, but you know, you want to say, no, no, that he's your scholar. Adabi is our scholar. I'm telling you how to read it. Uh, did, did, did I not mention earlier that you have to know how to read a Dhabi? There, no, no, no. there is a method. In his, in his Talkhiyos, I know Sahih. what you're talking about. Yeah. No, when a Dhabi makes Tahseen or Tashheed of uh, Al Mustadrak Al Hakim, any report on Al Hakim, it is not. Uh, accepted at face value. The Muqaddathin have to recheck it, okay, whether it's authentic or not. So leave so, it. So, so leave uh, it. It's so, controversial. So, al if it's not, then al Dhabi, then al Albani, for wait, example. Why do you have to go to Al Mustadrak? There are six, uh, 30,000 reports. I mean, I let's like say 5,000 reports in Sahasim. Al Mustadrak, you have nothing? He was very rational when it came to the issue of Muawiyah and Ali. So, okay. so we, we like him. Yeah, so wait. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so am I. So yeah. am I. I mean, we all no, try I, to be. I, I don't mean, it. Yeah. Well, okay. Now, the issue I was make, I was, I was going to raise a very important point uh, about uh, Omar. Allah, completely missed my. Sorry. The Quran, yeah, the Quran, yeah. Verse in the Quran. Yeah, there is a verse in the Quran. Allah says in Surah An Nur, verse uh, 55. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Wa'ad Allahu al-ladina amanu minkum wa amilu salihat la yastakli fannahum fil ard. Yeah. Allah promises yeah. and mm. you know that right mm. Allah does not go against this promise. promise so Allah promises that he will grant the believers and those who do righteous deeds succession in the land yes according no, to no, Shia, not on the land on earth fil ard. what does that mean the whole, the whole globe no the no whole fil, fil, fil ard. yes not al al ard. Yeah, it mean, says fill earth. Fill earth means inside the planet Earth, wherever, right? Yeah. Not al al earth. I mean, I, I, this little bit yeah. Arabic, even I know, right? Okay. No, so even we even realize this, but so, so, yeah, understand it. Yeah. No, so so I mean, even the point yeah, I'm making. That was Israel, that, yeah. That, that, yeah. The, 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 the point that I'm making is that this verse can't can't be about anyone actually. No, no. Those days. I'll you tell you. Who's, I'll, I'll tell you. The 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 verse. What is he saying? Let's do the translation of the verse. But I will... It is a promise of Allah to those who believe among you and do righteous deeds that He will grant you succession. Mm. This succession is not spiritual, this is temporal, this is power I in agree, the land. Yes, I agree. Okay, good, good now. MashaAllah. Now, inshallah, hopefully you will leave the shayo. Inshallah. Okay? Uh, okay. Now, when we read the history of Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts two conditions. Iman wa amal salih. Yes? If, yeah, if you don't have... Okay, now, the Prophet, the Prophet has passed away. Yeah. The, the Sahaba are, are all murtad. They have... No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about, right? The Sahaba who did not give bayat to Ali are all already murtad. They are gone. Amazingly, these people, amaz amazingly, these people, these same Sahaba, they are the ones who defeat the Byzantines. They are the ones who defeat the, the, the Persians. They go into North Africa. They go into Iraq. As far as uh, Central Asia, as far as Asia Minor, okay? And even afterwards, in the reign of Muawiyah radiallahu anh, the, the territories of Islam kept expanding. They went as far as Pakistan, the yeah. forces, okay? Same, and then yeah. they conquered Cyprus. Yeah. And then they were already uh, in Greek territory. Now, 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 my you question. Heard, now, wait, 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 my question. Okay. Have the Shias ever, ever in the entire history 
conquered one inch of land. Have you ever heard of this guy called Malik al Ashtar al Nakai? Have you ever wait, heard of him? Wait, 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 wait. When I say Shia, you have to understand. He is a Shia. Mean, Malik al Ashtar is not. Yes, yes, he is. Malik al Ashtar is not an Ethna Ashari Shi. Okay, no, no, he's not. There's no Ethna Ashari at the time. You don't, There's no Ethna Ashari at the time. You don't even know what Ethna Ashari is. Your theology didn't exist. No, of course it is. Your theology did not exist at the time of Ali ibn Talib. What does Ethna Ashari mean? That those who believe in 12 Imams. No, it doesn't mean that. The, the, the actual term is wait, actually was, wait. was you, like, let me finish my point <laughs> then you can you can answer me of course yeah show me one shia yeah i mean shia is not sharia the ones who the, the one who believes in you what you believe in right okay, okay? and don't bring ali Abi, uh, ali bin abi talib into this don't bring malik al ashtar or even the, the he's, malik, malik is definitely bring, not a sunni they, he's okay, definitely no, not a sunni no 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 wait 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 malik is definitely not this sunni. this the, the term sunni and shia didn't even exist at the time yeah, the, they were shia to ali shia to muawiyah so we also have to if you say shia then shia to muawiyah were also there so you 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 are talking about the shayo as we know it today did not exist okay yes. now it didn't exist brother okay. don't don't make claims that that, that you cannot substantiate because okay. imam ja the shayo as we know it today is 90 percent from imam uh, muhammad al-bakir and jafar sadiq okay I, I, and, I, the I and the instructions and the instructions i explain so, what like everything that we don't believe that everything uh, they say no, but, is actually from but, them but but now you're doing the same thing that you know this idea of you know looking but as, as a, let, let me make my point let me make my point okay no, but, 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 let, let me make my point these lands taken by the Sahaba, mm. allegedly, according to the Shia, Murtaddin. Why is Allah playing these games? Why is Allah causing Murtaddin, Munafikin, and Mulhidin to defeat the Abu Persians? Abu Abu wait, wait. The Persians and the Romans and the Mu'minin, the believers, the Shia, are not even taking one inch. And Allah is saying, He promises to those who believe among you and do righteous deeds. We have, uh, we have Abu Ayyub al Ansari. He was not Shia. Yes, he was. In, like, look, Brother, look, when we, when we, he didn't conquer any land, by the he way. Did. He was part of the army. He, he didn't was, conquer. He, he, the the army was Turkey, led Turkey. by Yazid. So led by Yazid. The Amir was. So, yeah. so, yeah. so when I you know. when so. you make a point, when you make a point, think about it. Okay. So now you're claiming that this? there was a Shia yeah, fighting behind Yazid. Yeah. I mean, this Abu Yubal Ansari was not Shia. Don't make don't yeah. don't make claims we, that you cannot uh, substantiate. I mean, look, when give I, me give when, me. You have plenty. You have uh, you have Fatimids. You have Safavids, you have uh, Buwahids, okay, you have other Shia dynasties. Why were they taking land from Muslims? So Not so one inch of the land so they, were, they took from the, so the, the, the hostile disbelievers. I mean, what about the, you know, the, the followers of uh, Abdul Wahab, uh, uh, Muhammad Abdul Wahab? They, they didn't take any land. Yes, they did. They didn't take any land from disbelievers, they, no. They used the word Fujuhat uh, uh, and, and Ghazawat when they talk about wait, wait, Muslims. Why are you so jumping? Anyways, why are you jumping to no, no, 18th no. century from the 7th century? So, so I'm I, talking about when the Quran is revealed. Okay, Allah me, promises something to believers in righteous deeds. So, so in other words, are these people, Umar and his armies, Umar and his armies, are they believers? And some, some those, of them, some of them are. No, not, no, 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 no. Umar is the leader. Okay. Umar is uh, the leader. He's the Amir. Rasulullah said, Inna Allah la yu'iwidu hadha al-deen bil-rajul al-fasik al-fajir. Right, okay, Al-Fajr. Okay. No, no, same thing. In al-Fujara. In al-Fujara. Yeah. Okay. So thank so you very now, much. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, but do you, but do you know, but do you know there is, there will be Fasik and Fujar just to correct you. You don't know. It doesn't, Fujar doesn't always mean Kufar. No, it, it means believers. Okay, and then, I mean, then Fujar will go to Jannah? Yes. Eventually. Eventually, but, yes. But, 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 you, but then you're saying the Sahaba having been burned in say, Jahannam. No, I no, didn't say Sahaba. No, you're saying, saying. Well, we're talking to the Sahaba. No, no. Having been burned in Jahannam, they will go to Jannah Sa then. Sahaba is, is, uh, is over 100,000 people. Yeah. I don't, be, look. We, we, no, you we believe have the majority, a... they apostatized uh, because they didn't out, give bayat to Ali. Out of the, yeah. the 120,000, yeah. we believe 12,000 are just. Yeah. Okay. So that, the rest are not. So yeah. over 100,000 still Murtaddeen. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. these are the people who are fighting in Persia, in Iraq, yeah, look, look, in sorry. North Africa. Wait, wait, wait. And Allah is giving them land. Amazingly. No. This is the very good point. Genghis Khan got land. So no, what? no, no. Genghis Khan did not believe and do righteous. Khan Shaw, okay. Yani. But Allah is not promising Genghis Khan. Are, are you listening? No, no. But are, are you even listening to yourself? Allah, no. In, in this verse, we, yeah. we understand it to mean that that you know. When, I, I when, ask when you a simple whole, question. Give me a Shia so, army so, or Shia. Okay, but first of all, a Shia group, group, yeah. a Shia entity who took one inch from disbelievers, hostile disbelievers. We told you. Malik, 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 Malik Ashtar did not conquer any territory. How do you know? Where? 
Where? Where did he conquer? Show me. Show me. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. no. 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 This was all at the time of Umar. Yeah, I know. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yes. So Umar is the leader. What are you talking? So you make him a point. But you make him. But he's not fighting. He's not fighting though. One person. Okay. One person. So what about the rest? What about the rest? Do you you completely ignore them? You see, by, you see, by, by brother. Today was a very big lesson for all of us. Uh, uh, if we are those, if we are uli al bab, if, if we are from those who contemplate, okay. We be, we I don't want to go to Jahannam. I don't want to stay no, stand no, no. on the day of judgment and no. face the Ahlul Bayt and look them in the eye and say, you know what? We knew you and we rejected you. No, we, I will not do that. I cannot afford that. I don't want to do that. The Shia on the day of judgment. When they stand in front of the Ahlul Bayt and tell them, you know what, we did this, 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 this. And imagine if they turned around and they said, you know what, you people, you created idols for yourselves and you're worshipping them without our authority. Even though you know the people who are narrating from them, in their names are a bunch of liars. Okay. We don't worship that God. We don't have an idol. We don't, okay. we don't worship a Shab Amrad. As okay. if it's Tamiya authenticated. Okay. Our God is timeless, is faceless. By the way, they're shy. So, so is ours. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. So is ours. We, we don't believe. You believe that Allah will be seen? No, we, we believe Allah will be seen yeah, so in, not, so in ac not. According, to, according to how He is. So, so, he's, no. limited. so he's limited. So he's limited. No. No, we don't put any limits to Allah. Okay, what, what is our belief? What is our belief? Now you're opening another can of worms, which is going to land you in bigger problems, well, by the depends, way. Wait, 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 by the way, by the way, if I show you now, this is a very good question. He has raised a very good question. If I show you that Hisham bin Hakam and Hisham bin Salim, this was, wait, 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 I, I know, wait, I know. wait, you know, yeah. so why, why are you playing these games if you know? They because were mujass, they were mujassama. They were not. And, and if I show you from your books, your books of Rajal, yeah. that they were the people who believed in God, who had a big head, a big body. Okay, these are the people who are narrating from the Imams, by the way. These the, the Shia, they follow not the Imams. They are following the people who are narrating in the names of the Imams. And amazingly, most of them, do you know where they come from? Kufa. Kufa. And who killed Hussein? Well, the killers of, the killers of Imam Hussein were the, uh, the army of Yazid. Okay, yeah. how many people were there? In, in the Shia uh, sources, uh, whatever 30, you think is right. 30,000. Okay, no, no, that's that's a lie, clearly a lie. No, it's not. 5,000, we know 5,000. That's in your books. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, 30,000. Yeah, okay, know. where did this 30,000 come from? Some Are you aware? Yes, yeah, so uh, the vast majority of them were under the guise of, uh, of Amr bin Sa'ad Nabi Waqas. Where the, did the army come from? Kufa, the majority of them. Kufa. Yeah. So the people of Kufa. No, not the people of Kufa. Okay. They were, all... they were stationed in Kufa. Okay, wait. The... How many people came with Ubaidullah bin Ziyad when he came from. Uh, when he Basra. was appointed? Huh? Ubaidullah uh, bin Ziyad came from Basra. Basra, yeah. How many people? I don't know. 18. Uh, I'm not sure. 18. Okay. I'll, I'll take you over. The people of Kufa, those who gave bayah to Muslim bin Akhil. No, but during the time of Muawiyah, this is way before the killing of Hussein. No, no, no. During the time of Muawiyah, Muawiyah. I'm talking about when Hussein was killed, Rodi Allah. Yeah, I know, I know. But, okay. but, but no, 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 wait, wait, wait. They're not wait. originally Kufa. When Muslim bin Aqil took Baya from the people of Kufa, yeah. they betrayed him. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Yes? Yes. You agree? Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Now we're getting somewhere. The Shayo, as we know it today, was they, born in Kufa. They did not come. Where was he? No, no problem. Was, was gonna, we're gonna come to exceptions. We're gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell so, you exceptions. So, so I'm saying the Shayo, as we know it today, was born in Kufa. Agreed? I don't agree. The all your narrators. Who are narrating from the Imams are either Kufans or Basrans. They are either from Kufa or Basra. The, the, the narrator doesn't mean that the idea that came from them. Okay, like, no, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how the idea came from them. I'm gonna. This is my job to prove. Yeah. Right. First, we need to go step by step. The people of Kufa betrayed Hussein. Full stop. All of them. No. No. There were. You just said all of them. No. The actual supporters. All the Ansar. I'm not talking about exceptions. Those who gave bayah to Muslim bin Akhil yes, yes. in they droves, did. They, did. they all betrayed they Hussein. Yes, they did. Okay, what happened? Ubaidullah bin Ziyad comes with 18 men. How many? 18 men. And he threatens some of them and others he bribes. And all of them, they turn on Hussein. Yeah. And these people were known to be Munafikin. No, that's not true. Okay, wait, wait. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you. Let me ask me how. Ask me how. 
they didn't ask him, is a, is a, is a righteous companion. Brother, he was I'm not talking about exceptions. I made it very clear. No, I'm you, talking about the saying, overwhelming majority. Saying, no, no, I'm, saying, I'm talking about these people. So, so the one who betrayed. Brother Allah, he made a mistake. Bro, and he, I, so, I know people. I know, I know, I know, I know who, exceptions. I'm not talking about exceptions. I'm not, to, I'm not saying the entire city, every single person who walked in the city of Kufa was a Munafiq. No. No, Ibn I'm Surah saying the Khuzai, overwhelming majority. Ibn Surah al Khuzai was led a, a you know, you know, you know the Tawabin. Let, let me Tawabun, make a point. Right? Let me make a point. Hussein was warned, according to some authentic reports, by the Sahaba, don't trust the people of Kufa. Muawiyah had sent letters to Hussein that they are trying to provoke you to do something. Don't do it. Don't listen to them. They betrayed Muawiyah. your father. Yeah, yeah. There are reports. The, right. the, 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 the. Okay. Uh, that they betrayed your father and they betrayed your brother. Hmm. Okay. Did the people of Kufa trouble Ali bin Abi Talib? Absolutely. They also supported him and they, helped him a lot. Uh, no, no, they didn't. Nahrawan, trouble. Who, who supported Have him? you read Nahjul so, Balagha? Yeah. Uh, you know the khutbas where he's. Uh, yeah. what, is, what is he saying about them? Uh, Ahlul Ghadr and Washiqaq. Thank you. Well, thank yeah, you. But, 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 you but that's not, but that's not but every single person. Don't, don't, don't. don't. But that's not every single person in Kufa, though. There, there are when many did people. I, I just made it very clear that I'm not talking about every single person. I'm talking about the Jama'ah of Kufa. The Ijtama'ah yeah, of Kufa. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. So, Hassan, they betray him. Yeah. Okay, true. they betray him. Okay, it doesn't stop there, by the way. Then Hussein is responding to the letters. Hmm. As per the mainstream narrative. Yes, sir. He goes there. And then amazingly, all of these people turn up in Karbala. Yeah. And Hassan, he takes out letters. Hussein. 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 Yeah. He takes out letters and he reads the names. Yeah. Are you so and so? Are you so and so? And they said, yeah, but you are the ones who invited me. Yeah. You're the ones who asked me to come and help you. Yeah. And they said, Ya Yabna Rasulullah, we made a mistake. And then all of those arrows, spears, Swords falling on the body of Hussein mm. and his sons and his cousins and his brothers and, and his he, nephews and his Kufi yeah. supporters uh, and his Kufi supporters. Yeah. One of them who turned in the battlefield, he came yeah. and he fought for no, yeah no, one one no, yeah. No, 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 yeah. I mean yeah. there was yeah. one. No, uh, Chen. Yeah. Hur. Yeah. Hur ibn Azid and his yeah. son. Yeah. Also, uh, well, the, 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 the one famous one and yeah. other exceptions. Yeah. Uh, may Allah have mercy on them. May Allah give them the highest abode, abode in paradise. And those who were fighting Hussein. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah, no, I don't curse, may Allah deal yes. with them as He deems fit. What, and, and no, I, we don't say Lanatullah alayhim. They, they can do. The so, angels, the no, no, angels. No, the angels. Yeah. Go, go, go back to Tabari, it says Al-A'inun are the angels and humans as well. So it's not okay. just angels. Uh, okay. So, so that's, that's, the the some... Prophet can do it. He knows. Okay. We, we have been told. The Prophet told us, Ma bu'istu la'anun. You know the hadith? I was not sent but to be a la'an, and we follow him. That's a bit... No, it's not contradictory. Yeah, it's not contradictory. You know because, why? You because know why? There's, a context. There's, a context. there's a context. There's a context. There's a context. The Prophet would curse innocent people. You know that? In, in, in your hadith books. Aisha generates uh, that a group of people came and then فَسَبَّهُمَا فَلَعَنَهُمَا مَشَاءَ اللَّهُ And then, and then, Aisha, and then okay. afterwards, you know, she was a bit confused. Like, why yeah. you do this? And, yeah. and, then, and then the Prophet said, uh, where, is, where is this? Sahih Muslim or Bukhari? Okay, you can find it and then we'll talk about it. But before you find it, let's go about it and uh, let's finish the point. So these people, people of Kufa, their swords fell upon Hussein and his family. Then these same people started crying. We are no, told in the courts. They, no, the, the people of the city of Kufa. Shemr the Egyptian was crying. No, no, he is not from Kufa. Shemr was not from Kufa. Wait. Yeah, he was. I mean, uh, he was stationed no, there. He yeah. was stationed there. Yeah, I'm talking about native Kufans. People of Who native, are the native Kufans? Yeah, the, the, give, me, give me one native Kufan that fought it. For the Hussein. Yeah, one All these 30,000 people, according to they you. Were, they were not native Kufans. I, I yeah. told you, Muawiyah, later on, because, because this, this when town I, was. You know, was, the, was these drama. were Iraqi tribes, you know that, right? These no, were Iraqi no. tribes, yes. Kufa wasn't even a thing. You know, Banu Shaiban. Yeah, I, I Banu know. Banu Shaiban, yeah. yeah. I okay. mean, wait, wait. They, you know, where's, 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 where's Banu Shaiban? It's, it's in Najaf and Kufa. Like, like, you know, um, yeah, okay. Ahmed bin Hanbal. Yeah, yeah, Shaibani. Yeah, Shaibani, yeah, Shaibani, yeah, Shaibani. I know. Muhammad bin Hassan al-Shaibani. We have scholars from Shaiban. I know. Okay. So these were tribes that were already living. They were. And Kufa was. They became. They became. Iraqized, so, so to say. Like, you know how they Arabized? became Arabized or no, no, they no. became Persianized? No, no, they, 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 they are originally Arabs who, who, who basically. Persianized, moved, uh, Persianized uh, Arabs or something I, like that. But, but, but they basically moved I, from, uh, you know, like now, the. Uh, no, I'm asking you a question. Is he also Arab and then. Was the religion of Shia, yeah. Shiaism, yeah. in its current form, yeah. was it predominantly born in Kufa and Basra? No, we believe it came 
from Medina. From, no, from Medina. brother. There is no trace from Medina. You have no. nothing from Medina. All Ali. your narrators. Look, all okay. Where was where was Durara? He, Good question. No, this Kufa. is Kufa. Look. And where was where was Imam Jafar Sadiq? Medina. Why is he narrating from Imam? How, on what authority? He, he, Imam is oh. not seeing him. No, Imam is. doesn't want to see him. Uh, how, how, how do you know that? Ima, we don't know that. Uh, do you, do, are there any reports that Imam Jafar Sadiq came to Kufa? Yes. No? He lived, he lived, he lived and no, died no, in Medina. There are Imam Muhammad al Bakr. We have reports in our sources yes, from them. In, in, in your, in your book, Hajj. We yeah, have in Sahih Muslim it's actually, the longest report in Sahih Muslim. We have the same one in Kafir. We, we, we have the same one in Kafir. It's actually okay, very amazing. similar. So you're doing yeah. our Hajj, mashallah. Good. Yeah, I mean, is it, is it, even, even Salah time. pray like us because it comes from look, same, no. the same people. Well, so, 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 so don't worry. So, so my my point no. is now. My look, point is now. Imam Jafar Sadiq. When did he go to Kufa to teach these people? Abu Hanifa himself says. No, I'm not asking no less than a turn, but how can no man? He's basically referring to the, the, the Imam Sadiq when he I'm came not, to Kufa. I'm not. And he has a, he has no, a house. No, no, no. Imam Abu Hanifa went to Medina. He didn't go, they didn't come to Kufa. He brother, he, he, brother, he, Imam Abu Hanifa went to Medina. He met them there. He okay, met no. the Halul Bayt there. Okay. He can. So but, that's but, why, but, that's but why when Shias claim that Imam Abu Hanifa was, was their student, we have no problem with that. But he didn't stay long enough with them to be student, to be a student. Imam Abu Hanifa spent most of his life in Iraq. In Kufa, know, but, and but then later Imam on Baghdad, he, he died in Baghdad in Medina Salam. Okay, so my he, question Imam is: Salam, now, he, he, When he did Zurara it. take two thousand reports yeah. from Imam Jafar al Sadiq and Muhammad al Bakir? Use your sense, use your how brain. Many, how many years did, did did Zurara live with, like like during during that time? How many years? Decades. Okay. Decades. So when when Abu Huraira, three years. 4,000 hadiths. Okay. That's, that's, oh, that's acceptable. No, that's no, fine. 4,000, 5,000. 5,000. You're, 5, you're, you're giving the less number. Okay, yeah, yeah. 5,000. Let me tell and, you now. And, and Bukhari. Uh, by the way, 5,000 with repetition. Yeah. Bukhari, uh, 600,000 hadiths. Ready? 5,700. 5,700. Yeah. No, no, no. With, bro, brother, do you know how many of these? There, do, you know how many, do you know how many uh, hadiths al, al, um, al Bukhari memorized? 100,000. He basically says. Um, as in the Sahih I compiled from 600,000 hadith. Okay. So, so Bukhari, he, he, okay, good. he can memorize. Do you know what that means? Abu Bukhari can memorize. But do you, do you know what? He can well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. This is a very good question. Intelligent question. Yeah. Now, when Bukhari said 600,000, if he said that, yeah, he if he said that, what does he mean by that? Do you know? So, a hadith is basically its chain and its context. So one hadith can have ten chains. I know that. Yeah. So so that means that it's ten different hadiths. So, I know. So, so six hundred thousand hadiths could effectively be five thousand hadiths. A bit difficult because no, that no, chains no, no, don't no, really exist. No, no. Let me let me explain. Let me explain. There's a lot of chains. Let me explain this to you. One hadith can have a hundred. Okay. This is a mutawatir hadith. You know. You know, know Sheikh Albani. Yeah. He collected most authentic hadiths in a silsilat al Sahih. Yeah, I know. How many hadiths are there? Five thousand. So that's what we're dealing with. Yeah, I brother, mean, Bukhari has seven thousand five hundred and fifty-two reports. Yeah. How many are they actually? Two thousand something. Two thousand five hundred. Yeah. Imam Zubaydi's uh, khulasa, his uh, his uh, summary or summarization of Bukhari. That's those are the reports without repetition. Yeah. So hadith literature, when they say so it, it's not incredible. Abu Huraira's five thousand means maybe five hundred, maybe maybe a thousand reports, right? And it's very possible, you know why? Abu Huraira for the last three years of the Prophet's life did not leave him. Not even for every time the Prophet was public, Abu Huraira was there. And when the Prophet would enter his house, Abu, that's the time when Abu Huraira would not be there. Okay? So Abu Huraira for the last three years of the Prophet's life, he was clinging to the Prophet like a leech. Like a leech. Everywhere the Prophet. You show me that. With Zurara and you, Imam Jafar and Imam Muhammad. Wait, 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 wait. Are you being let me, let me, now, no, 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 comparing no. your Sahaba to leeches, huh? No, no. <laughs> leech, leech in a positive sense, like like he's he's literally <laughs> sucking the from the Prophet <laughs> the the spiritual. I know, uh, I know, I know, I know, yeah. So Abu Huraira, as as bad as he is to you, yeah, to us he's a noble. You know, we cannot thank him enough. He gave us so much uh, from the Prophet ﷺ that we Aisha and Abu Huraira, two people. We cannot thank them enough. Wallahi. If they were not there, if they didn't collect the information that which came to us, we would be lacking a lot of Islam. Yeah. Now, I want you to do, to be fair with you, show me Zurara when he spent that much time in that way, with that consistency, with that intensity, with Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. 
and Imam Muhammad al Baqir. What I know from your sources, they would not even allow him to come close to them. What, they, what we know, they said he is from, uh, people came from Iraq, to Imam Jafar Sadiq, and they asked him, Imam, what do you think of Zurara? And the Imam said, Who am I in Ahlin Nar? He is from the people of Hellfire, and the report is authenticated by Qui. Then in another place, Imam is saying he is the best of the best. Rahimahullah. So, uh, uh, not Rahimullah. <laughs> I, leave, I leave him to Allah. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, the report. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now Khoi, Khoi, Imam Khoi is facing a big problem. One report is saying Zurara is the greatest of men. The other report is saying he is the worst of criminals who will be in hellfire. So how do we reconcile this? And both reports are Sahih. According to what standard, we don't know yet. The Shias yeah, are still yet to explain the standard. I can, I can okay. tell you what the standard is. Yeah. The standard is, Malahu Thiqatu Dhabdu Imami An Mithrihi Ila Muntahai Min Duni Shududim Wala Ila This is a hadith sahih. This is the Christian criteria of canonization of the Bible. You know that? That any... Huh? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way... What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, you said the criteria is that anyone who loves Imam... No, no, yeah, no, Imam, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. Did you even yeah. hear what I said? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Repeat. Marawahu. Yeah. ايه <تصفيق> Yeah. Those statements praising him were made in private mm. and where he cursed him, mm. those statements were made in public. Yeah. You agree? As far as I remember. Yes, I mean, that's I'm, the I'm case. Not, but, yeah. That's I, the case. I, I wouldn't dispute that. Because okay. it, because it wouldn't yeah. make, in private he was praising him. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. Yeah, in private he was praising yeah. him. In public he was cursing him. Yeah. Now Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, who is he? Allah sent him for what? He's the, he's the imam to the Shia. Yeah. To the Shia, he's the imam. And what is the job of the imam? Yes. I mean, it's not really that way, but. Oh, but oh no, no, but this, this, this is. Oh, that's from the Prophet. Yeah. But the imams to you are mulhim, right? They yeah. have ilham. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hadith, hadith, yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Just like Umar is muhaddith. So, Umar is so the, do the imams have to deliver? They have to clarify the Sharia. Good. Brilliant. We're getting somewhere now. They have to clarify the Sharia. Yeah. Okay, now, now. Sorry? Uh, no, 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 no. Another, another tangent. Please don't open that. Please don't open that. Wait, wait. Okay. Now, Imams have to clarify Sharia. Yeah. How do the Imams clarify Sharia? By making sure that the people of Sharia are clear. Yes? That these are the people who will take the Sharia from us to you. But in public, the man who brings Sharia from the Imam. In public, Imam says he is a liar and may Allah curse him and he is from the men of Jahannam. In public. Now, now, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq dies. Radiallahu an, rahmatullahi alayhi, alayhi salam. He dies. In 150 he dies. 150 Hijri, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, he passes away. Now people left behind who heard him in public, right? People who heard him in public and Imam has been sent to clarify Sharia according to you. His job was to clarify Sharia according to the tradition of the Prophet and his companions or his uh, Ahlul Bayt. Now, they cannot be lying, they cannot be hide, hiding, they cannot be cheating. If they are cheating and lying and deceiving, then they are not Imams. Period. Full stop. So now publicly he has said in front of people, Zurara is a liar, he is a Munafik and he is in Jahannam. Okay? And may Allah curse him. These words are there. La'an Allah ala Zurara. These words are there from Imam. Now, Zurara comes out after Imam has died. Yalla, I am narrating on the authority of Jafar al-Sadiq and Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. The people listening to Zurara now, they have two choices. Either to believe Zurara or believe the one who was appointed by Allah, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, who has publicly said that this man is a man of Jahannam. May Allah curse, may Allah curse him. 
and he is a liar. So now people are left with a dilemma. People, they will say to Zurara, Zurara, you are a liar, you're, you're, you're from Jahannam, and you are a Munafik, we will not take from you. But what do they do? What do the Shia do? They make him the Imam, they put him on the pedestal, and they take 2,000 reports from Zurara. A large chunk, according to our brother here, 30 to 40 percent, let's say 30 percent, came from Zurara. Okay, from two Imams, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. Now, when they come to us and tell us, take the Ahlul Bayt, because we follow the Ahlul Bayt, just like the Christians come to us and tell us, Jesus loves you. He died for your sins on the cross. Believe in Jesus and you're saved. You will be saved. It's a beautiful claim. How easy is that? Kill someone on the, um, someone on the cross and go to paradise, right? But is that even true? Likewise, when the Shias come to us and they tell us, Ahlul Bayt. They are the followers of the Prophet. The Prophet said, Inni tarikum fikum. Inni tar, inni tarikum fikum. Fakalain. Okay. Kitabullah wa itrati. Okay. So I leave two heavy things behind. The first thing is the Quran. That's a Sahih hadith, by the way. Absolutely. No dispute. I'm not disputing it. I'm, I'm the one quoting it. Okay. And even, Man kuntu mawla, fahaza aliyun mawla, Allahumma wali man wala, lama adi man ada. Authentic report. I accept it. But how do we understand it? Do we understand it like the, the Shias do, the, with the lens they put on it? No, we don't. We question it. We understand it in the way we have been taught by the Prophet and the Quran. We put the Quran. First thing, the lens we use on anything is the Quran. The second lens we use is the Prophet. I address the issue of, I mean, I don't want to cut you off, but, but you know, it's, it's, it's very unfair when you, for example, quote the issue of Zulala, yeah, and then make him out to be this kind of... Uh, yeah, he is. 30 percent of your deen is coming from Zorara. I know. Yeah, I, I realize that he's maybe you know. 30, but then, if he's cursed in public, is yeah, I know. So, now, so let me let me address this. Yeah. When when the Imam is talking to a group of people, Taba Allah ala qulubi, as you say, it's over. Yeah, they they're, they're waiting. Just anything, and they, and they want to take and kill the Imam. So so the, 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 there's no there's, there's no there's no dispute. Who, who told you this? This is reality. I mean, no, this is not the reality. This is a lie. This is a lie. This I'll, how many, I will, how many I will, times? Was the house of Imam Sadiq burnt down? It was burnt down. His, his own his own home was burnt. Down. Lie. That's not a lie. Lie. It's, it's Show me historically. Show me. That's impossible. Know. Show me historically that in Medina, Imam it is, it is. Muhammad, Imam Sadiq, Jafar Sadiq. Jafar Sadiq. Show me. Do you show uh, me a history look. that it, just like Fatima's house, house was burnt down and uh, she the door was smashed on her and she no, lost her is, baby, just like that Imam's house was burnt down. Yeah. No, but, no, but, no, but, no, no. Come on, man. I'll tell you what happened. Banu Abbas. Sunni or Shia? So-called Sunni, right? Yeah. So-called. Yeah. Harun Rashid, the champion of Sunnism. Yes? Okay? Yeah. Things get messed up with Al-Mamun, his son. Yes? He becomes Mu'tazli, yeah, yeah. Mu'tazli and everything, yeah? Is he what, not, uh, what is happened? Is he not a Kafir then? No, 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 we don't believe ah, that. No. Ahmed said, who, who, whoever, whoever no, believes that Imam, Imam is Imam Ahmed did not declare takfir on them. Well, Al-Mamun, Al-Mu'tasim, al wathiq Three of them who yeah. tortured Imam Ahmad, yeah. he did not declare. The, he still called Mu'tasim. He, 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 yeah. And he yeah. said, Ya Amir al Mu'minin, yeah. give me something on the Quran and Sunnah. This is what we call an Imam, yeah. not someone who will lie to save his life. Imam Ahmad, you know what, by the way, amazingly, these are the people we follow. We don't believe in taqiyah like the Shias do. Okay? No, no, we we taqiyah, believe, taqiyah we believe Afdalul Jihad, Kalimatu Haqqin. In the Sultan yeah, but it's not, but, but it's okay, not this is what we believe that the best of jihad is to speak the truth in front of a tyrannical ruler. So Imam it's Ahmad was put in front of Mot Imam Ahmad was wait, 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 wait. Imam Ahmad was fully qualified to say, you know what? I don't believe in this. Let me go. He was tortured for 14 long years, lashes upon lashes, torture upon torture. Okay, and he did not give in. He did not give in. Okay, why? Because he knew the option is there for him, but he didn't take it. He chose the better option. He was tortured so that he can defend the truth. Same Imam Ahmad, while he was alive, Al Ma'moon, what does he do? Are you aware? Wasn't there this idea of Khalq al Quran? No, 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 no. Something the Shias don't know. You know what, Al Ma'moon, what, who, who, is, who is your uh, sixth Imam? Imam Sadr. No, uh, uh, sorry. Ali Arida is seven. No, he's the eighth. Imam Al-Kazim is the seventh. Yeah, Imam Jawad. Imam Jawad is the eighth. Ali Rida. 
امام علي رضا علي رضا ذا الشيخ امام الجواد الشيخ امام محمد رايت يا امام علي علي امام علي رضا اوكي يا يو نو وات هابن امام علي رضا يا هي بيكيم ذا ذا واتس ات كول ويا اوكي ناو ذس ذس از سمثينج فيري باورفول المامون ذا سني كاليف اوف اسلام appoints Imam Ali Rida as his wali ulahad. So when al mamun dies, who comes to power? Imam Ali Rida. But does that happen though? Huh? Does that happen? Well, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. How old, how old was Imam Ali Rida? He's very young. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very young. He was in his 20s. No, he's younger than that. He's a child. No, 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 no. He was not a child. He was, he was, he was, a was a child. When he died, he, he was in his 20s. Okay. No, that was a jawad. The jawad okay. was in his 20s. He died. Al Rida was old. He was he was 23 when Imam Jawad died. It was Imam Ali Rida who was made the Wali Ulahad. Okay? Yeah, yeah, he was. And he, was older, and he died yeah. young. Okay, he died young. Check how long, he was in his 20s. Yeah, Imam Ali Rida. Okay, now the point I'm making is Al Mamun surrounded by all these Sunni scholars, and if Imam Ali Rida was Shia. Like the Itna Sharia, like these people claim about him. Do you think Al Mamun could possibly, in his right mind, appoint a Shia Itna Sharia as the Wali Ulahad, the leader of the believers? He was 55 like, years old. Huh? 55 years old when he died. 35. 55. Ali Rida. Yeah. Then it's the Imam Jawad who was appointed as the. Uh, Imam Muhammad Jawad who died was very young because his wife. Let me. Dead. I have the coin. I have the actual picture of the coin where, uh, sorry, let me find the coin. The, the coin thing was, was uh, from Imam Rida, as I, I sorry. I have a coin, yes, yalla. This is a coin from Caliph Mamun. Okay? You possess it at home? Is, that, is it something you own? No, this is not mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm looking for it. Inshallah, I'll find it one day. Cool. Lillah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Yeah. al Ma'moon. خليفة الله مما أمر به الأمير الرضا علي رضا yes ولي ولي أحد ولي أحد المسلمين علي بن موسى بن علي بن أبي طالب ذو رياستين right so this was not a private event where al Ma'mun would privately take the Imam into his house and then have a call of conscience and make him the Imam Having known well that this man is a Shia, it's not a Sharia who does not follow the same theology. This would be impossible for an Abbasid Caliph to do in the presence of all of those mighty, powerful Abbasid armies, the generals and the Imams and the Ulama. It would be impossible for Al Mamun to do. It's like, a, it's like, wait, yeah. Have you, have you ever had the saying, Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Uh, okay, that's the way you see it. That's a very interesting way. So keep, make your enemy your successor. He died. No, no, no. They no. killed him. It was, no, no. It was just a okay, okay, okay. They killed him. Before he died, the well, first question is, did Al Mamun make... Yes, that's true. We, we do believe in that. Yeah, you I can't deny it. No, we just didn't. like you cannot die, deny that Aisha died in the Hujra of. Uh, sorry, Rasulullah died in the Hujra no, of Aisha. No. Archaeologically, we can show that the Prophet died in the Hujra of Aisha. Just like that, Imam Ali Rida, Ali bin Musa, Musa Kazim. Musa Kazim, what yeah. was he during his life? Was he in prison or was he. He was imprisonated and killed. Oh, okay. All of them were killed. Oh, what are okay, you talking okay, about? Okay, okay. <laughs> was he Shia? Is, is the question. Of was he Shia? They were. No, he was not Shia like you. Absolutely oh, not. No. not. If that was the case, can you possibly believe that a Sunni Caliph, yeah. Al Mamun, appointing a Shia Imam as his Wali Ulahad? Look, it, it, it happened. There was a. Ibn Yaqeen is was a very close companion of Imam Musa Kalam. No Shia, and he was, uh, he was he was a wali during the time of Harun. Uh, Harun was very uh, harsh against the Shia. Uh, he made him, yeah, he made Harun, him. you know, you're making a point. Harun was very harsh against the Shia. But, but, but okay, which Shia? You, there were there were different types of Shia, right? I know, but I'm referring to our Salaf, okay. like our, our predecessors. Okay, and these are not your Salaf, by the way. No, no. Imam Ali Rida was not. If he was from yourself and believed in the same things you believe in today, your theology, which wasn't even formed by then, because no, this is the year 200, by the way. This is a misunderstanding. So, so this idea of Ithna Ashari not being there. What, like, what is an Ithna Ashari? What is it? Like, for example, when our scholars say, Fulan, okay, okay. No, no, wait, just clarify this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. Can, 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 can Ithna Ashari be complete without Imam Jafar Sadiq and Imam Muhammad al-Bakr? 
No. Okay. No, good. No. Good. No, in our day and age, but, but no, 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 no. Even then. Even then. Like no. When, when then? Uh, okay. When? When? Like Shia, Imam, the, Imam the, Sajjad's the, time. Wait. Imam Sajjad I'm time asking. Or? Can you have itna asharia without Imam Muhammad al Baqir and Imam Jafar al Sadiq? During what time? 150 Hijri. No. No, impossible. Because you have to, you have to so, acknowledge him as so, your imam. So it, yeah, good. Yeah. It's not Sharia is a new thing then. It took no, 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 no. another two hundred, another hundred fifty years. What is? Let me just. Go, oh, it's going to rain now. What is an Ithna Ashari? An Ithna Ashari, or, or, or this idea, like for example, when when, when Najahi says, "Fula min This idea that is from is from our companions. What does that mean? It means that it was same thought. Yeah, but 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 like to be more precise, let's say we're talking about um, Atiyah al Awfi, for example. Atiyah didn't. He, he, he basically lived. During, uh, up to the time of Imam Sajjad. So, so, he would, so he wouldn't have known of the later Imams. If he acknowledged the Imam of Ali, and the Imam of Hassan, and of Hussein, and Ali ibn Hussein, and died upon that, he's in Ashr. I just oh, No, no, no. This he is does a, not have to know. This is, I know, the, I know. I'm, I'm talking about something different. What is I'm it? talking about your entire theology based upon your sources, four books. For example, Ahl Sunnah. Yeah. Okay. We have our six books. That's like and, saying, can and, you be a Sunni before Bukhari? You, you uh, can, of course. No, of course. Yeah, the, of course. But, yeah, but of course. But can you be Itna Ashariya before Imam Jafar yeah. Sadiq and Muhammad yeah. Al Bakr? No, you can't, because they are the ones where the Hadith stops. Our no, Hadith no. stops with, uh, with Bukhari. No, 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 no. Wait. that's not true. Wait. We have, we have Hadith from Al Kazim, from Al Jawad, from even Imam Mahdi. Of course. Even of our course. Imam I'm Mahdi. saying the overwhelming majority yeah. of your literature. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I keep mentioning two Imams? I know. You are not Itna Ashariya. You are Itnaniya. You are Itnaniya. You're not Itra Ashariya. The Ashara, the, the ten are missing. Reports from Ali, almost non-existent. Wait, let me finish. Reports from Hassan, all absolutely non-existent. No, we do have. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. very, very, very few. You, you know, few, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very few, but we do have. Hussein, very little. Yeah. Well, Imam Zain al we, we have more. more. No, no, we have more. That's no, we thing. have more. I'm saying we have more. Okay. We actually have more. Okay. There's a lot from Imam, Imam, Imam Muhammad al Bakr, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Imam Jafar al Sadiq, a lot. Then Imam Musa Qadim, a lot. Fewer, okay, a few, fewer, a fewer, lot. less, less. A lot. Then Imam uh, Jawad, fewer. Yes, fewer. yeah. But let me just explain um, this issue okay. of, of uh, because because but basically. So, so the point I'm making is that Itna Ashariya is Itnainiya. In reality, practically speaking, for all practical reasons, when you say Itna Ashariya, you're not being just and you're not being honest. It is Itnainiya. You are simply taking the bulk, the majority of your information from Imam Jafar al-Sadiq. Allegedly, I'm saying allegedly, it's not even from them. I, I don't believe. I believe majority of it are lies attributed to them because who are the people narrating from them? Hisham bin Hakam, Hisham bin Salim, Urara and Abu Basir. These are the people. We have, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have like, like, uh, like even if we take all the hadith from Zurara away, Shia Islam would not. You know? I agree. It, it, it I hard. agree. You would still have a lot. Yeah, we still have I, a lot. I agree. So, so but I'm saying the, the yeah. chunk, the fact that you have people like that. But if, but if we took Aisha and Abu so, Huraira, you have nothing. Uh, no, we do. We do. Like who? Okay, we do. Like we do. Have, eighty percent of the hadith yeah. are from. No, no, no. I'm gonna give you names. Anas, Anas bin Malik. I know. Abdullah yeah. bin Masood, Abu Sayyid al Khudri, Jabir bin Abdullah. Okay, yeah. and the list goes on. Yeah, these are Kathiru Rivaya Sahaba. You're right. Yeah. Okay, we would yeah. we would lose a large yeah. chunk. But we would still have, uh, even if we were to throw Sahasitta into the sea, five books, we would still have the entire Sahasitta from other sources, right? So we, we don't, uh, we, we, I, I, and I accept your point. The point I'm making is, when you come to us and say, follow the Ahlul Bayt, yeah. follow the Ahlul Bayt, right? You're not telling us to follow the Ahlul Bayt. I'll, you're, I'll telling, like, you're telling the Sunnis to follow Zurara, Hisham, Hishamain, yeah. and Abu Basir. Okay, but you're even, telling us to follow them, not if, 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 wallahi, Akhi, yeah. what's your name? Mustafa. Mustafa, Akhi Mustafa, wallahi, we've been talking for two hours and we're not. <laughs> Brother Mustafa, if I was, con I mean, if I had confidence that this report comes from Imam Jafar Sadiq, Imam Muhammad al Bakr, wallahi, I would follow it without questioning. Wallahi, wallahi, I'm telling you as a Sunni, I would cherish. And how do I, how do, how, how can I prove that? As I said, the largest, the longest report in Sunni literature on Hajj is from Imam Jafar as Sadiq uh, and Imam Muhammad al Bakr. And, and, and Jabir ibn Abdullah is the Sahabi. Yeah. And we're, we're, he, you and have the have, same? Yeah. It, 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 it basically is from Imam al Bakr, from Jabir, from the Prophet. We have, we have the same one in Kabul. So Jabir is good to you? Of course. Jabir, Jabir, Jabir is one of the good ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Him and his father. Okay. Jabir and Abdullah. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. So now, actually, Jabber was was uh, he would he would walk in the azqa of of Medina. You know the yeah, yeah. the and, and he would say so, Ali and Khair al Bashar. I mean, Abba Fakr al Kafar. He would like raise this. Ali is the best of, of creation. And whoever did, did we have no problem with, with that. The, with that the, opinion is a, is a valid opinion. We have no problem with that. Alhamdulillah. We, we believe Ali is one of the best of Bashar. Yeah. We, this is the problem. The Shia, some Shia, not all, they think that the Sunnis have some vendetta, some hatred against Ali bin Abi Talib. No, 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 no. When we don't accept their narrative, they crying and wailing over Ali. They think we are not in love with Ali as they are. No, no, no. Our love is of different type. Our love is very balanced. It is very Quran and Sunnah driven. Okay, we don't go to extremes in our love, and we we don't uh, express our love in ways that are haram. Okay. Would you, yeah. would you follow Ali? So, for, so what for kind example, of question is that? No, no. So, so no, 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 it's not true. Like for example, the the aim of, of al haram, right? The haram al Mecca, the haram al Yeah. It is known that according to the Sunnah of Ali, he would always do what? Jahar al Basmala. They would always recite Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim out loud. Yeah. Look, look, look at your imams. No, there, 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 Allah, there, there, there are. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi. What's, what's the best? There are opinions. Where is there it? are opinions. The Sahaba held some of those. So opinions. follow Ali then. The, no, you no, have no, authentic no, no, transmitted no, no, no. that Ali was let always recite al Bismillah. I don't believe Ali was masoom. You do. So what's the point of this? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Isma, Isma is not the point we're discussing. No, no. Do, uh, do I believe Ali can make mistakes? Absolutely. Yes. Do I believe? Do I believe other Sahaba made mistakes? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Omar, Abu Bakr, yes. we don't. You see, the lens, the lens you have on Ali is a divine lens. No, it's no, a, it's no, a no, lens no. with a halo, halo around Ali's head. Not, not an, alayhi salam, you have a you have a halo around his head, like the Christians have a halo around Jesus' head, and they have a very strange, a very unique the, view of uh, Jesus. We don't share that view. We have a different kind of view. Our view is more comprehensive. It is more inclusive of the Sahaba and it is more historically accurate one. Just like the Christians, they bring a Jesus to us that is historically inaccurate. This is a divine Jesus who did, you know, who taught things that we cannot believe in. When Just like that, said, when the Shia bring us an Ali, who is a divine Ali or, we, we or, or, or semi-divine Ali for that matter, we don't believe in that Ali. We don't accept the, that Ali. The Ghulat are disbelievers and according to Shia Islam, we, we, we do not believe Ali to be divine in any shape or form. The Prophet said, Ali is with Ali and, 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 and Ali is with the truth. In, in so what context? In, in what context? In, 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 in everything? In everything? In everything? Yeah. Ali is never, he can never make mistakes? What is the No, when, when you say that, yeah. I, know the Shias, I know the Shia view that they believe Ali is Masoom. He is, yes. Okay, Ma Masoom Ali al-Khata. Right? We don't believe that. So, but, so we believe Ali is Ma'al Haq. Yeah. When Ali is upon Haq, absolutely. But there's okay. no istisna. There's, there's no, there's no, no to you, there is no istisna. But, but, but can you give me an example where the Prophet says, Illa ila kada kada. Because the Quran, the, Quran says, the Quran says it. The Quran says that all believers, the Prophet said, okay, I will give you the istisna. The Prophet said, Kullu bani adam khatta. Uh, wa khayru khattain al-tawabun. Khalas, that's my istisna. Yallah. So, based on that, so based on that, would that also mean that the prophet makes mistakes? Uh, human errors, absolutely. So, so he, he, human human errors means not sins, not sins. Human errors. Human. For, for example, so for example, the example, the Quran has examples. Quran has examples where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala corrected the prophet. He he made an error of judgment, and Allah corrected him. We have examples of that in the, the history. Prophet Muhammad made mistakes and he corrected. Uh, 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 errors of judgment. Well, and well, these are not, yeah, not, not yeah. For example, the, uh, the the prisoners of Badr, the Prophet oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Allah is in yeah. the Quran. Yeah, it's in the Quran. Well, so there are examples like that. So, and there are other examples like that, brother. So, yeah. So, so Ali bin Abi Talib Yeah. So Ali bin Abi Talib was not a prophet. He was uh, less than a prophet. Yes. So that's why oh. he is he is a human being, mm. a, a human being. Yeah, less than a prophet. Absolutely, he's not a prophet. Less than the prophet, not 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 prophet. No, Ali bin Abi Talib is not a prophet at all. He's uh, a, he's a, he's from the Ummah. He is one of the yeah. best people to walk the planet, no doubt. But he was not masoom. We don't believe that. We don't have that lens. We see him as one of the best figures in human history. We believe Ali bin Abi Talib is uh, the closest, one of the closest companions of Rasulullah He loved the prophet. Loved him so much. That when people complained about him, that's when he stood up and he said, "Man kuntu maula, fahaza aliun maula." That why did the prophet had? Why did he have? What what provoked him to say this? Okay, this was not that he woke up one day 
And he thought, okay, let me declare there Ali a, to be my successor. No, is, it's all... a, 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 a hadith from Abu Hurairah, mm. which is quite strong in, in its chain. It's not mm. And Abu Hurairah says that when Allah Azza wa Jal uh, revealed, um, then uh, the Prophet said, "Man kuntum awla, fada Ali So, so this was. Um, to, to finalize the religion through the wilaya of Ali ibn Abi Talib. This is all made up book. by Shia. This, book, this story, this story, all of this is the hadith itself clarifies what it means. Allahumma wali man wala wa adi man ada. Why is the Prophet saying this? Because he knows that this wilaya, individuals after him will fight. Allahumma wali man wala. Wa adi man ada. Man yeah. man ada yeah. Yeah. So this is adawa against wilaya. Yeah. We yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah. And this is wilaya of friendship. Having a mola. Yeah. Uh, like Allah says in the Quran, Inna ma waliyukum Allahu wa Rasuluhu wa Ladina amanu. Okay, this is the context. The context is this, not wala waliyul amr, minbadi. No, this is, is not the, that. Is the wala of Allah only through nusra, through support, or, or is it also through like rulership? Through it, it, no, it is hukm uh, illa illa. No, uh, right? So Allah, Allah, Allah is wala waliyul amr, waliyul amr in specific. In and even the wala of the prophets. The wala of the prophet is also what? No. Prophet. When I mean, Allah said, when the Prophet said, I was his leader, yeah. Ali is his leader. Yeah, Ali, no, not leader, not leader. Here the Prophet, what, what concept? Innama waliyukum Allahu wa rasooluhu. The Quran is telling us in Surah Al-Ma'idah that verily Allah is a wali to you. Yeah. And so is the Prophet. Walladheena amanu and those who believe. And then Allah explains who those people are. Alladheena yuqeemuna salat. Or you tune zakat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is a general um, statement. Huh? Um, um, yes. 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 So, yes. So, yes. So, so, yeah. yeah no about. problem. So, what, what about when you tune salat? Or you tune zakat? Um, as in, yes. Yeah. The story when Ali ibn Abi donated his ring. Yeah. When he was in. No, in brother. The these are all your tafsirs. You. No, no. Yeah. It's all in your books. And okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now. Uh, and, I, and by the way, you know, Al Tafsirani, who was a giant Mu'tazili scholar. In the second century, there's like an Ajma al Mufassirun, Ala Anna Hazar Fi Aliyan, in his Shah al Makasa, in his book, he's a giant scholar in Makazili. There's consensus amongst the scholars that this was revealed by Ali ibn Yutai when he gave it. We have no problem. If that's the case, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, we accept it wholeheartedly. We have no, and you know, if, 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 it's not, if there is no Shia twist on it, if there is no Tashayyu in it, if there is no Itna Sharia, you know, uh, manipulation, Allahu Akbar, we accept everything wholeheartedly. But when there is a Shia twist on it, when there is some Tashayyu imposed on it, sorry, we have to step back. Because then we have to scrutinize every single report the Shia bring to us about Ali ibn Abi Talib. I'm sorry to say this because we don't trust the Shia sources. By the way, we don't uh, trust the Shia scholars. Al Albani, you know what he says when, in, in his uh, Sahih Sahih, he, he, he authenticates a hadith that has about Fadail of the Amir al Mu'min, Then he says that I know that some of the narrations in it are Shia. But his madhab does not mean anything. So, long, so as long as we have his sudd, his, his trustworthiness, he's a Shia and that's his that's, that, that principle applies to Tafdiliya. It doesn't apply Ab to Rafida. Abad ibn Yaqub. Why you not staying till Maghrib? Stay, man. Stay for some. Uh, no, let's go for a walk or something. Man. Abad al-Rawajini. Nice Abad yeah. al-Rawajini. Look him up. Just, just Google Abad al-Rawajini and, and uh, see his here. He is uh, 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 you leave it. No, no problem. You, 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 you. I'm gonna pray as well. I said time, so I'm gonna pray, inshallah. Yeah. Okay, so, do, so, yeah. So, so, yeah. We'll pray together, inshallah, if you want. So, um, so the issue is that we have no problem with Ali ibn Abi Talib, okay? I, I don't we, we, that. Anyone who, anyone who thinks that the Ahl Sunnah have just this uh, enmity. Bent enmity towards the Ahlul Bayt, they are a bunch of liars. Those who say this, if they know what we believe in. Okay, and they are the Jals and Munafikin. You know why? Because they hide the true essence of Shia theology from the masses. Because what we discussed today was the core. Do we have the Ahlul Bayt and the teachings? Is the question. When you bring to me the Ahlul Bayt, don't bring to me Ahlul Bayt. Say Ahlul Bayt according to Zurara, according to Hisham bin Hakam, Hisham bin Salim, and Abu Basir. Then we're talking. Don't come and tell me Imam Jafar Sadiq said this, Imam Muhammad al Bakr, because I'm not going to accept it from you. I You're going to have to qualify. Courses. You're going to have to qualify and show uh, me that this is actually from the Ahlul Bayt. Because we don't reject the Ahlul Bayt. When I discussed 
uh, like the issues with you. I rarely have a quote in the Shia hadith because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, no, I, but I, I know you believe in these things. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm mentioning them. I mean, and there are other also, Shias, there are other Shias listening right now. They believe in these things. I want them to know these things. It's also when, when, when you, for example, come yeah. and say, believe in the Sunnah of the Prophet. Well, it's the Sunnah according to what Aisha said. Yeah. It's the Sunnah according to what Abu Hayyar said. Yeah. Uh, and it's not like said. Yeah, we, we have no, no we have, we have liars in because the Aisha, Aisha huh? is Aisha because of the Quran. Okay, I believe Aisha, she was oh. the wife of the Prophet until the day he died. Yeah, Number one. Okay, okay, she and she did not, Prophet did not reject her, did not throw her away, did not publicly announce his divorce with her, did not publicly condemn her, did not do anything. In fact, in fact, he endorsed her by dying with her in her arms, in her hujra, and being buried in her hujra. So amazingly, that's no, no, no. It, it, it actually is quite amazing because the prophet said, "Al Anbiya la yuwarathun." This idea that the prophets yeah. do not, you know, inherit yeah. anything. And Abu but Bakr, I, but Abu Bakr, I, she, oh. she, she, she takes the whole, you know, uh, the, uh, the whole home, and then she allows Amr no, to get no, buried no, no, and Abu Bakr to get buried. No, so, this, so, so, this, so the prophet. That, that, so, so no, that, no, I mean, it's in her, the, her, no, her place, yeah. No, her, her, her no. So, so what you wanted to be thrown out? Where did you go? The Sahaba, well, the, the Sahaba. Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr, he has a home, doesn't he? You can live with him. No, good, good. But 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 do you think do you think Aisha huh? the ownership of the house belongs to It was called Hujra to Aisha. Is the it prophet not? No, no. you know did you know he, about you know about did this? Give her the, the Hujra to this ownership? was not Viratha. This was not Viratha. Was it? The house of Aisha was given by the Prophet. Dalil, Dalil, evidence. Dalil is it's called Hujra to Aisha. We have Bukhari reports. No, because the Quran says um in the Ladini in the Ladina uh what was the verse? In, in the, the Ladina, Quran calls them Ahlul Bayt. Just wait one second. I'm, my brain's gonna explode in a bit. Fi buyuti kun, fi buyuti kunna. Yeah, but but. What well, buyut? Yeah. Which buyut? One second. One second. Wait, wait, wait. Allah, uh, uh, this is the response is in the Quran, brother. Allah calls them it. their houses. Allah, Allah says buyuti kunna. I know. But that means. In the Ladina, you're looking right what do you mean, <laughs> brother? The Quran is telling us those houses belong to them. The Quran is saying buyuti kunna, their houses. Oh, the wives of the Prophet, stay in your houses. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, look, this, this verse was just... Your uh, houses. Yes, yes, yes. But, so, uh, oh, wait, wait. What does this mean? Biyuti kunna. So it says... Oh, biyuti kunna. They're, they're, they're in, 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 uh, in uh, feminine. Because there's noon and nuswa. No, so yeah. it means their house. I know, I know. Allah is calling... The, the class. No, no, if Allah is giving them no, the no, house... Wait, wait. If Allah is giving them the house, what's not, the problem? That's, no, it's not about what's your problem. That's but Allah, Allah is saying your house is. Allah says in all of us that, that, that Allah did not say the Bay, Baytul Rasulullah. He did. He did. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring it okay, the verse. Baytul Rasulullah. Yes, he did. Illa an yudhan lakum ila ta'am. What was the verse? Everyone has a house. Al ayah? So, so you wanted all the nine wives of the Prophet yeah. to be on the street? One second. Is that the Shia justice? She had compassion for the life of the wives of the Prophet No, I'm asking you a question, brother. Answer there, there my question. Is there, wait one even second. No, no, no. Ones, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, no, no. One second. One second. One second. Even the good ones. Oh, no, no. One second. One second. She, she should have been on the street, right? Well, um, well, I raised him. Ma anzal Allah lakum min rizqin. Uh, I jaltu minhu haram and halal. What was the verse? Uh, what point are you making? What's the point? What? Because because it mentions buyut al Nabi. No, there it is. Ya yuhal ya yuhal ladin amanu la tadkhulu buyut al Nabi. See? Okay. So, yeah. so, 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 what is that? Does that mean Quran is contradicting? So, one second. Good question. How, how do we, you know, do we jump and compare yeah. them? Here, it's basically, you know, like Mulkiya, Mulkiya. Um, is of the Prophet. Well, yeah, but uh, it's just very difficult. Like, I'm, I like, I like quite a lot okay. when I talk. Okay. Okay. I, I can't, okay. I can't, I can't like. Okay, okay, okay. wait, wait. Huh? No, 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 wait. It's, yeah, it's, it's very one, 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 one is a reference to Malaki, Malakia. Yeah, like, like the other is reference of attribution. No. So, so the Prophet. No, like, like wait, as in because wait, you first, first, of all, first of all, the Prophet ﷺ gave these houses to his wives. Sah. No, there's, there's no evidence for that. So our, why did he put them all nine of them in different houses? Because they have to live with him, so, so they have to be. Oh, there. Okay, so the prophet, you cut, you cut. The prophet. There's, there's two options. Either he, he he basically directly said, "Oh, oh, oh my wives, this is your home." Wait, wait, I'm asking a question. Wait, the prophet says, <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's very unbelievable." But anyway, prophet says, so he, "Did he put them in these places?" Yeah. Okay. Did he say to this? This is this. Did he say to them, "This is your house. This is your house. This is your house." No, he didn't. He didn't. There okay. Is, there, Let's say he didn't. And no the prophet died, Salah. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
because the Prophet ﷺ do not leave any inheritance behind. Okay. So, so now, now I'm asking so question. Is for the I'm, I'm asking question. Okay. So, Sunni, so fine, yeah. fine, good, 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 good. No, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Which one is a good one? From the Ummah Ummu Umm Sulaiman, right? Umm Sulaiman. You like her? Maymuna, the love. Yeah. No, Maymuna. Oh yeah, Maymuna. Okay. Maymuna. No, I thought Umm Umm Habiba. Allah Akbar. Okay. So Maymuna, Umm Sulaiman, and we also have. So did they leave the houses? No. So why why do you not have anything against them? Why well, why are you not trying to throw them, de house them, only well, Aisha? No, no. Why? I didn't say only Aisha and, and, Hafsa. and Hafsa, yeah. I didn't I, I, I didn't say only Aisha and Hafsa. I, I, I said but, basically. So you want to throw Muslim out as well or not? That's your theology. No, you, my theology. Yes. Brother, brother, no, brother, no, it's no, not, no, not yes. if I, this because, was, because I believe that, that the Prophet does it, inherit. It was decided, yes, yeah. that's true. It was decided by the Sahaba. Have by the Sahaba to leave the Prophet's wives where they are out of respect for them, not de house them or throw them on the road. Uh, the, thank God but the I, Shia, Sharia were not there, they would have thrown out most of them. Okay, yeah. and they would have kept Umm Salama and uh, Maymuna indoors, and the rest of them would be on the street. May, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and protect the, the honor of Ummahat al Mu'mineen. Wallahi, seriously. And you guys are seriously, seriously on dangerous path. Wallahi, brother. The, the Ummahat al Mu'mineen, no, no Muslim can like. You see how Muhammad. dodgy your theology is. How uh, dodgy, how dodgy, and my how, theology is dodgy. how destructive. You believe, you, you believe that the Prophet doesn't inherit anything, yet they, they, no, they get to he, remain in the house. Does not, because the Prophet does not leave any inheritance behind him. Yes. Okay. That's, 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 so what that's why. On. That's why his, his 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 people behind him cannot inherit from him the property. But we believe those houses. This is why. This is why we're consistent. By the way, you're not accepting our consistency. Those houses were given by the Prophet. Within his life, those uh, so to, to, the, to, to the the evidence is the Prophet put them in those houses yeah. and attributed those houses by their name. And where's the evidence? Bukhari, the house of Aisha is called Ujratu Aisha. No, I don't. Okay, I don't, I don't announce that. Okay, but, then, 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 we have evidence or not? Not it's in called the way, house of Aisha. Well, just because it's called house of Aisha, I mean, I can, but that means I can, that's enough no, evidence. No, 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 it's not. No, <laughs> because it, where's the evidence for Ali's house was Ali's evidence? Give me the give me the land deed. I want to see the land deed right now. I want to see all. He bought it. Uh, so, 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 so you you play game, play no, game. No, he, he, he bought evidence, it. evidence. He, evidence. he bought, bought from who? Ali from was the one of the poorest companions. You know, what? on his wedding, who paid uh, the expenses? There are reports that Osman radiallahu anha. He was paying no, for the expenses. No, he basically sold his shield, and then he put from that. Uh, he, no, he no, paid no, yeah. no. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. No, that was dowry. That yeah. was mahar. Yeah, but no, that was mahar. Not other expenses. Not the other expenses. There are reports that Osman. He uh, came to basically. Help I don't Ali know. Ali Ali uh, we'll find goodness. reports. We'll find reports. My point is, Ali was one of the poorest companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi I don't believe he was. He had, no, he had nothing in his house. When Fatima yeah, went, there was a there was a mat, there was a pot for water, and there was, was a pillow, and that's it. I mean, uh, where home, did Ali buy the house from? Well, you see, you land yourself in the same pit. No. His home was attached to the Prophet's home. So no, he wasn't. Yes, it was. Oh. It wasn't Yahi. It was <laughs> not. We'll the, house of Fatima, no, no. Out, the house of Fatima was at a distance. No, it was not. This idea of that all doors were shut to the, you know, uh, to the, um, to the mosque of, uh, of the Prophet. The mosque except, of the Prophet except, only had one door, right, which was from Hujra to Aisha. Go today, right now. Look, go, go, go to Masjid Nabi. Have yes, you been there? Yes. Sir, Have yeah. you been there? Where is the, the, the place Prophet is buried? And all the houses, all the houses were like this. That's okay. Actual. All nine wives of the Prophet they they house they had they had the houses during, in in, no. in, in, in during, join, join with each other during the time of Omar the not, not Omar bin Khattab you know the the the, the, the Amawi uh, what's his name Omar bin Omar bin Abdul Aziz yeah Omar bin Abdul Aziz he actually destroyed the house of of, uh, of Ali and Fatima to to extend like the the mosque to renovate it so, so it was removed only the house of Ali and Fatima yeah. or other houses no just only Ali and Fatima oh, only their home so all it the was, other uh, all the other houses were were yeah, yeah, basically yeah, left. Yeah. So he specifically went. Yeah. It was. Do you believe these stories? Yeah, of course. I do. do you believe these stories? Yeah. I mean, do you believe that uh, Fatima was killed by Omar, by the door? By by. Uh, by the door. No, it wasn't. He he basically ordered her death. We we have authentic hadith you know, for, uh, transmitting this. Brother, uh, that, brother, that it happened. There is nothing authentic. Are you aware of the recent fiasco online that your that guy from Bahrain, that fool? Was uh, was making claims uh, that there are 35 reports or something, and Farid, you know Farid? Oh uh, yeah. Farid, he no. went through every single report, no. and go and check that. I go have, and check that video. How did you him. find out? You I know? have debated him on, on Twitter, like uh, shortly on this. He basically disputes uh, the Dalal Imam. He says it's not it's not 
it's not an authentic source, and that's that's false. I mean, Sayyid Al-Khoui authenticated, so... so it's, there is there is no Shia authentic Shia source. Yeah, I mean... I uh, don't believe in any authentic Shia source. So, it doesn't exist. So, so in Dalal Imam, the, the chain is basically... The only authentic Shia source uh, is the Qur'an, which is which they have a different reading of. That's the only source I can... If, if a Shia... Even that, you know, subhanAllah, if, if, if a Qur'an came printed in Iran, I would have to recheck it. Seriously. I would have to recheck it because these people don't even believe in the authenticity of the Qur'an. I mean, and Al Baqir Al Baqir Al Majlisi was uh, no. the founding uh, father. Al Baqir Al Majlisi in his Bihar mentions the actual chain of the Quran, and he also authenticates it. He, he says that you know he talks about Inna Nahnu Zanna Dika wa Inna Ali wa Inna Lahu Lhafidun. He mentions Ali Min Al Ziyada wa Nafsan. Al Baqir Al Majlisi was one of those people who believed, believed in the Tahrif of the Quran. The Tahrif in, in the sense of the the Ta'wil and Munazzal was Muharrah, because because we believe that the Quran is Tanzil and Ta'wil. Do you actually know the difference between them? Yes. Okay, what is, what is Tanzil? What is Tanzil? Tanzil is the matter. Yeah. And Ta'wil is the meaning. Yeah. We actually believe, okay, there's, there's a small addition, that's, that's, that's true. But, but, the, but the addition is that we believe that the, the Ta'wil was revealed with the with Tanzil. Inna alayna bayana, as Allah says in the Quran. And, and Allah, we, and, and, we also, uh, and you're uh, helping me now, and the Quran says, the Quran tells us where is the Ta'wil. Tanzil came, inna. Uh, who is Allah telling this? The Prophet. Not the Ahlul Bayt, right? So, well, so, 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 well, I mean, so the we, we Tibyan of the Quran is in the Hadith. No, I mean, it's in the Hadith, brother. Allah says in the Quran, in Alina Bayana. Yeah. Would you, would you, how? How? Allah says that? Yeah. Good. How? Then Allah explains how. In Anzalna Ilayka Dikra. Yeah. Yeah. We have revealed the zikr upon you so that you may explain yeah. to them okay. what has been revealed. Okay. So the Prophet explained. We where is that explanation today? It's in the books of Hadith. Yes, with us, oh, not oh, with you. Yes, of course. Because you don't have anything from the Prophet. Yes, we do. Everything, no, brother. brother everything. It's as not I've, from the Prophet. As I've mentioned. It's from Zurara and uh, Hishamain and Abu Basir. It's from them. We've, it's not from the Prophet. What we, yeah, what we have is from the Bukhari, for example. When Bukhari tells us, call Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Bukhari tells us why and how and where and who. Number one, Bukhari and Makki ibn Abi Ibrahim and Yazid ibn Abi Ubaid and Salma ibn al -Aqwa. I can also give you a hadith by Ismail, it's not a problem. No, no, wait. And then it goes, call Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Three people. Be, I can also give you a hadith. Like going to the Prophet. Yeah. Show me. From Shia sources. Yes. Okay. Uh, through Imam Jafar Sadiq. Yeah. And with uh, who is narrating from him? Yeah. Who? I'll, I'll, Zurana I'll give, or uh, Hisham? No, or? it's not Zurana or Hisham. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Shane. Okay. It, it was Jabra Jaffi. From, from, from Halas. Halas, game Wait, over. How's the game so over? So that means you don't have... You don't, listen, brother, Jabra Jaffi must you are from truly, his father. You, you, you are truly miskeen. And I'm not oh. being arrogant in this. Okay. You do not have an authentic chain of narration. I do. I do. You don't. No, no. Well, when you do, I'll tell you you do. And there are authentic no, there really? are authentic narrations. Yeah. Authentic because we are and narrations confirm those. But but the bulk, the majority Jabir Jovi is the biggest liar in Kufa. We've already discussed so, that. Sufyan was a Kufi and he and he was Sufyan Asari was the Imam of Muhammadin. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but he was not a liar. That's why we believe he was not a liar. I know, but but yeah. Sufyan says that in the Hajjat Jabir Fasada. If, if, if okay, was, was show it? me that authentic narration and I will accept it. Today I will do, uh, not 100, I can't do 100, maybe 10 press ups. Show me Sufyan Asari from an authentic narration. He said this. Show me. It is, it, I'm saying it is impossible. Listen to me. Listen to me. It is impossible for Sufyan Asari. Sufyan Asari would be destroyed. He, he would be ditched, abandoned by the rest of the Ummah if he said that about Jafar, uh, Jafar, uh, Jabir al Jafi. He, this guy we're talking about. Jabir bin Yazid al Jafi was one of the biggest liars in the city of Kufa, so notorious that his name was on the billboards in the city of Kufa. This guy is a liar. Imam Abu Hanifa said, I have not seen a bigger liar than this in my entire life. And he went around. Imam Abu Hanifa was going around speaking. And he said, This guy. Look, look, look. Qala Abu Naim and Sufyan Thawri. Ida Qala Jabur Haddathana wa Akbarana. Where is the report from? I'm sorry. Show me the source. It's probably a Shia source. No, it's not. Oh, uh, it's, it, 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 the, the website is literally brother, brother, al brother, brother, if this is true, 
Sufyan al-Suri would be destroyed. He would not exist as an imam in the in, in Ahl al-Sunnah. Sufyan, by the way, he has some tashayyua. Not, not like, in, obviously, in our way, but he, but he has some tashayyua in him as well. Okay. I'm going to have to now... Look, what God has my you this point? So, yeah. You have to frame this and put it up in your house, you know. I, I don't mind. It has, it has the name of my imam. So yeah, absolutely. Look, look, it says, look at that. وقال يحيى بن ابي وكيل عن شعبه كان جابر اذا قال حدثنا ولو سمعت فهو من اوثق الناس. He's one of the most powerful. Wait, let, I'm going to do something now. Watch. Watch this magic. عن زهير بن معاذ قال Have you ever seen magic? Yeah. This is haram. Have you ever seen magic? Yeah. Haram. No, no. There's halal magic as well. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're going to see it now. Halal magic. Watch. Jabir bin Yazid. Ibn Adi even said, Lahu Hadithun Salih. So, so there was actually a dispute about Jabir bin Zijab. Some authenticated him from your salaf. I'm, I'm 100% sure. You, you will obviously find scholars that will weaken him and do fine. No, 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 Tariq ibn Mu'ayn, Yahya ibn Mu'ayn, yeah. okay, the Yahya ibn Mu'ayn, Al-Juz, Haddasan Abu Yahya, Abu Yini Faqala, Ma Ra'aytu, what? Ma Ra'aytu, and who is, who is the, who is the narrator? No, who is the narrator? Uh, Yahya ibn Mu'ayn, yeah, yes, yeah. he is the narrator, yeah, but what but, is he saying? But, but he, but wait, he wait, wait, wait. Your, your Shia, your Shia Imams and your teachers, they are the biggest liars. My well, I'll, I'll, no, no, not your specific teachers. I'm saying generally. I don't, I don't have. They, I don't will, have they will, they will, pick and choose, and then you have to be embarrassed like this. I'm okay, not embarrassed. Because, uh, no, you don't have to be embarrassed. But this is, this is Imam Sufyan uh, Yahya bin Mu'in is narrating. Ma ra'aytu ahada. Akdab, akdab. But who's saying that? Jabir al Who's saying that? Okay, this is said by Abu Hanifa. Yeah, Abu Hanifa. Okay, now let's go. Keep, come, continue. Okay. Do I call Okayli? This is the reference. Yeah. حدثنا محمد النساء قال فلان 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 عن أبي قال ما رأيت أحد أكذب من جابر الجوفي. Same narration. Okay, خلا يا سيم وان سيم وان ابن عبد البر. قال حدثنا شيء من سمعتين قال سميت أبو يا الحماني يقول سميت أبو سيم. It's Abu Hanifa again. Yeah yeah. So we're gonna go to others. Don't worry. We're gonna go to others. Abu Hanifa is clear now, yeah. Um, I mean, I never, I never claimed Abu Hanifa was the guy. Okay. Abu Hanifa is clear. Imam Abu Hanifa is clear. Al Khadir al Baghdadi has a, has a very fun opinion of, of Abu Hanifa. I know the opinion. They are <laughs> well, all like, uh, will come yeah, to the That's a very completely different topic. Yeah, but so you're using Abu Hanifa, who's, you know, anyways. See? Look at this. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, wait, wait. These are report, they're reporting yeah. that yeah. this is the claim. Okay? So they're gonna come. See, the, like wait, wait. The, the salaf on this dispute. No, 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 no. There isn't. There's wait. no jama on him. No, I'm telling you. I, I can even bring you muhaddidin that actually say that the, the hadith of, of Jabir is hasan. In your opinion. Nasai ma truhi hadith. Nasai fi tuta anuna. Qala fi mawla aqli sabi thiqa wa la yuktabu hadithu. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't. I don't dispute that. Anyways, uh, we've we've talked about Amul Hadith, Aqidah, <laughs> we've talked about everything. We have to. Huh? Yeah. We have to. I'm just surprised at the way you are brought up to be so disrespectful to the In the in the in the in the science of Hadith, okay. Let me, let me, in the let me science just... of Hadith, if a narrator has been accused of kid, yeah. If he if he's muttahim bil 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 kadhib, what do you call it? Muttahim bil bil kadhib. Yeah, yeah, bil kadhib. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. If he if he has this uh, tohum on him, tohum, yeah, yeah, he's rejected. I, I know. By default. I know. Okay. Because, so so because, Jabir because, al Jawfi. Look look, look 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 at how many reports there are. I know. Look look the reports upon. Last the hello. Look look look. Okay. Wakala jury. Okay. Fa wakadab. Yeah. Okay. Can you remember the raja? You know that there was actually Sahaba that used to believe in Raja'ah? What's that? 
Huh? Yeah, he back, he came, went back. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. So, so, That's fine. But... ليس عندي بالقوي في في حديثه. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, if you have no Yena, وقال ابراهيم ابراهيم الجزجاني كذاب 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 ليس بثقه اوكي او سم ذير ار سو ماني ديفرنت سو 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 جابر جوفي ذير از ا برنسيبل ان حديث سني حديث ويتش بيسكلي ذات الجرح يقدم على على ال الجرح يقدم ترجمة So when they said specifically kadab, kadab, and it's not one, okay? Then even if let's say Sufyan, Sufyan Thori, first of all, I'm gonna go and have to check that it's not whether Sufyan Thori actually said this. But even if Sufyan Thori and five like him said things in his favor, and there are ten or twenty others are saying kadab, 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 either kadab, khalas. So this is, you see, our system is very just. This shows you it's very just, okay? I don't know, having known all of this, how can you still continue to, to believe these things? You have the audacity to point fingers at some of the Sahaba and, and then you know for sure clear-cut information on these narrators from uh, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq and Imam Muhammad al-Baqir and you know their controversial histories and you still believe in them. It's, it, it's beyond me. It is like a phenomenon. I still cannot make sense how the Shia can still believe in this, this stuff. It highlights the trustworthiness of, uh, of, of the narrative of the Shia. Why would anyone want to narrate Ta'an fi Zulara, for example? Why would they do that? Why, they, they did that because this is what the Imam said publicly. Yeah, but... But then Imam is lying. Book, then, Im, then Imam is lying uh, was, privately. Imam is saying, no, no actually he's not. If he's, was that, he's one of the best people to walk the was, planet. If it was that like public and, 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 and basically there would be no books at all. It wasn't in your it's, it's, prophet, it's only Imagine if the Prophet Wasallam said about Aisha in public, Uh, she's uh, this, she's that, she's this, and in private he's going and he's spending time with her, having intimacy with her. What would you think of the Prophet It would be contradictory because the Prophet is in a place of power. Why would he need to do that? No. Yeah. You're, 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 using, the you're, has, you're, using, has, you're using torture of the Imams as an evidence that they were lying because of this. Yeah. They I mean, were not lying. Tafir. No, I don't believe this. Is they, they, they were not Munafiq team. This, so, is, this is Nifaq. This is not Nifaq. No, 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 no. This, la, 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 brother, la, brother, brother. This is, the, no, that, you're misusing the verse. You're misusing the verse, okay? Okay, this is Nifaq. Okay, when you actually actively lie, Nifaq. misrepresent the, the, the reality, this is not Taqiyah, as we know in Islam. This is Nifaq. This is, this is, this is Qadr. This is, this is the lie. No, and, I mean, and and you're Amal, claiming Amal, what you do, Rabbi Allah? What do you do? No, he didn't lie. He did, did not lie. lie. He did not lie. He they basically tortured him and he said they have to leave Islam and he did. He was forced yeah. into saying something yeah. he did not believe in. Yeah, right? so he the, did not the, lie. So did he didn't say the Prophet doesn't exist. He didn't say the Prophet is a liar. He he said things that were like what? Like what? Kufa. Yeah. We don't know the details. We don't know okay. the details. But, 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 but the point, huh? Who was that exactly? Amar bin Yasser. Like when he was tortured and he basically did taqiyya So I'm I'm asking you a question. Ammar bin Yasir radiallahu anh, he, he said things that he didn't believe in. Yes. And then he went back to the Prophet yeah. to confirm publicly. Oh, yeah. Publicly, yeah? Yeah. But you cannot use Ammar's example But to, to Ammar... substantiate the taqiyya, the, the hypocritical, the munafik taqiyya you attribute to the Imam. Because the, now you're saying Imam is a munafik. He's oh. saying in public, this guy is a man of hellfire. Don't listen to him. Yeah. Then he goes privately and says, you know what? I did that to save your life. Yeah. And this is what Al-Qoi says. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, and this is what the report yeah, says. I did that to save his life. Okay. How many so now, were killed? Imam you know, saved a munafiq, let's well, say, no, or, or, or uh, allegedly, what? A narrator. Yeah. A narrator, a narrator. But he destroyed the masses. Because oh, those okay. masses now have no grounds to listen to him. 
if no, they reject him, they are they guilty? No. Okay. If 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 Zurara comes to them and says, they were guilty before that. They were guilty before that. Sorry. Who? Those masters who, who the Imam said to you hmm. were, were guilty before that. I, I actually mentioned to you that those individuals, Allah Azza wa Jal, taba ala qulubihim. It's over with them. That's why the Imam was because they're all like essentially agents and and and, and individuals who wish harm upon the Imam. That's why then they there was actually a a female who who dropped and fell. This during the time of Imam Salih, and she said. Uh, May Allah curse your killers, O Fatima. And a giant problem came up. Who do you mean? Who are the killers of Fatima? And, and the Imam actually had to personally get involved to get out of this. So just basic issues like this would cause issues. So the, so, so, so the, um, so the individuals who he was speaking to, they were already wait, finished. Wait, wait, they were already destroyed. Wait, we, don't, we don't believe in this kind of... This, kind, this is the story, I, I, I understand. This is the, story I the Shias have made up. If we have Imam Ahmed and Hanbal. We have people like that who stood up for the truth. They were tortured. They went through... Imam Ahmed bin Hanbal, no way, hell no, he was never better than Imam Jafar Sadiq. Uh, I know, I, I yeah, know he was. If he had the guts, the courage to stand up to Mamun, Al Mu'tasim, Al Wasiq, yeah, okay. then you're telling me Imams were cowardly? They no, protected this, this Islam, is, they destroyed is, Islam. If, if this is what, the, if, the, if Shiism they, if, is what they left behind, they destroyed Islam. This is, a, this is Catholicism. Oh, Worshipping sh shrines and tombs and doing processions and uh, stabbing yourself in public and uh, bleeding. The, this is disgusting, brother. Go to the Baranbis and tell them stop worshipping tombs. Go to the. Go to I, the I agree. Yeah, so, so I agree. Not so, so, so even okay. even some of that. So <laughs> even some of that. Some of that is Shia inspired. Some of even okay. some of, of that. Of course, awful. No, no. <laughs> it is. It is. It started in the Mughal period. It started. The Shias came to India during the Mughal period when Hamayun needed help. And he came. Uh, he was he was taking refuge in uh, in Persia. You know, Tahmas, the know. emperor. Yeah, this is history. You need I'm to know. Not, this, a lot of this stuff came with the Shia. So if this is what the Imams left behind, Shiaism as we know it today, they have destroyed Islam. I'm sorry to say this. They have finished Islam, uh, and they did not leave this behind. They didn't leave this behind. This is a bunch of hypocrites who lied upon the Imams, and now we have the results. And we're still paying for it to this day. Okay. Yeah, that's we a, are, we are. Look at, look at, look at what's happening in the world. Look I mean, what's happening in the world. What's happening in the world? I mean, look, look, a, you look around. Look what look. happened in Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen. What's happening? Look. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in Lebanon. Look. Who's bombing the, the people of Yemen? <laughs> you, you don't know what's happening? Oh, well, the Saudi government. Do you know what happened in Syria? You, you know about the Iraqi no, no. death squads? Do you know about the Iraqi death? This is what is this what the Imams left behind? Well, Absolutely not. Well, I mean, if we want to talk about terrorism, then obviously yeah, Iraqi death squads, yeah, no, and and things. ISIS and yeah. ISIS, but same, I, ISIS they Haram, they Haram, are Haram. the same the coin, two sides of the same coin, the Iraqi death squad, and they are uh, yeah. Lazim and Malzum, <laughs> they they, yeah. they, are, they are produced by each other, they well, are the product, yeah, and I mean, and, the, I, and I, I don't I don't dispute that there are, there's obviously like this, I mean, listen, I was these guys before. Sistani and uh, yeah. and Khomeini is dead now, okay, these people, all of these people. What service are they? What I mean, generally speaking, what have they done for Islam? They have I mean, nothing. They've done nothing for Islam. And they have a lot Islam. of rulings on fifth issues. That's, 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 oh, that's, that's what we don't need. We don't need to know how to wipe my backside. Well, I've known it for 40. Well, come on, stop telling just, me how to cut my 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 pubic not, hair. I'm sorry, I don't need to know that. that. Fifth yeah, fifth yeah, yeah that. this is so what it boils down to. Talaq, nikah, ghusl. Yeah, wiping have, your backside. What has, you know, I don't need to know what has whether I can have sex and you know. What has the mosque of Saudi Arabia then done for the for the, for the Ummah? Uh, nothing. I agree. So, I shake my hands. Nothing. <laughs> so we agreeing. We agreeing. No, absolutely. Yeah, they are not doing anything special today. They are not doing anything. Special. But but with, with, when it comes to these people, Iranians, look, they have a state. Yeah. They could be helping the Muslims around the world. I think, I think they are in some cases. No, brother, uh, they are destroying the Muslims around the world. Uh, they are causing problems in Yemen. They are causing problems in the Middle East. But yeah, but, uh, but Iraq, Yemen, Iraq, uh, Iraqis, Iraqi Shias don't want the Iranians. They don't want the Iranians to be in Iraq. They want them to get out. Okay, and we've seen the protests. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, but we've seen the protests I, recently. I, I mean, so, so, so Syria, yeah. Syria, Iran is in Syria. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a Sunni country. I know. But, it's but, a Sunni country. Yeah. What are you doing in there? Well, you're gonna, you're, you're not, you know Iran, how Iran became Shia? Are you aware? Know, yeah, yeah. The Qazalbash uh, or the Safavids, they came in. They fought, Iran was 90% Shafi'i. Iran... It was, it, was, it was actually 50-50 before that. No, it was not 50-50. No, no. Never, yes, never. Yes, Shias had never been a majority. During the time of, of Al-Alam al-Hilli, 
you know, you know, you know Ibn Taymiyyah has, has the fatwa of... Uh, of uh, that was Afghanistan, bro. That's Mongols. No, 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 Some no. Mongol rulers became Shia and this no. is how... It wasn't was Afghanistan. It was actually uh, in, in Iran. Qazan. You called the program a Qazan, yeah? I don't know. Was, I don't actually... I forgot his name. His, his name was something like... Uh, it was the, it was Ilkhan, uh, the the ruler of Iran and Persia, uh, sorry Persia and Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Afghanistan. and he wrote Minhaj al Karama, and Sheikh Al Islam yeah. al wrote a response. Yes, I know. But and Ibn Hajar has a very funny comment no, no, about, but, about, but about even Bu before that. I'll take you before that. Buwid, Buwid dynasty. Buwid was uh, they were yeah. not fashion. They were something. They yeah, had they, they, yeah. they had some Tashir. I mean, Sheikh yeah. Sadiq was there. Yeah. He, was, he was one of the judges, but they were not yeah. Fashir. Okay. So, uh, so, even this, even this, my, uh, yeah. the, what's so, it called, the so, Fatimiyah. So, so, but Fatimiyah. never in Iran, never the majority, they yeah. forced the entire population. And this is academically documented. I will recommend books published by Cambridge and Oxford and these universities on Shah Abbas, his movement, and yeah, no. Shah Ismail, how they came in and what they did. So, not, uh, so, so this is what they're trying to do now. They're not, because you can't, uh, you can't convince the Sunnis. They're biased, the, the, the sources. Because yeah. you're telling the, me these, why, why would they be biased? Because the main sources either, either come from, from later Sunni sources or from, from European sources at the time. So you don't believe so you don't believe that they forced the population into Shia? They did in, in some instances, but it was but it's not as but it, but it basically made it like much bigger than it was. Like they exaggerated bro, the numbers. Bro, you will like, be shocked if you just read the books. Just I mean, read the books. Look, there's a book. If, if um, the source is unbiased, so so, so the Euro Europeans were not. How do you know? How do you know? I'm not saying Europeans are not yeah, biased. Yeah. Go so and read. It's it's because they have certain like, facts. Cannot the, cannot be denied. The, okay, so, so there are basically two parties. You have the Ottoman Empire, you have the, the, the Safavids, right? Show me so, where the Ottomans actually forced a Shia population into Sunni Islam. They, kill, they killed the Shia. I mean, no, they, the Safavids were attack, attacking them. No, no, that, that, that's, that's basically not what happened. The, the, Ottoman, the Ottoman ruler, he sent female clothing to the Safavid ruler to insult him, and, that's, and then, then the war initiated. So yeah. He was the one who actually you know, initiated the insults. You know what there the Saf you know what the Safavi was doing? What they, they were doing with the, the Ottomans. Do you have any idea? Um, they, they could not defeat the Ottomans. The Ottomans took it out from them. You know that, right? Eventually. The, yeah, yeah. The yeah. so Ottomans were beating the shit out of them. What happened was well, the Safavis uh, ruled for 250 no, years. What Safavis were doing? I'll tell you what. What, what Safavis were doing? They I'm were sure they were attacking the Ottomans every time Ottomans were attacking the Habsburg in Europe. That's what the Safavi, Safavis were directly linked to the courts in Europe. They were allied to the, the courts of Europe. With the Spanish, with the Christians, I do uh, like recognize that because there was a contact with the Spanish and yeah, the Safavis. Yeah, yeah. But, but other than no, that, they I were ambassadors at the Safavi court, European yeah. ambassadors, doing what? Simply ensuring that the, the, uh, the Persians continue to attack the Ottomans from behind. That's mm -hmm. it. That's that's all. That's all they were there. there, there that for. Ottoman sources are like, a, like an unbiased source. So, for example, if, if the Safavids themselves claim we did X, Y, Z, I'll obviously take it. But but if it's some kind of you know biased source uh, uh, from the Ottomans, as I said, as I said, to in, make them look bad. The entire history of Islam, for Shayo, generally speaking, never took one inch of land from the hostile disbelievers. Look, they only look. they always attack the Muslims. Oh. Even today, when uh, Dawa is done. It's not done to non-Muslims, generally I speaking. I am talking to Christians yeah. today. Yeah, you have, you yeah. have, but, but, so, but, uh, but, but I'm talking generally, you know. Like you, like you see Sunnis reaching out to the non-Muslims, giving da'wah to them. But the Shias, they, they hunt for the Sunnis. I don't. They, they are hunting Sunnis. As, They're not. As, 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 <laughs> as, as an ex-Catholic, yeah. Catholic, yeah. London, yeah. Uh, I see the Sunnis out there. Now, it's not to say for Shia, but... Yeah, I actually do agree with you. But well, there's a reason for that. No, because it, Islam is spreading through Sunnis. Well, look, not, not Islam. It's not, think, Islam is not spreading through the even even territory. I mean, I said as I, as I said, the Quran promises territory yeah, I, I physically to those who believe and do righteous deeds. Yeah. The Shia do not fit that category for some reason. Historically speaking, they do not fit to this well, day. Last 1,400 years. The Shias have not taken an inch of land from hostile disbelievers, so people even, who were attacking Muslims. You can't even prove that the early generation believed your belief. So this idea of, you know, the, 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 I believe the of the hour. I, I, so, as so, far so as I'm concerned, can't, can't, I believe in exactly the same thing the Sahaba believed in. Because belief is very simple. It's very simple no, belief. No. Believe in Allah, in His Messenger, can follow you, His Sunnah. Can you prove that the Sahaba believed in this idea of, of, of dividing Tawheed into Tawheed Uluhiyah or Rububiyah Asma'a al It's in the Quran. Where is it? Where, where, where Tawheed Uluhiyah or Rububiyah Asma'a al
اياك نعبد واياك نستعين داس توحيد الوهيه وي 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 ام جيفينغ يو اسك مي توحيد الوهيه يا الوهيه از ان ذا قران اوكي الوهيه كمز فروم ذا وورد الها اوكي الهكم اله واحد خلاص داس الوهيه نمبر نمبر 2 واز ربوبيه اوكي الله رب السماوات والارض اوكي داس ربوبيه اوكي واسماء صفات Okay, the the verse where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talks about is, is uh, 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 I forgot the verse. Subhanallah. Uh, <laughs> lahum <laughs> asma. Yeah, khalas. Yeah. So, 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 brother, what are you talking about? No. There is not. There is not a single idea we believe in. Okay, that does not exist in the Quran or the Sunnah. Okay, if you as a Shia ask me the same question, I will pull out few things that you actually can't sustain. Imama. Most importantly, yeah. Imama is not no. exist. Your concept of Imama is not there in the Quran. You is. have to really, like the Christians, really have to force. It doesn't mean what you mean. Look, Imama means Imams are masum. Yeah. There are twelve. Yeah. Okay, that's what Imama means, yeah. right? Yeah. And they have certain characters. Yeah. It's not there in the Quran. I'm sorry. So the number twelve is not there. Look, Asma, the Isma, the Asma, Isma is not there. It's not there. Look, Asma, Asma was Sifat. What is it? It is to believe that Allah has a hand. He has a face, no, no, he has legs, no, 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 and then no, no, no. we, 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 we basically we, go, in, in that, go back in to that, Allah tells us, Allah has these characteristics, we read them, yeah, but we, don't, we believe in them, wait, we believe in them, we, also, we do not explain them, yeah, yes, we, we do, do. We yes, do not, do. no, we do not explain them, and we do not, we do not contemplate you, on them, you know why? What would you say because, of a scholar that, that, for example, says, Anna lillahi had, he basically proves that Allah has limits, literally, he says, lillahi had. Because he, he, just, he says on the run. What is his hukum? Anyone who indulges in this is, is a any, No, no, no. Anyone who indulges in this is doing something the Sahaba did not do. Tell us. They, 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 have... to, to me, to me, oh. I don't have to listen to them. I have the oh. Sahaba. I have, oh. I have thousands of companions of the Prophet I do not see them discussing this. They were more busy about making this world a better place. They were not busy, you know, talking about. I need to shave my. You know, again, I keep going back to shaving and you know all those things. Yeah, they were not busy talking about these things. They learned this from the Prophet. All they had to do was hear once, and that's what, that was enough. Today we have people. You keep knocking the drums. You keep knocking. You keep knocking their heads, brother. Do this. Do this. Do. They're not listening, and that's why we are the way we are globally, right? The Shias and the Sunnis. I'm talking about both, right? We are stubborn people. We are not interested in. What the Prophet actually thought and the vision the Prophet had for this world. The Prophet came to bring Islam peace to this world. And we have to work towards that. We have to do da'wah. We have to go out to people and teach them about Islam. Okay. Am I going to go and no. tell them that the Prophet married, married a, uh, an annual child? Is that what I'm going to tell them? What's that? Why not? Why not? Because, <laughs> I mean, they, because look, you don't believe I, that? Of course I don't. You don't believe that? Why not? You believe that wait, 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 wait. Why not? Well, what? because because the, the hadith and the soul show Aisha to be. When when did this hadith become problematic? I don't care when it became problematic. No 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 no. This is a very important question. Yeah. You, Mustafa, yeah. in the twenty like, first century. Yeah, it was like eighteenth century, nineteenth century. Like it was quite, quite no, late. No no no. Century, not even then. Twentieth century. Okay. Why? Well, because the norms or whatever changed. Right? But, Be, but no, like, because of your laws, your moral anchors. Uh, your your moral anchor is no longer Islam. Or, or Judeo-Christian tradition. Your moral anchor is secularism. No, no, no. Liberalism. It's not, it's not, it's not. That's what it is. We, because we have a hadith. Uh, no, no, I'm not, not going to give a Shia if, if a woman reaches puberty, if a girl yeah, yeah. reaches the age of puberty, yeah, yeah. okay, in certain societies, they get them married. What's wrong with that? There's to nothing, them, according to them. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I get okay, that. Okay, thank but, you. But, thank but, you. No, no, but, so stop it there. No, no, but, but, yeah. but, 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 that, has not, but, but that has not addressed the point. Mm. Because this idea of, of saying that, for example, differing um, age for like, like sexual consent, for example, in Britain, 16, Japan is like 13, for example. I, I, I understand that. But the point being is, when we go back to that hadith, it mentions that Aisha had dolls, that she was on swing, swing to Yeah, you know, a swing, a doll. So this is a child, it's not, you know, someone who's. who's, who's uh, you know, you know there, are, there are grown women in Britain who play with dolls? Well, there's something wrong with yeah. them. No, there's nothing oh. wrong with them. Okay, there are people, there are people who, who feel, lo you know, they, they, this is not the criteria you use, brother, to judge social uh, realities of how people acted in certain societies. You look at their norms. Okay, this is not the way to look at things, okay? Up to the 19th century. Are you listening? I am, of course. Today it is wrong, I agree. To do that today would be abnormal. And this is the orf. 
and we shouldn't go against the urf. We should not go against the norms uh, and the local customs. I agree with you 100%. I wouldn't do it today. I wouldn't advise anyone to do it. And I wouldn't encourage. But pre-1900, it was the norm. The law of England, the law of Britain, up to the uh, up to the year 1900. Okay, it was, it was it was seven years old. I, I know. Seven, yeah. nine, and twelve. The least age was seven. Now you can tell me there were this, this, this. Yeah. They were no. to them. If you went there and you asked them, what the hell are you guys doing? You're getting married at ten years old with a forty years old. Have you lost your mind? They're gonna slap you up. They're gonna say, what's wrong with you? What century did you come from? This is what we do. That's yeah. the norm. So so you going to them and trying to. This is called anachronism. Yeah. So and he's the one who told us be wary of customs. So, Cust but, but, so, but, but, but so the thing what? is, at, at the time this was a custom. How uh, when Abu Bakr and Umar wanted to be not, not to, everything, uh, not every single custom is applicable today. No, no, for example, me, for example, let me, let me give you an example. Let me, let me explain my point here. Yes. That's why I have an issue. So when Abu Bakr and Umar wanted to marry Fatima, what, what, what did the Prophet say? What did he say? Inna Sagira. She's, she's too young. So she was probably young that time. Hmm? He, she young, was at that time. She was young. Younger than nine. Okay. First of all, we don't Ali, know that. Ali where, where did you get this report from? It's uh, an Albanian authenticated. Okay. Mm, so, yeah, okay. So in, in that, the, so, she was Saghira. So no, Aisha, no. Aisha was Saghira. You know yeah, Aisha. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but how can the prophet? No, Aisha was Saghira yeah. for three years yeah. after the act, the betrothal took place when she was six, right? That was the custom. She was betrothed at her birth. Did you know that? Okay. How how can you betroth a girl at birth? To, to us today, that's absolutely absurd. That's crazy. People do. People still do. Okay, uh, when you have a child, oh, this boy, this girl will get married to my son. You know, they, people do talk like that. Even today, in some cultures, people do talk like that. But Aisha was betrothed to a man called Jubair bin Mutahim yeah. at birth, and then that betrothal was broken, and then she was betrothed on condition. When she becomes of age, to marry the yeah. When she becomes of age, she will marry the prophet. Now, to the Arabs at that time, what was becoming of age? Puberty. Puberty. Yeah. Puberty. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the case with all human societies up to the year 1900. Yeah. And I'm not. There is a lecture I have delivered. I have seen. And it. let me let me advertise my lecture now. Yeah. You've seen it. Yeah, seen all it. of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, was, it was like in front of a podium, wasn't it? Like a with screen. the presentation. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. still asking me the question? Oh, no, 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 no. You still asking me no, the same because, question? Because, because, no, but, 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 did you watch all of it? I did. You saw all the evidence. You saw all the evidence I presented. I did, I did, yeah. And you still asking me the same yes, question? Because, yeah, of course. Because, because because the issue has not been clarified. Why? What issue isn't clarified? What? So, Fatima, when she married Ali, when was this? She yeah. was already adult. Yeah. She was an adult. She was. She had reached puberty. She was in her late teens, right? The prophet. Okay, just a few minutes. This yes, is the last, last point. We'll, yeah. we'll yeah. um, Fatima is not the issue of discussion here. Yeah, we're I know. Discussing but I'm, the marriage I'm, of Aisha. I'm, I'm making a comparison. Okay. Making so, a comparison. so there were women who got married when they were 50 yeah, in I Arabia. I know. They were 60, 70. I, I mean, 70. I don't. I don't yeah. yeah, but. Women I, I would, girls in Arabia would marry from puberty onwards. I know. There but, was no limit. But, but so what's is, the point? The thing is, yeah. when the Prophet married his own daughter to Ali, she was 18. No problem. Right? It's his choice. So, so, no, no, but, but, but one second. But a few, layers, a few years after, um, because, because this incident, uh, it was only a couple of years, Aisha is, is, has not even reached her teens. She's not even 13 yet. And, and, and the Prophet says to his, by his own daughter that she's too young. And, and she's no, in her late no, no, no. This is why, then, ah, this is why what, you, what you're trying to do now, you're trying to use, this is what some modernists out there who are very apologetic about Islam, when they get a question, they start shivering, they start urinating in their pants, and they have to, they start changing Islam and our sources in order to appease the, the liberal West or no, some liberal that. Muslims I mean, for that matter. Okay, we I, don't do that. I, I, we I go back to what they do is they go around the world trying to prove a point. This is what you're doing. Don't go around the world. Go head on. What is wrong with a girl who reached the age of puberty in the seventh century marrying a man? What is wrong with that? In I the seventh century. And and, and and there was nothing wrong in the nineteenth century. In Britain, here right now I stand in Britain with you. Here, a ten years old bride was not an extraordinary event. I know. Because it was legally, it was legally allowed. William Blackstone's commentary yeah. on the English law, okay, 
go and read the commentary. The age of consent in Britain was seven minimum. For a girl to be married to a man, seven years old. Then nine at nine, she could uh, she could receive dower, and at twelve dowry? she could dissolve dowry. Oh, yeah, no. and at twelve she could dissolve the marriage. Yeah. What game? What? What are you talking about? Today that's abnormal. I agree. Today that's not something with it. And and when it comes to the prophet being a model for humanity, and your point that if he did that, how is a mo he's a model because he is the same person who told us be wary of the customs, be vigilant of the norm of the people you live with. He also said like, okay, is it obligatory in Islam to get married to no, no. a certain age? No. Okay. Is it an option? Yeah. Okay. Now, the Prophet ﷺ said to Aisha, Aisha, if it wasn't for your people, I would bring the door of the Kaaba down to earth. You know about this report, uh, yeah? No, I have not heard Okay, there's a report, authentic report. We have no. checked it again and again. The door of the Kaaba is seven feet high. The Prophet ﷺ wanted to bring it down so that people can enter the Kaaba. The Prophet said, Aisha, if it was not for your nation, your people, your poem, Quraysh, which is the poem of the it's figure of speech yeah. among the Arabs. I will bring the door of the Kaaba down. But he didn't he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it. Why? It would cause controversy. It would cause problems with the Qurayshis. The Qurayshis, why you touch why are you messing with the Kaaba? Right? So the Prophet left it as it is. And it is like that to this day. Why? What lesson do we learn from this? The Prophet was wary of customs of the Qurayshis. He was sensitive to their feelings, their sentiments. Today, we don't have to do so many things we used to do back in the day. Why? Because they, they I mean, imagine if I want to go for Hajj. You want me to ride a camel from London to, from London to Arabia? I wouldn't reach. I wouldn't reach, right? Yeah, there so, was a guy that actually walked. He, he, he walked yeah, well, that's, those, those are mad things people do. No problem. It's their choice. It's actually Sunnah to walk. To yeah. So on that point, I'm going to have to go. I haven't prayed. I'm going to pray. I have to pray. Well, thank after. you very much. Okay. Uh, Mustafa, nice. give me a hug. You, you are a nice guy to talk to. Likewise. You're a gentleman, okay? Likewise. So, if I said anything harsh, no, 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 no. anything severe, please forgive me. That's not my opinion. I don't mean to hurt our brothers and sisters out there. The purpose is to educate people and let them decide. No. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Talking to you, Inshallah. Thank you. I'm going to have to go on and pray. Nice, you are nice. I'm not going to Dissected is D I S S E C T E D. Okay. Sorry, yeah, look, you will get this. You will get that. See, no, no, you get there. Yeah, so, yeah, so you were and you got called into the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was recording. I was recording.